Double O five and five thirty three down the right lane for Sean Walker. Excuse me, Shannon Walker. Carlo Pontillo goes at ninety nine green and then four fifty seven. Down the left side. Yeah. All right, so we've got one more new entry. Austin, Schon Austin Schoenfield. That's going to be a difficult one for me. Okay, Schoenfeld. Thank you. So it's kind of like show and tell. Got it. So Schoenfeld, 499. Down the racetrack. After the 018 reaction time. So we are going to get underway. We've got our quick opening ceremonies. We've got pro round number one here on a Larissa Motorsports Insurance 30K Thursday. Well, actually, we're going to hold off here just for a moment. We have got uh, a couple of new entries that have kind of straggled their way into the staging lanes. I didn't think our new entries would be the ones that would be, you know, down at the other strip who are now showing up just kind of like, oh, wait, wait, wait for me. But we'll see. Uh, apparently, apparently. Had to make sure we got the coffee and the donuts down. Oh, so we'll get them up here, and before we get started with pro round number one, we got a couple of new entries. Again, it is a 30K Thursday, the Reese Motorsports Insurance $30,000 to win Thursday. We have got, uh, hmm, we got a certificate for an impact helmet for pro, and it seems like I'm not going to get the opportunity to get down there and really kind of take a look. But we'll, we'll, we'll sneak a peek as best as we can. Maybe as soon as we get through this opening ceremony, we will uh, get down there and take a look at the driver that needs a new helmet the most in pro. Yeah. And then we will look at, again, the dragster that needs a scoop the most. The folks at Regales have put up another fiberglass dragster scoop and we'll kind of keep an eye out the window as far as a dragster that needs a scoop the most. Just saying. So apparently got one pair of new entry time runs. Good morning from the Northern California coast. There's a lot of folks up there in the Northern California coast. Let's see what's happening. What's happening? 
Let's get our Super Pro Door Cars odd. Super Pro Door Cars odd, as well as any double-entered vehicles. So if you are double-entered, if you're doing the, dry, the ride share program here this weekend, Super Pro Door Car odd. And if your door car is double-entered, we want to make sure that we get you up early so that uh, both entries have an opportunity to get down the racetrack in round number one. Super Pro Door Car odd. And any double-entered cars, let's get you headed into the staging lanes, please. Phil listening in from Cleveland, Ohio. Cleveland rocks. That's what I've been told, anyway. I've been there. I've been there. I drove through one time. Twice, actually. Because I had to drive from the airport out to... Summit Motorsports Park, and then from Summit Motorsports Park back to the airport. What's happening from the land of the Red Rocket? Holly Springs, Mississippi, checking in. Good morning, Steve. Good morning, Barry. We're just waiting on a couple of new entries. And once we get those done, we've got round number one of pro already sitting under the arch. So, Oh. I'm looking, did we put up like a new camera? I think they might have put up a new camera angle. Look at that. A new camera angle from up at the uh, top of the grandstands. I like that. That's kind of a pretty cool deal. So we got a new camera angle. We've got uh, all kinds of stuff. Of course, the mobile cam. Let's see here. Grand Junction, Colorado. Check it in already this morning. Alberta. But which part of Alberta? I don't know which part. Because Alberta is pretty, like, it's a big area. Right? That's a full-on province, so. That's a lot. Again, the mobile cam's back in the staging lane. You actually get to see, uh, I do. That's a good name for it, Barn. Maybe they've called it that before, the tickle cam. It is the tickle. It's the tickle cam. Of course, there again, if you could, you know, catch the racers as they're coming off the racetrack, whichever one didn't win, you could call it the Fitz cam. You guys throwing a fit. Good morning from Tijuana, Mexico, Mr. Warren. We're sad that you cannot make it out here. Hopefully you are here next year. Edmonton up in Alberta. There we go, Jenna. Thank you very much. Jacksonville, Florida. Medicine Hat, Alberta. Good morning from West Virginia. Kingston, New York. Rolling in here as well. Huh. Let's see here. Where else? JJ checking in from Fultondale, Alabama. Good morning, sir. I guess it's kind of closer to the afternoon for you guys, but good morning. Steve Valdez down there in Arizona, St. Louis, Missouri, Saskatoon, Saskatchewan. Who else we got? Boise, Idaho, Boston, Massachusetts, Wilsonville, Oregon, Kokomo, Indiana. I don't, is that? What's up, Mr. Umbrella Man? How you doing, Vince? 
I really don't think Kokomo is the place that like the Beach Boys wrote the song about. At least not that one. At least not that one. I mean, you're from Indiana, right? You know Kokomo, Indiana? Yeah. You think that's the one the Beach Boys sang the song about? <laughs> He's like, no. No. I don't think that's the one they did. And so we got... Uh, Southfield, Massachusetts. See, that's cool. I love getting the camera back there and letting all the racers kind of wave. Miamisburg, Ohio. George, you're in the belly of the grinder. You got the you got the grinders going this morning. Okay, is it Lerna, Illinois? Lerna. That's right, Warren, Warren's of that part of the country kind of guy. Memphis, Tennessee, good morning, Tommy. Union City, Tennessee, Marion, Virginia. I mean, there's, you know, over 550 people watching already this morning. And we haven't even started racing. I think this morning, before we even turned it on, there were 200 and 30 people, I think, were waiting, 250? I don't think that was it. I don't think that was it. I think they were just, yeah. It's true. It is 11 a.m. on the East Coast already. So as we're continuing to uh, finish things up, let's see here. We've got, as we said, Marion, Virginia. Coleman, Texas is in the house, at least in the chat bleachers. Got some North Carolina checking in. Yes, Kurt, the junior comp car is fully expected to run today. Let's see. They are doing the reaction time challenge, but that is not to this morning. The reaction time challenge. Let's see exactly which day it is, but they are going to be doing that. So yes, that is on the list. Um, Eloy, Arizona. Is that Eloy or Eloy? I'm not sure. Santa Cruz County? Yeah. Again, Arizona. Billings, Montana. What's up, Miss Schumer? Nick, I dig that. <laughs> Nick Bublis is checking in from the starting line. I like it. I like it. And Twin Cities, Minnesota. The Cazettes, what's happening? The wheelie wagon and the joyride? I like that. All right.
All right, so racers, it is a Thursday morning here at the Strip, and we are underway with our Larissa Motorsports Insurance $30,000 to win Thursday. We have got pro under the arch once again, racers. The most important thing that we can say is on behalf of all of us here at the Fling Families, thank you. Thank you for coming out here to spend these few days with us, to spend your time, your free time, and your money with us here at the Strip. We want to give you an experience that you will go home with and remember for many, many years to come. That's what it's all about. From day number one until today, it's all about race it and experience it. And we hope that your day today is nothing less than the greatest experience you've had at a racetrack. We're going to do our best to give that to you. And in order to start that off the right way, we are joined for our opening ceremonies by Miss T from Racers from Christ, who will give us our opening or our invocation. If you have not done so yet, please rise and remove your caps for the invocation. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome on this glorious day. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, please guide our hands, our hearts, our souls. Lead us in your direction, Lord. Look after all of us today here at the racetrack. Look after all of our militaries, first responders, and everyone in the United States. Keep us all safe and healthy. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Thank you very much. So racers, again, if you have not done so yet, please rise and remove your caps. The whole reason that we can be here today is because we enjoy the freedoms that we have in this wonderful country. Let us remember our servicemen and women, both past and present, of our servicemen, excuse me, our servicemen and women, both past and present, as we listen to the words of our national anthem. Was so proudly we held at the twilight's last gleaming, whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous night for the ramparts we watch were so gallantly streaming and the All right, it is time for round number one. We got pro. We got our first pair. Going to be Carolyn German and Charlie Lockhart. And we got Steve Riggins. Going to be uh, handling things on the microphone for at least the first hour or so. So, race fans, good morning. I'm with you, Carl. Definitely, definitely thinking of my man. So I'm going to turn it over to Steve. And Steve, it's going to be fun. Boy, we are, uh, we are in trouble because I have had two donuts and a Pepsi. So, yeah, yeah. Energy should not be an issue for a while today. Shouldn't crash for a little bit. All right. So, hey, uh, first pair out, Caroline German, Henderson, Nevada, 98 Trans Am on a 622. Left side, Charlie Lockhart, 592 left side, Mayfield, Kentucky. We watched Greg Hicks make a run yesterday on his birthday. Well, today is Shay Lockhart's birthday. So I want to uh, give a happy birthday shout out to Shay. She's out there watching Charlie. And so hopefully Charlie can do something special on the racetrack today for Shay. But he messaged me this morning, asked me to wish her a happy birthday. And uh, we're going to do that. So. Here we go. Charlie's on a 592, giving up three tenths to Caroline. Charlie's behind. 
Win light. Goes to Caroline. 16, one above seven. 33 total for the win. And you don't say it very often, but Charlie locked out. Goes 593 on the 592. So there will be buybacks today. So again, just in case race cars were too loud, Shay, happy birthday. So Shay Lockhart celebrating her birthday. She's gonna go back and gonna get their operations straightened out. And I guarantee you Charlie will be back with a buyback. So buybacks are available today in the Larice Motorsport Insurance 30K. Brian King, Brian Lapeer. Brian Lapeer, the uh, Lapeer folks, they are uh, racing this week. Uh, they're racing for Cleve, Cleve Randall, who's fighting cancer. He built all the Lapeer cars, and uh, they wanted to give a special shout out to uh, to Cleve Randall. So, Cleve, keep fighting. We're uh, you'll be in our prayers and keep cheering on the Lapeer family as they battle it out here today. But Brian turns it red there. Brian Lapeer does. Brian King gets the win light. 11, two under, 579, the 581. Jason England, Benton, Kentucky, 582 left side. Michael Johnson, Springdale, Arkansas, 636 on the right side. Six to a 30, advantage Johnson, win line Johnson. 006 takes seven to be two above seven. 33 total, Jason England was 30 up front, goes one above zero to be seven foul behind, no good. So we should have our door, Super Pro door car odds and any doubles to the lanes for round number one, you all should already be there. Super Pro door car odds, you should be in the lanes or if you're doubled, you should have one of your entries in the lanes. Taylor, Tony Price. Three to a 13. Win light, left side, Scotty Taylor, 003, three above. Jay Griner, 699 left side, Monty Beagle, 597 right side, 12 fouls separated. Here comes Monty Beagle, can he get there? Yes, he does, 26 takes six to be one, or to be dead one, 27 total. Griner, 14, one above nine to be six thou short, no good. Cliff Hall, Dave Barcelona. So final, final call. If you're a pro entry, you ought to be here. And we are running you now. If you're not here, you're late. It's Super Pro Door Car Odd, you should be here as well. Barcelona, 25 dead, eight, taking fourth out for the win. Cliff Hall, 13, two above, no good. Jim Stahl, Tula Lip, Washington, 741 left side. Tyler Rush. Parma, Idaho, 619 on the right side. So good morning to everybody out in the chat, Bleachers. It is a new day and a good day, so thanks for being here with us.
18 fouls separate him. Jim Stahl trying to hold off Tyler Rush. Finish line says, no sir. Both of them well off the dial in. Tyler, 637 on the 619, getting there first by 40 is trouble for Jim Stahl. He was 31 up front, but goes two and a half tenths above, no good. Chris Peterson, Gary Gandy Jr. Vantage left side, win line, right side. 50, two above, taking 11th foul for Gary. Chris Peterson was 27, but goes five above, no good. So yeah, don't forget to, uh, to hit that like on the feed, hit subscribe if you haven't, and share it with your friends. So that's how you're gonna help us grow this page and grow the content we're able to provide and and just uh, create more and more awareness for this awesome sport that we all love so much and this fling brand. So uh, if you would, smash that like button, hit subscribe, hit the notification so you know anytime we go live, whether you're here or not or whatever, and then, like I said, most importantly, share it with everybody that you know. Michael Jackson, Braden Hero, advantage left side, win light right side. His uh, dial-ins are a little challenged this morning, whether it be vehicle issues or whatever it is, but uh, Braden, 40 and a tenth above getting the win light. Michael Jackson was 009, but goes two tenths above. Can't make it happen. Red light start for Jeff Devey. Michael Clement, 34, dead nine, getting the win line. <laughs> Jacob Phelps, Nampa, Idaho, 644 left side. Dan Whelan, Stanwood, Washington, 623 right side. Goes to Dan, 31, five above, taking 49 as Jacob was 51, but goes eight above, no chance. Richard Mason, Winnebago, Illinois, 604 left side, Jansen Ayton, Saskatoon. Saskatchewan, 679 right side. Fifteen foul separated, wind light left side, 43 and three above, taking three foul. Tightened it up there for Richard. Jansen, 58, one above eight. Can't make it happen. Ron Nichols, Livermore, California, 712 on the left side. Jeff Peterson, Fort Lupton, Colorado, 692 right side. Separate him. Win light says right side for Jeff Peterson. 26, three above, taking 44. Nichols was late and goes four above.
Dennis Paz, Mark Fall, 008 to a 29. Win line, right side, look at that. There you go, Mark Fall, 008, dead nine. 17 total, locks out Dennis Paz. 29, dead seven, but no good. Dennis would have probably won every other pair this round. But uh, not this time. Attention in the grandstands, Les Mayhew. Les, please call me on your cell phone. Thank you. We like Kaisley Price, 55 on the 653 is trouble for Brandon. At this time, I'll take Super Pro Door Car even to the lanes. All Super Pro Door Car even to the lanes for Pinella Race Engines round number one. So all Super Pro Door Cars, you have now been called for round number one. All Super Pro Door Cars, you have been called for round one. Chris Wendley made a run yesterday in our Larice Pro category, but turns it red this morning by three foul. Craig Maddox, 35 and eight foul under. John Bryant, Kuna, Idaho, 708 left side. Russell Rowley. We're looking to make sure. Yes, Russell Rowley. We got a pronunciation guide from the Rowley clan. Provo, Utah, 658 right side. Six to a 16. We got ourselves a drag race here. Can they run the number, make it tie finish line? No, no, as John was 006, but goes six above. Russell Rowley, 16, four above, turn it on the wind light. DeVore, Jesse DiBartolo, advantage goes left side and the wind light goes left side. 007, four above, taking 27 as DiBartolo is 43 and four above. No good. Craig Merchelis, Windsor, Canada, or Windsor, California, I believe. I'm not, I'm not sure. We'll reserve judgment on that one. 647 left side. Lucas Walker, Mayfield, Kentucky. Lucas came out angry this morning. Double O oh, five, three above. So five takes six for Lucas Walker. That's more what we expect. Craig, 27, two above, no chance. Steve Alenick, Sacramento, California, 674 left side. Bill Perry, Las Vegas, Nevada, 765 on the right side. So all Super Pro Door cars, you have been called for Pinello Race Engines round number one. Here in the Mosier Engineering Spring Fling Million, presented by Optima Batteries. So glad to have you all with us here at the racetrack and on the live feed, brought to you by Hoosier and Jakes. They're both away, 200 separated. Wind line gonna go right side to Bill Perry. He's 43 up front, goes two above. Steve had the advantage, 20 
Takes 58 to be sixth thou under. Had to take 52 or less. He'll be going, ouch. That'll cost me a buyback. Richard Rush, Boise, Idaho. 668 left side. Scott Heyer, Morris in Colorado. 639 the right side. Hundred separate him. Here comes Scott Heyer. Can he get there? No, sir. Win line. Richard Rush, 42. Take 11 to be two above. Heyer was uh, ineligible to hit. Shannon Campbell, Meridian, Idaho. 736 left side. Jeff Rates, Peyton, Colorado. 685 on the right. Three hundred separate and win line goes to Shannon Campbell. 53 and four above taking a bunch as Jeff was late and slow. No good. Curtis Zinzalita, Flagstaff, Arizona, 591 left side, Tana Taylor, Rigby, Idaho, 662, 200 separate him. Here comes Curtis, looking for the Mustang. Wind light goes to Mustang, 16, one above five for Tana. Curtis is 37 and four above, no good. Jared Taylor and Andy Small, 653 to a 598. Small in control. This was all over with the womp womp at the finish line. Small, 610 on the 598, taking a bunch. Jared was late and goes, yeah, tenth and a half above. Zach Peraza, Boise, Idaho, 590 on the left side. Tim Aller, Mountain Home, Idaho. 684. Advantage goes right side, wind light goes left side as Tim had 300s in his pocket, but goes 900s above, no good. Zach, 76, and four above. Ryan Appleby, 643 in the left side. Kevin Fleck, 693 in the right side. Fleck, 005, three above for the win line as Ryan was 40 up front. Gets there first by six thou, but goes under by seven thou. So no, uh, mathematically ineligible there. No math was gonna help that situation.
Kyle Lapeer. Again, racing for Cleve Randall. Out of Middleton, Idaho, 690 on the left side. Brian Cerruti, Niles, Ohio, 639. Hundred separate them. Win light right side 21 and five above, taking 30 as Lapeer was 55 and five above. No good. Jamie Garcia. No, I'm sorry. This is Jaime Garcia out of Sonora, Mako. They call it a tomato. 672 in the left side. Chad Sandlin, Burleson, Texas. 640 in the right side. Runner up in our Larice Motorsports Pro yesterday. He let you go one step further today. And Jaime turns it red by 21. Chad, 59. And under by 13 foul, but he's moving on. Cody Wazner, Boise, Idaho, 763 left side. Henry Roberson, North Highlands, California, 723. Giving up 410's head start. Cody turns it five foul red. Henry is double, oh, five, green. Goes dead four, nice little nine total. Henry's like, I'm ready, let's do this. DeAndre Fitzgerald, Riverside, California, 1280 in the left. Bug McCarty, Hazelhurst, Georgia, McCarty Auto Parts, 605 on the right side of the Calais. Bug's gotta sit and wait. And here he comes. Can he get there? He does. 50 and four above for Bug, taking a bunch as DeAndre, not close on the dial. Had 9,000 in his pocket. And that brings us to our buy run here in Lake East Motorsports Pro. Freddie Jackson, all the way out of Las Vegas, Nevada, in his 68 Chevelle. 619 the dial. We'll see how close he can come to that. If you need an indication of the runs we've had this morning, he'll be somewhere between 616 and 650. It's been a little different this morning. There's 60 on the starting line. He goes 621 on that 619 dial. So he'll be back for Biondo round two. So that completes our first round of the Larice Motorsport Insurance Pro Class here on Mosier Engineering Spring Fling Million. And we are on Larice Motorsport Insurance 30K Thursday. So Larice, all Larice all the time today. So we are thankful for their support and, uh, and their help with the Fling brand. We're thankful to Jags and Hoosier for bringing you the live stream of this race. Thankful for Warren and his crew who are... Uh, Bringing you a little different angles today. If you go, man, this is a different angle than yesterday. Yeah, we uh, that was purposely done because uh, there's they're talking about maybe some wins coming in later. So Warren's kind of getting it, as usual, is getting ahead of the ball game. So don't want to go. You don't have cameras flying and stuff, and so the best we can do to protect that, we're going to start out that way. So. So we're going to do a little bit of maintenance before we go into our Super Pro Door cars.
Country Music Central, he is not. So I, uh, I see Super Pro Door Cars out here. I see uh, Mr. Mosier under the arch. We are uh, grateful to have Team Mosier not only as our title sponsor of the event, but also racing right here in the event as well. So big thanks, big shout out to Mosier Engineering. Back, back near me, Mosier's about 40 minutes from my house. Back thankful for what they do for us. All right. So here we go. Super Pro Door Car. Panella Race Engines. Round number one. Greg Dreyer. Bakersfield, California. 61 Falcon. 598 the dial. Carrie William White. Estes Park, Colorado, 67 Camaro, 527. Forward versus Chevrolet to kick it off. Oh, man, Dreyer. He might, Dreyer, I do that every time, but whatever. He's like, I don't care what you call me, I won. 005, three above, Dreyer. I'm gonna write that down somewhere. Like. Nick Presimo in Las Vegas, Nevada, 577 left side. Justin Mosier of, again, Team Mosier, Portland, Indiana, 527 the dial. Nick Pressamone with the advantage and the win light. Double 08, two above. As Justin was 26, take 22 to be 11 foul under. Had to take 11 or less, no good. Oh. Calvin Tanney out of Hawaii, 636 left side. Nathan Bradford, Kalispell, Montana, 601 right side. Calvin Tani. Kapaha. Okay. Yeah. Well, just, I'm going to line those people up. They can race when you're announcing. Because, yeah, like, I'm, I'm just not doing them any justice. <laughs> What's calling? Oh, boy. Calvin's in trouble. He probably just heard me try to say the city name. He's like, oh, my gosh, what just happened? Nathan Bradford gets the win line 17 and 8 above as Calvin was late. George LeBlanc, Creston, British Columbia, 572 in the left side. Cool hand, Luke Bagaki, Carterville, Illinois, right side. Mr. This is Bracket Racing, 480, the dial. Ten to a 38. Wind light goes to Luke. 10 takes 7 to be 2 above 6. LeBlanc knocks it dead on 5, but gave up 28 foul at the starting line. So that will uh, that will equal a trip to the Diva Desk for a buyback. 
That's right. Never. I mean, it's never a bad time to go see the Divas. You know, it's. I mean, buyback time's not the best, but you can't be mad when you're the Diva Desk. They're all just so stinking nice. Aaron Bronco, I saw this note. Blackfoot, Idaho, 659 left side, Isaac Wild, 559 the right, Isaac in full control and the wind line. 13 and a tenth and a half above, taking 20 as Bronco, 66 and 12 above, no good. Rick Huffman, Waxahachie, Texas, six flat left side, Jeff Verde, Glen Allen, Virginia, 594 in the right. They're separated by five foul. Win line goes to Rick Huffman, 21, one above nine, 31 total. Jeff Verde, 26, one above seven, no good. Jamie Small, Idaho Falls, Idaho, 618 left side. I'm going to mess this one up too. Pat. Oh, boy, Pat's all over the place. We don't need to get a last name right now. Jamie Small, 009, one above six for the wind light. Pat, 39 and way above. We drove about 800 feet to get there. I guess Downiak or something from Seba Beach, Alberta. Larry Spitali, Glendale, Arizona, 67 Camaro, 592 in the left. Matt Dadis, Norwalk, Ohio, 623 in the right side, his Grand Am. Dadis in full control. I know he can get there. Win light. Dadis, three, take a bunch to be five above, 628. Larry was 40 and goes nine above. No good. Bill Dykes and Jeff Higgins, 543 to a 584, advantage Dykes. Win light, Dykes, 009, get behind 43, as Higgins had all kinds of opportunity there. 25, take 43 to be seventh out under, had to take 36 or less. Kenny Snow, John Bianco, three foul separate him. Wind light goes left side. Wow, as Bianco, 22, take 29 to be seventh foul under. Had to take 22 or less. Snow, 25, one above nine for the wind light.
Damon Bustamont, 642 left side. Justin Beakley, 571 the right side. Oh, Justin takes a swing and a miss. And he's, yeah, Bustamante strikes him out. 15, five above, taking 27. Justin was one above, but can't go 70. Not going to work. Well, I should say it's not very often is it going to work. Sometimes it does, but not very often. Zach Fulcher, Mr. Cool, left side, Farmington, Kentucky, 582 the dial. Jorge Cons, Hermosillo, Mexico, 614 the dial on the Thunderbird right side. Fulcher with the advantage in the wind light. 19 takes 16 to be three above. 585 with a 582. Jorge was 31 and four above. No good. Hey, attention in the pits, attention in the pits. The uh, pump truck is here, but it's here for the last time. So if you uh, need to get pumped out, the pump truck is on site. So flag them down, whatever you need to do, but the pump truck is here. So if you need to get your motorhome pumped out, today is your last chance. They will not be back. So last day for pumping. Beto Dominguez, or Beto, I mean, I, I'm not sure. I'm going to mess that one up, too. I'll get it that from Nate. Turns it red, five red. Uncle Bill, Botello gets the wind light, 21, and way above. Randy Cloud, Galt, California, 590 on the left side. Jason Mercer, Chestermere, Alberta, Canada, 668 on the right side of the roadster. And we're away, 17 fouls separate them. Here we go off of the stop, but no good. Wind light left side, Randy Cloud, 18, take 41 to be one above three. Mercer, 35 and three above. As we continue on, Pinella Race Engines, round number one here on Larice Motorsport Insurance, 30K Thursday. Sid Summers and Tim Wirtz, 19 to a 39. Advantage goes to Mr. Wirtz, and the wind light goes to Wirtz, 19 dead four. Taking a bunch as Sid Summers was 39 and four above, had no chance. Tim Wirtz moving on to round number two. Caden Harrell, Madisonville, Tennessee, 672 in the left side. Mike Hall, Butte, Montana, 64 Nova in the right side on a 614. Four to a six, win light. Mike Hall, sixth. 
And two above, taking 32 as Caden was 004, but goes six above, had no chance. Rodney Snyder, Grand Junction, Colorado, 507 left side. Dennis Lithgow, Mansfield, Texas, 5 flat the dial. Battle of the Roadsters. Six thou separate them on this end. Finish line. Six thou separates them at that end. So Dennis took six with him, and as he maintained it the whole way down, he goes. They're both two above one, and Dennis Lithgow gets the win line. Rodney Snyder is looking for a buyback. Markel Jackson turns the 14th foul red. Jeff Miller, Calumet, Oklahoma, getting the win light, 17. And goes two above, 650 on the 648. Markel was dead zero, but 14 red, no good. DJ Halmard, Andrew Di Piazza, Andrew's in trouble, win line. DJ, 24, one above eight for the win line. Andrew locked out, 44 and two thou under. Dustin Allendorf, 13, two above. Taking 27, Kenny Pastor Camp, 52. One above one, no good. Phil Garrison, Flagstaff, Arizona, 554 in the left. John Schaefer, Boise, Idaho, 521 on the right side. Hey, if you've uh, if you've lost your phone, if you've lost your phone, I have a phone in the tower. You come and describe it to me, and I'll return it to you. If you have lost your cell phone, I've got one. John Schaefer, 001, two above, taking five thou for the win light. Phil Garrison, 005, two above, no good. Sean Clark, Eagle, Idaho, 662 in the left side. Preston Peeps, Pennington, 518 right side. Peeps show. Oh, Peeps got some work to do. Finish line. No. 
Winlight, Sean Clark, 12. Take eight to be under by 14 foul. Peeps is under by 16 foul. Peeps show looking for a buyback. Robbie Crowton, Garden Valley, California, 531 left side. Rod Taylor, Kalispell, Montana, 538 in the right. Three fouls separate them. Win light, right side, Rod Taylor, 21, dead zero, taking 15. Robin was 18, but goes one above eight, no good. Paul Eddins, Rexburg, Idaho. Bill Zimmer, Las Vegas, Nevada. They're separated by 10 foul. Can Zimmer hold him off? No. Winlight, Eddins, 21, dead six, 20. No, I'm sorry. Sheesh, get it together. Look at the wind light and still read the wrong side. Bill Zimmer, 11. One above five, 26 total, taking a foul as Paul was 21, dead six, but no good. Greg Sabatino, Meridian, Idaho, 654 on the left side. Michael Miller, Santa Fe, New Mexico. The 27T roads are on a 586. Line. Michael Miller, 14 and four above as Sabatino was 36, but nowhere close to the dial. Joe Levitt, David Phillips, advantage left side, win line left side. 15 dead five, 20 total, taking a bundle as Phillips was 66 and one above. Red light start for Jeremy Waterman, 001 red. Dean Turner, 009 and three foul under. We found the rightful owner of the phone. So that's good news. He said he'll be up here in just a minute. Nate's holding it hostage. 
Oh, look at that. You're so nice, Nate. He's like, I'll walk it back to him. G-Man, Garrett Griffith, 636 left side. Shannon T. Walker, Dallas, Texas, 534 on the right side. 7 to a 20. Here comes Walker. Win light goes G-Man. As Walker, 007, take 40 to be 9 thou under. Had to take 31 or less. G-Man, 20, 1 above 8, getting it done. Looks like we're shutting them down. Got a little moisture on the starting line. So we'll do just a little bit of cleanup work in front of uh, Pete Vindigal, Oakdale, California. Or Vert Vertigal, sorry. The uh, they even gave a pronunciation guide at the bottom. Kenneth Smith, the propane powered Camaro out of Evanston, Wyoming, six ninety nine. The dial left side. So hats off to the uh, the awesome track crew. They've done very, very well the last few days, making sure that the track stays optimal and, and doing that stuff. And they're kind of the unsung heroes behind this whole thing. We can have all the sponsors, all the giveaways, all the stuff that you'd want. But, man, without a good track, you're just kind of out to lunch. And these guys have done great. And it helps they started out with a wonderful, wonderful facility as it is. This place is beautiful. There's Garrett Griffith rolling back by to get his time slip. There you go. It's a dry hop. That's what I'm talking about. They are ready to get after it. Vertigal and Smith. 6'10 on the right, 6'99 left side. GBR, I don't know. I'm just reading the screen. That's what it says. I have no idea. Kenneth Smith, 701 on the 699, had 8,000 in his pocket. So you'll see the screen now. That's what it, that's what it says. Vertigal, 45, one above three. Hey, thank you, Jerry Alderman. Much appreciated. That's right, Barn. Tell him. Hit that like button. Yeah, I don't know. Um, I'm gonna go. I'll go check that car out here after a while and find out if that's true or if that's just something that you know we put we, they put in there. Who knows? But I'll go look. Mike Rock, Troy Grant. Grant turns it red by a foul. Mike Rock, 19 and nine foul under. Grant was one red and three above. Yeah, those of you are in here, smash that like button. We got it over 1,400 yesterday. There's 1,400 of you watching now, so it should be no problem to get it back over 1,400 again today because we'll grow in view viewership as the day goes along, I'm sure. We peaked out at right about 2,600 viewers at one, any one time yesterday, which is awesome. With a page that has 3,200 subscribers, it's pretty good. So I mean, about 80% of our subscribers were watching. Chuck Griffith and Lane Weber, 701 to a 633. Wind light goes to Weber. 004, take 003, goes three above. Chuck Griffith was 14 and two above, no good.
Ken Suyo, Oregon City, Oregon, 598 left side. Melissa Jarobe. That might be Jarabi. I'm, I'm not sure. You'll have to let me know that one. New Plymouth, Idaho, 580 in the right side. Going to get a win line. Wow, needed that one. She was late. Ken turns it red by 20 foul, goes dead nine. Going to be kicking himself all the way back to the pit. Yeah, Jake, you got a rough boss, so I understand. Rick Sugahara, Jim Hartvigson. Mazir Enterprises entry, no good. Rick, 006, three above, taking 20 for the win line. Jim was 31 and two above, no good. So, Jody, are you saying Dreyer? Is that what you're trying to say? Dreyer? Help me out with that. That's the way I read that, but I'm from Indiana. I'm not saying I'm the smartest, so explain your pronunciation guide to me. Is it Dreyer? Rob Mosier and Bill Biggers. Advantage Biggers, win light Biggers, 35. One above eight as Rob was 47, and I think he hit the brakes down there because he was behind. He goes four above. Randy, thank you. Jarbo, thank you. Barry, it was uh, Brian Phillips. Ricky Deschel, Palmdale, California. I think I'm messing that one up too. 562, Darren Taylor, Rigby, Idaho. 551 on the right side. Win line, right side, Darren Taylor, 16 and two above. 553 on the 551. Ricky, 17 and three above, no good. Doug Carter, Thornton, Colorado, 6'11", left side. Manuel Hernandez, Jr., 6'30", in the right side, and no. Manny can't get it done. Win light, Doug Carter, 15, three above, taking 17. Manny's 008, but goes five above. No good. Joe Aller, Mountain Home, Idaho, 624. Mike Barber, Royersford, Pennsylvania, 489 on the right side. Awful, awful fast door car. Oh, he's, he ought to have an advantage, yeah. You can see Aller is just dead late. Wind light, right side, 43. And eight above for the win line. As Aller was late, under. 
There's those Jets this morning. That's what I'm talking about. Nothing better than hearing the Jets fly over. Thought they were sleeping, starting late today. Right over the strip here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. So cool. Gabriel Hernandez Jr., Hermosillo, Mexico, 606 left side, Luis Pena Sr., San Antonio, Texas, 710 on the right side. They're separated by 13 foul. Here comes Hernandez. Win light goes Pena. 29, take five to be three above. Hernandez, 16 and five above, no good. Kyle Fritz, Cottonwood, Arizona, 680 in the left side. Scott Hess, surprise, Arizona, 577 on the right side. Well, there's your surprise. The wind light came on. He was behind at the starting line. But Hess gets it done, 33 dead, 7, 40 total for the wind light. Kyle Fritz was 27, but goes three above, no good. Mike Lowe, Hurricane Utah, 67 Mustang, dollar 573, George Lewis, also of surprise, Arizona. 594 the Dow. Wind light goes Mike Lowe. Double red light, but True start didn't really help him there because he left last and he had the uh, least reaction time. So he would have won either way. So Mike moving on. George, 17 red, 16 thou under. Gary Humphreys, Mullica Hill, New Jersey, 627 left side. Dennis Boley, Port Orchard, Washington, 71 Firebird on a 720. They're both away, separated by two foul. Here comes Humphreys. Win light says new no. Bowley. 24 takes six to be four hundredths above. Humphreys was 22, but five above. Bowley moving on. Now on file left side, 640 the dial. Daryl Himley, Burley, Washington. 451 in the Cavalier. Another another fast door car. I don't, be honest. Oh wow, that one that one went right between the light poles. Wow, that was, uh, that was a cool jet. I don't wanna, I don't wanna go 450 as a short little wheelbase car, but it, uh, it does it. 457 on the 451, wind light. His left side turns it red. I'm really watching the race now, I promise, but Jets. BJ Vagness. 601 left side, Ted Seipel, 645 on the right side. Win light, BJ, 008, three above, taking 11. 
Ted, 646 on the 645, no good. Hey, Troy Inskeep, thanks for the shout out, man. Good to be here. Glad you're uh, glad you're in the chat, Bleachers. Again, 290. There's 1,500 of you watching. 294 of you have liked it. Swipe down in the chat. Smash that like button. Let's get our exposure out there early this morning. Well, early Las Vegas time. It's 9:30 here. I know it's midday for a lot of you. You're you're taking your lunch break. That's why you're all able to watch because you're at lunch. I understand. Butch Bel Air, Hank. Frame off. Hank gets the win, 27, dead three, taking 13. Butch, 22, and two above. But while you're here, just, uh, like I said, scroll down on the chat. They don't show you the thumb. Just smash that thumb. Share it while you're there, and then I won't bug you the rest of the day to do it again. If we get this thing up, over 1,000 likes, and, and to get these shares out early, you won't have to hear me whine today. And please subscribe to the page as well. That way you can. Uh... <laughs> Jake, Jake, Jake. <laughs> no, nobody's telling me to. It's just, you know, just, just whatever. It's new. So. <laughs> Jake, don't get me la Don't get me. Don't get me the yips and get me laughing early. Jeff LaSalle, 673 left side. Chad Cable, 625 right side. Wayne Light, Jeff, 17, take 17 to be one above one, 28 total. Campbell was 22, so had to go dead six to have a chance, but he goes 200s above, no good. Bob Hero, Saskatoon, 22 up front. Rick Northrup, Martin, Tennessee's 23s. They're separated by a thou. At the finish line, they're separated by a whole lot more than a thou as Northrop can't run the dial. Bob, 22, two above. Hey, Jake, here's your boy, Richard Duvall, Jr., Chandler, Indiana, 604 in the left side. Stephanie Kumit, Morrison, Colorado, 668 the dial. Oh, boy. Winlight, right side, 28, three above. Richard. 606 and the 604. It'll be on the screen. I don't need to say it. Nate Stansberry, Meridian, Idaho, 774 in the left side. Bob Saruti, Chardon, Ohio, 642 in the right. Advantage, Saruti. Win light, Saruti. 25, take 67 to be seven above. As Nate was, well, over on both. Jesse Long, Woodstock, Georgia. There's that dial in. Jeff Bronco, Pocatello, Idaho, 667 right side.
Jesse Long turns it two foul red. He does run that dial though. It's uh, but unfortunately went red up front. Bronco twenty, three above. Ryan Armour, Kevil Kentucky, 583 left side. R.J. Fanning, Littleton, Colorado, 606 in the right. I know the car count. All of them. All of them. All of them that go on the track first round. That's how many we had, all of them. 2,000 separate them. RJ Fanning's going to kick himself. 008 takes 78 to be under by 56. Had to take 22 or less. Ryan Armour, 10 and 2 above for the win line. Joe Schmall, Lino Lakes, Minnesota, 619 on the left side. Jacob Beakley, Lamar, Colorado, 572 on the right side. Oh, Jake, Biggie Small. <laughs> oh. Good looking Malibu. Right side. Taking on the Cavalier, Joe Small. And uh, he's got a lot of work to do, a bunch. I mean, like a miracle. No. Joe Small was trip zip. He'll get that Kyle Seipel triple hero, triple zero hero coin. Trip zip, two above, 621, and Beakley drove down the racetrack. Way behind. All right, red light start for Ivan. Wind light goes right side from that new entry. Not on file yet, 006. Hey, Chance. Glad you're, uh, glad you're in the chat, glad you're watching. Back home again in Indiana. Dan Golby and G-Dub. Red light start for Dan, turns it 11 red. G-Dub, 008, under by... Uh, 41. Golby goes one above 676 after the red light start. And we have arrived at our door car by run. So dragsters odd, dragsters odd, and any doubles, you should be in the lanes for round number one. Dragsters odd, and any double entries, you should be in the lanes for round number one. And don't forget, tech card sales at the Diva Desk will close at the end of round one. So if you didn't do a very good job driving your race car and you want to let somebody else drive it, go buy another tech car at the Diva Desk. They'll throw a D on the end of your uh, number, and uh, you'll get a chance to redeem the car anyway. So tech card sales will close at the end of round number one. So that does complete our door cars. Hey, shout out Tyler Bohan. Glad, uh, I, I mean, I guess I'm glad you're not getting anything done. That's okay. It's uh what what I mean? What else you got to do? You know, you're not busy enough. But uh, so glad you're checking in and watch what we're doing out here. So
Lorise Motorsports Insurance offers drag racers the broadest insurance policies in the industry. Lorise Motorsports Insurance was created by racers for racers. Lorise insures race cars on and off the track, trailers and equipment. Lorise even pays racers contingencies at the fling bracket races. Don't wait until it's too late. Call Lorise Motorsports Insurance today. For more than 45 years, Rob's Automotive and Collision has been an industry leader in auto and truck recovery, as well as all facets of automotive repair. With over 15 factory certifications from the likes of Porsche, Ford, and many others, along with the industry's best equipment, such as the Vision Carliner Frame Measuring System and factory certified aluminum repair, we're a full-service automotive center. Additionally, Rob's offers motorhomes and toters for all mechanical and collision needs. Our heavy-duty towing and hauling division is complemented by a full-line heavy-duty truck and trailer mechanical repair and collision center as well. 24-hour roadside assistance is available. Visit us at robsautocenter.com for more. We are in Pinella Race Engines, round number one, here on Larice Motorsport Insurance, Thursday, 30K. We fired up with the long skinnies, the drag <laughs> Zach Ellis, 470 on the left side. Brian Watts, Pasco, Washington, 458 right side.
So Zach Ellis out of Illinois, 470 in the left side. Brian Watts, Pasco, Washington, 458 in the right side. says Watts, 16, three above as Zach Ellis had a shot, was 41 up front, but takes 10 to be five thou under, had to take five or less, no good. Hey, thanks, Big Jed. Appreciate you. Dave Sicondi, Jorge Covarrubias Jr. Whoa, that was a lot. Four to a five. Finish line. Win light goes to left side and Dave. 004 dead. 812 total. Taking six thou as Jorge. 005, one above three. 18 total is no good. I've got the report, track temp is a balmy 98 degrees. Keenan Myers, Madisonville, Tennessee, five flat to dial left side, Blake Foster, St. George, Utah, 481 right side. <laughs> Big Jed, I, I, I could. I, I, some Turkey Hill right now would, would go down smooth and come back up like, well, not smooth. Lettuce wrap to the front. Bring your lemonade. 1900 head start goes to Keenan Myers left side. 14 to a 29, 15 foul advantage left side. Wind light gonna go to the right side as Keenan can't run the dial in 14, but goes three above. No good. Blake Foster 29, one above eight, 47 total. Lighten up the wind light. Yeah, Big Jed, while you're in here, and if, if you're not too awful busy, you ought to you ought to text your your buddy Pete and uh, tell him to leave me alone about my eating habits. I'm, I've had a couple of donuts today, and now I'm eating some combos, and he's just giving me a real hard time about it. And I, he's making me I feel like I feel fat shamed a little bit. So if you can if you can text your I don't know if y'all how friendly y'all are. I know you don't like him that much, but if you could just tell him to just back off me, that'd be great. I can't say much to him. I'm not trying to get fired. I don't have a plane ticket that goes back until. Late Saturday, so I don't want to walk back in there. Ryan Stifler, Lloyd Salveson Jr., 473 to a 495. Wind light left side to Ryan, 13 and 2 above, taking 2 thou as Salveson, 21 and 1 above, no good. Mike Collins, Gilroy, California, 478 left side. Kyle Seacrest, Nortman, Oklahoma, 473 in the right side. So 
500's head start going to the left side. Here we go. Red light start, 003 red for Kyle Seacrest. Collins was 20 on the starting line, goes two above, 480 on the 478. Seacrest was red and under, neither one of which equates into winning tactics. Michael Marcy, Farmington, New Mexico, 483 in the left side. Jeremy Cisneros, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 454. Red line start, 14 red for Mitchell on the left side. Jeremy going to get the automatic win. It goes 11 and 7 above. That was, a, above. That was a, a solo that was needed. Get that dial in honed in for next round. McKenna Needham, Las Vegas, Nevada, five flat on the left side. Jeff Bullington, Paris, Tennessee, 502 right side. Hey, uh, just an FYI, if anybody's lost a, uh, looks like a hood prop, maybe if you lost the hood prop off of your machine, I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess the door car. I don't want a dragster prop up this with, but uh, I have it the tower in the announcing booth. Oh boy, Jeff Bullington's gonna kick himself. 26 red, four foul under, and his opponent's at reaction time starts with a one. But McKenna Needham gets the win line. So if you're missing a uh, maybe a hood prop or whatever for your door car, or if you uh, are missing a hood prop for your dragster, whatever, I just uh, come and get it. So it uh, it was somebody found it, and I now have it in the announcing booth. So if you're missing it, come and retrieve your item. If it's anything else, don't tell me about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna assume it's a hood prop. We're going with that. If it's anything else, just come and get it, and don't don't tell me. Bush gets the automatic win line as Chance Parker turns it 29 foul red. Dean was 46 and 11 foul under. Moving on. Thank you, Big Jed. I really appreciate that. It just kind of hurt my heart a little bit. That last feeling I had was getting trampled on. Jake Jones, South Jordan, Utah, 457 the left side. Mike Crater, Buford, Texas, 448 the dial. 900 head start goes to the left side. Two to a 50, win line left side as Mike Crater breaks out but didn't have a stake in the game there. Jake Jones, two down forward, six total. Getting the win line for the South Jordan, Utah entry.
Braden Helena turns it a foul red. Clinton Fosico, 13, dead four, 17 total for the win line. Ty Farmer, Tuscola, Texas, 491 on the left side. Kevin Wayman, South Jordan, Utah, 468 the dial right side. Big Jed, that's right. I've I've been really thinking about that Galat trip a whole lot. The abuse it's gonna be for me. But that's okay. I can take it. Put my big boy pants on and saddle my pride. <laughs> Ty Farmer, 13, two above for the win line as Kevin Wayman was 19. Gets there first by 28. Breaks out five foul. Had to take 23 or less. Yes, uh, Galat should be a show. That's for sure. That's okay. As long as JJ's happy, I'm happy. And uh, Peter makes sure that JJ's always happy. I've been told that we're uh, we're sharing a room, and if uh, JJ wants to have both beds, then I'm more than welcome to sleep in the bathtub or uh, in the lobby at the hotel. So that's uh, that's how that's how Pete is to me, and that's that's okay. I don't take it personal. Dylan Moody, El Paso, Texas, 465 left side. Kiyoki Desa, North Las Vegas, Nevada, 449 in the right. Double O seven red for Kiyoki. Dylan Moody, 14 and two above. Getting the win. Kiyoki goes 12 foul under after the red light. Brady White, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, 513 left side, Joe Kittle Jr. Dalton, Alabama, 495 on the right side, and Joe is in some deep trouble. Wind light left side, 001, three above is actually, Joe had a shot there. He was 20, take 34 to be under by 14 foul, had to take 20 or less. Trevor Larson, Starbuck, Minnesota. Not Starbucks, but Starbuck. There's only one there. 471 the dial. Jeremy Soares. Terrace, British Columbia. 484 the dial. No, Jake, none. Zero. That lettuce strap lemonade didn't work as anything. If I was dehydrated and dying in a desert somewhere, I wouldn't drink that again. Just let me die. Because I thought I died at the moment I drank it anyway. It was like toxin. Trevor Larson, 10 and 5 above, getting the wind light. As Jeremy is dead on, but late. No good. Don Buckowitz, Greenville, New Jersey, 480 in the left side. Randy Bullington, Harris, Tennessee, 505 on the right side. Uh oh, we're late. L A T E, late. Wind goes Don Buckowitz, 004, way, way above, because he could be. Absolutely, it's the purge. <laughs> yes, yes, Jake. Yeah. 
that's you know what I sometimes you have the right words and sometimes you don't I think you nailed it right there and I can even think of a few other things to throw on that buffet that I don't even eat but I would before I do that again Brittany Taylor, 479 left side. Tom Clark, Spokane, Washington, 457 the dial. Tom Clark was 008 up front. He was 008 behind. Brittany Taylor, trip, zip, three foul under. Tom Clark did about all you're going to do. 008, take 110 foul, and it don't work. Brittany Taylor. Trip zip, three foul under, moving on to Biondo, round number two. <laughs> oh, Peter, leave him alone. Just because he, you know, gave you a hard time about you fat shaming me. I don't, you don't need to, you don't need to pick on my dude. As he's sitting behind me, he's, he's working in his think tank and, no, <laughs> Big Jed, I don't know what you said in that text message, but it didn't work. I turned around just to, I was going to say something nice to him, give Peter a nice little pleasantry this morning. He said, oh, did you stop with the snack table? See, it's just fat shaming at its finest. Man. Chad Ferguson, Brooklyn, South Dakota on a solo. 15 and four above. So, yeah, Big Jed, whatever you said to him, he's, he's on a roll today. I don't know what his problem is. He's back there drinking this Ascentia water or something. It must be like, you know, the funny thing is, though, there's a box of Oreos sitting next to him. Huh. And he's eating them. I mean, yeah, that's that's how that's how these people are. See, they fat shame me as he's eating Oreos. Yeah. <laughs> what a joke, man. Oh, yeah. See, you got bust in the chat. See? Yeah. That's my dog right there. Neil Presimone, Las Vegas, Nevada, 486 left side. Chris Wallen, Spencer, Ohio, 469 on the right side. Ten foul separate him. Win line, right side to Wallen, 27 dead four, taking 10 foul. As Presimo with 17, but goes two above. Cannot make it happen. Wow, Jake, that's a that's a whole new level right there. <laughs> Even for you. <laughs> but I understand it. We did we did drink that stuff at the same time, so you felt what I felt. Tony Pontillo, Kenosha, Wisconsin, four fifty seven left side. Cortland Carter, Hobbs, New Mexico, four seventy six right side. Four thou separated with three to a seven. Here comes Tony, and Tony lights up the wind light. That is nasty. Cortland Carter, 003, takes seven, and that's worth nothing. It's worth the buyback cost. As he breaks it out by three thou, had to take four or less. Pontio, 007, dead zero. Josh Buer, Lake Preston, South Dakota, 475 the dial. Mark Barnhart, Placidas, New Mexico, 469 the dial. Red light start for Josh, third to 16 foul red. Mark Barnhart, 23, dead one. Moving on to Biondo, round number two.
Steve Beanie, Wichita, Kansas, 483 left side. Logan Scribner, 489 right side, turns it red by three out. Beanie with double 09, and goes dead too, 11 total. We're getting them, we're getting them honed in now. Nice, Jake, nice. That's one of those videos I was hoping would would die. Kind of like the one, you know, with the leaf blower. Like those are two videos that I just, I don't ever need to see again. Hey, attention to the pits. I'll give you the public service announcement right after this pair. Hannah Vandermeer, Morgan Rose. Nine to a 55. Morgan in full control. Win line goes Morgan. Nine. Dead three. 12 total, taking six thousand. Hannah was late and under. Hey, the wind's starting to pick up. So those of you in the pits that might have your awnings out, you may want to protect those. You may want to put them in so you don't lose them. So the wind is starting to pick up in the pit area and around the racetrack. So if you've got your awning out, you might want to rethink that program because it's supposed to get worse as the day goes on. So might be a, a good idea to, uh, to put your awning in. Kaylee McKibben, Bakersfield, California, 478 left side. Skyler Brichko. Albuquerque, New Mexico, 490 the dial. <laughs> That's how bad it was, Jake. It, it just <laughs> threw it right out there. It's, it, it was the truth, though. It was the accurate description. Double reds. But... There's where, uh, there's where True Start saved one. Skyler left first, went seven red. Kaylee left afterwards, goes 22 red. So True Start says, hey, no, it's not how we're doing this. Goes back to the lesser of the two reds and gives the win back to Skyler. So Skyler getting saved by True Start. Anytime somebody gets saved by True Start, I always give a nod to Kyle Seipel. That was something he always wanted implemented and so so there you go, Skyler. That's one from that's one from Kyle. So true start gives the win back to Skyler. John Edwards the third, Chesapeake, Virginia, 475 left side. Gordon Boven, Boise, Idaho, 472 the dial right side. Three hundred separate him on the starting line. Six thou separates him at the finish line, but the advantage. Remains with John Edwards, 001. Three above for the win. Gordon was 31, dead nine, no good. <laughs> Big Jed, you're right, it was not. It was just like, it's like shock your system. It was like immediate, I felt like it was almost like immediate, my body went septic, like immediate, as soon as I took, a, took one drink of that. I wish, I, I do wish I had some of it though, because right now I would give it to Pete. Like, that would be my present to him for the day. I'm like, hey, buddy, brought you a lemonade. You ought to have this. I ought to have a whole glass, a whole gallon. Maybe a whole, I don't know, maybe a five-gallon bucket of it. That's just where I'm at with him today. <laughs> it would. Lee Dixon, Gage Gilbert, 13 to a 42. Advantage goes to Gage, but the wind light goes to Lee. Gage was 13, take 35 to be three foul under, had to take 32 or less. Dixon, 42, dead three for the win line.
Cash and Fry, the little junior comp car. Man, killing the tree, but just can't get that handle on that dial in. Did the same thing yesterday. Anthony, 005, five above, taking fourth foul. Chad Broom, Fort Worth, Texas, 430 in the left side. Sean Hart, Boise, Idaho, 474 right side. Double O fives a pair. Finish line. Oh, there's there's a race. Man, look at that, Pete. Woo! Woo! Yeah, but 7-10 foul margin of victory. Sean Hart's five dead four and wins. Chad Broom is five dead four and loses. But I think that's looking good for a best losing package for Pinella Race Engines round one. And I mean, that's all a bad thing. I mean, 500 bucks is 500 bucks. I mean, it's just, and a small fling check, spin 190, you got 310 left. Pete's happy, you're happy. I'm still not very happy, but it's fine. Just the way I've been treated this morning, it's my <laughs> self-esteem is in the toilet, but it's fine. <laughs> Val Torres Jr., Jim Glenn, 9 to a 37 advantage, Val. When light goes to Val. A double breakout, 9 take 1 to be 1 foul under. Jim Glenn was well under that. Chase Learcamp, 23 dead two for the win. It's Jamie Sturdivant, 21, take 26. To be under by 22, had to take four or less. No good. Carson Campbell, Olympia, Washington, 482 left side. Ronnie Court, our announcing helper this week. Out of Denver, Colorado, 567 the dial. Ronnie's got a foul in his pocket. Can he make it hold up to the other end? New. It's a negative. Goes three above. Carson Campbell, 13. One above eight, 31 total. Get the win light. Ronnie Court going down here in Pinella Races round one, but he can buy back. It's fine. I mean, he's the guy's an announcer. He's got all the money. I don't know how I, where I went wrong, but man, that dude's got it. <laughs> Brian Bennett, shallow water, Texas, 453 left side. Josh Herman, Pueblo, Colorado, 447 the dial. Brian Bennett turns it a foul red. Josh Herman, 18 green, goes dead on six, 24 total. Bennett under by 17 foul after the red light.
guys in the chat, just an FYI, Pete has left the building. He's not in here to see that, so. He went out in the lanes or something, I don't know. Goofing around. Good help's hard to find. Quick call here. Boss here, City, Louisiana, 455 left side. Kyler Hergemuller, Brighton, Colorado, 464 the dial. Never mind, he's back. I jinxed myself. You're, you're being talked to in the chat. I don't know why, but. <laughs> Win life. Quick call here. 21, dead, 223 total. Erga Mueller, after his start, did all he could do. There's dead zero, but still behind. Turns at 18 red. And uh, True Start saved another one. Scott P. Anderson. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, yes. So, you know, Timmy, just uh, blame your buddy Pete there. You know, he, we got to have it here. So he said, hey, that's right, it's fair game. He said, you know, and it rains on the just and the unjust. It rains on his friends and his not friends. You know, hey, well, you're all his friends. I mean, they, yeah, that's what he, he's like the water boy. Peter sits here, he goes, thank you all for being my friend. Yeah. <laughs> that's right, but True Start does not discriminate. That's correct. Oh, boy, John Parks is 001. He's one behind. Wow. Philip Pennington, trip, zip, one above zero, 10 foul. Them Penningtons are good, man. They're pretty good, especially G Big Jed. I mean, he's real good. He's gooder. He's gooder. Yeah, he is. He's, yeah, his kid, though, man. We've already had that discussion, too, about how I got to sleep in the bathtub at Glot. Yeah, I told him all what you said. Yeah, John Parks, 001, two above. Yeah, Big Jed, he did laugh at that, so I don't know if that was a laugh because he felt sorry for me or – or how much you revere his child. I'm not sure which one, but I told him I was I was relegated to the bathtub or sleeping in the lobby at Galat, but it's fine. It's no big deal. What JJ wants, JJ gets. It's fine. <laughs> big Jed says, don't let Jake babysit your kids. They're better off wandering the pits. <laughs> Corey Galitti, Tumball, Texas, 439, Cooper Chun. Vancouver, Washington, 508. They're separated by 9 foul. Double breakout. Cooper, one take five to be 10 foul under. Corey, under by 14 foul, no good. Cooper Chun goes to Beyondo round two. Hey, Jake, Pete said after a day with his kids, you're going to want 50%. And I'm going to tell you right now, that tells me all I need to know about Pete because that's a lie. Those kids are wonderful. They were in here yesterday. Those are wonderful kids. I like those kids a lot better than their dad. Their mom's great, but their dad, <coughs> yeah. <No. laughs> Where are the kids today? Are they with Nana? Okay. All right. Gabriel Hernandez, 472, Misty Unser. Misty's 25 and 25 behind. Oh, look at that, Pete. Gabriel Hernandez, Hermosillo, Mexico. Trip zip, dead one. One total, end to end. Misty Unser, 25, seventh thou under. And that's why we call him the kingpin. Well, yeah, hey. What? I know you're new here. Yeah, I didn't know that. Good to know. 
Yeah, I was going to say. Wow. Wow. Vinny Domino, Staten Island, New York, 458 left side. Mike Coulter, 453 right side. Five red for Mike Coulter. Vinny, 10 and 14 foul under. Moving on, Coltrane under by three, hun. Thank you for the assist, Jake. Appreciate that. Casey Nelson, Alan Bianco, 25 to a 38. Break out. Casey, 25, take 25. That didn't work. Six thou under. Had to take 19 or less. Alec, 38, dead six for the win line. All right, so uh, my time in the penalty box has come to an end for the morning, what? For, for right now. Huh? Nate snuck his way back in. He's been out doing other work. He's been out doing the like the, some of that that facial work that they have to do on camera because, as I said, my I don't have a face for TV. It's my you, face is for radio. You do? No. You're good. Well, not my face isn't. Look at yeah. I might be. My face isn't. Absolutely. So, Nate's back you. in here, and we're going to uh, let him take you through the rest of Canelo Race Engines round number one with Nate Priest. And Jordan Jesse. Thank you very much, Steve Riggins. Appreciate that. Jesse's 44 in the tree and uh, one above one to get the win line over Sandra Priest, who was 41 on the tree and two above six. And she comes up 12 foul short down at the finish line. So Jordan Jesse Picking up a win line here is Jeff Watts and Trevor Harkema are going to be our next two cars. Harkema out of Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, 493, the dial over on the left side. And Jeff Watts with that American-built car with a 489 dial on the right side. And as we get them staged up, set, and ready, tree drops. Both drivers are green. 19 foul, separate them in reaction time. Wind light's going to go to Jeff Watts, one above four after an 015 reaction time for Watts. He's 15 on the tree. Take 19 foul down at the stripe to pick up the win light. Trevor Harkema had an 034 reaction time and ends up 14 foul above for the loss. Oh, goodness. As we bring out Mark Kidd, part of the Kidd Performance and Dino team. They are going to be bringing us that Calcutta tomorrow morning as part of the million. Again, for tomorrow's Calcutta, they're going to be selling, what is it, 100 and... Where is that one? So 130 tickets, 130 tickets for ten thousand dollars for an opportunity at uh, picking that up as part of the last man standing in tomorrow's Calcutta. We've got Kid dialed in at 452. We've got Mark Heatherly out of Roseville, Georgia, Rossville, Georgia, dialed 472. Advantage at this end of the racetrack was to Kid with an 029 reaction time. Heatherly was a little bit late on the let go with the 073. Heatherly runs 473 on a 472 and comes up 53 thousandths of a second short. Mark Kid 29 green, one above to be 453 on a 452 and get the win light. Still need my top three favorite calls to use announcing. All right. 
Let's see here. My top three favorite calls to use announcing. My favorite call is this is the last pair of the night. Oh, wait. <laughs> that one. That one's always a favorite with announcers, I think. We start off with this is the pair we've been waiting for. Okay, maybe my second favorite call. The pumper guy's here. No, I'm t <laughs> But seriously, the pumper guy is here. He is on property. If you are in need of pumper services for your RV, just flag him down. He'll get you all taken care of. Funny car, Chris Northup, out of the left lane, 59 green, and goes 523 on a 521. Not going to be good enough against the stick man. The painter, Mr. Eric Ray, is getting the win light. 439 on a 438 after the 039 reaction time. Pumpers only today. Will not be back. Oh, that's something you're definitely going to want to keep in mind then. So the pumper is only today. So if you are uh, thinking, even thinking you're going to need it, you probably need to flag them down and make sure you got that all taken care of. 497 the dial for Brandon Taylor, left side, Jesse. Jesse Bepley, 505 on a 505. How about 21, take two foul at the stripe. Brandon Taylor was 006, leaving this end of the racetrack and ends up 25 foul above to be just two lousy thousandths of a second behind at the finish line. Jesse picking up the win light. He's dead eight after an 021 reaction time to be 29 total. Picking up the win light is Leslie Dugas and Max Mosier. Mosier right side, 458. Going to be the dial for the dragster and for Leslie Dugas out of Middle Lothian, Texas. We've got a 472 dial. Red light start for Mosier by three thousandths of a second. And then ends up running 454 on the 458 as Leslie Dugas, 473 on a 472, 16 and one above for Leslie to pick up a win here in this go round. Oh, oh. When you start talking about last names that rank as royalty in the sport of bracket racing, how about Johnny Ezel and Jessica Bogacki? Jessica, 468 dial on the right side. Johnny Ezel, 456 dial on the left side. Good matchup happening right now. Sixth foul, separate them in reaction time. Finish line says JBR is moving on to round number two. 457 on a 456. He's 17 and 14 thou above to get the win light. Jessica was 11 on the tree, got there first by 42 thousandths of a second. And runs 465 on the 468. And I know that for all of you that were in the chat bleachers, one of the conversations that took place yesterday had to do with, you know, Ludke opting to take the top off of, uh, or take his wing off. And running with just a rudder that we called the baby shark. I'm just saying. He was running with the rudder. Well, let's just say that uh, I've seen another one. Decided to take the wing off. Went, you know what? That, that, that seemed to work for Josh. Let's see. Let's see. John Angel, Gary Womble, advantage at this end of the racetrack was not much. It was just four foul for John Angel. He was 15 to Gary's 19. Leaving the line, and a double breakout ensues at the finish line. John Angel, six or 464 on the 465 to be under by four thousandths of a second. Win it on that double breakout is Kevin Burnett and Talon Farmer. Talon dialed 484 left side. Kevin Burnett dialed 461 right side. Yo, 66. Said, yo, announcer dude. Are we like too hot? What's going on? It might be a little hot. I'll back that down a little bit. 
see if that's any better. Seems a little better. Kevin Burnett goes red by 11 thousandths of a second. Talon Farmer with 17 green, runs 45 on a 484 dial. So with Donnie Ellis and Zach Clark rolling up now. What's up, Miss Stephanie? Listening in from home up there in Utah area. And we got all kinds of great people out here. We're already at 1,700 folks watching in online. But we still only have 400 likes today. Double red light start for Donnie Ellis and Zach Clark. They were dialed identical, both dialed 474. Wind light belongs to Donnie Ellis. He was 22 red to Zach Clark's 26 red. And then Donnie goes down and puts it dead on. A 474 on the 474. Ah. Stephanie going down to uh, run the Jets. I can't remember the exact number you told me, Stephanie, but there's only a handful of licensed jet drivers in the world, and you are one of the only female licensed jet drivers in the world. Two hundred sixty-nine. There we go. Joe Peters and Stephen Farrow. Farrow out of Tennessee had dialed at four eighty-five. Runs forty-six zero after the old fifty-six reaction time. But Peters holding on with a double oh eight reaction time. Take thirty-two thou at the stripe to get the win light. So let's see here, Steve. Yesterday. Kind of got on everybody about the likes. We got on uh, everybody to participate and get the subscriptions. What did we start with yesterday? Two point something on subscriptions, right? It was like 2,200. And on the Fling Race Series, we're now up over 3,300 subscriptions. So props to all of our folks in the chat, Bleachers. Derek, we can do that again. We can do some golf announcements because it is Masters. It's Masters week, right? Down in Augusta, Georgia. Racing for green jackets. Well, okay, they're golfing for green jackets. But Cody Baker and Willie Flores. Flores, 478 dial on the right side. Cody Baker, High River, Alberta, 464 dial on the left. 10 thou separated them, and it's going to be a win light for Baker. Baker was 17 green, runs 467 on a 464 for the W. Willie Flores was 10 thou better with a double 07 reaction time. And then goes 477, take 47 thou at the stripe and breaks out by 2 thou. That's a swear jar moment. I'm sure it's a swear jar moment. Which, as all of you know, we have reinstated the swear jar. And we will, we will, we will identify a very worthy cause to get that donation. Again, it's one of those things where, like Rick Marcy and Grady Johnson, Rick's on the left side, Grady's on the right, 478 to a 479. If you're down there in the starting line and make a wrong choice, as Mike Eames would say, make better choices. But if you make a wrong choice there, you make a wrong choice at the finish line and you start using some of those uh, more colorful words of the English or Spanish language, or whatever language it is that you so choose, Come on up here and make a quick donation to the swear jar, and everything that's collected will go to a worthy cause. Rick Marcy will exit round number one. We'll have to exercise the buyback opportunity. Grady Johnson was 11 on the tree. He goes 477 on a 478 to be under by five thousandths of a second. Rick Marcy is under ten thousandths of a second. And the win light goes to Grady as Dan Provost and Brian Cam are going to roll up now. Provost. Taking it nice and easy. Backing up for the burnout on that right side. 4.40 seconds is the dial for Dan. That is going to be a quick, quick, quick run. Brian Cam dialed in at 4.97, so Cam will get the head start out of the left side. We are here. It is Mosier Engineering Spring Fling Million presented by Optima Batteries. 
It is a Larice Motorsports Insurance 30K Thursday. I just like the way I get said it this morning. I like the way that sounds. 30K Thursday. It just it does. It just kind of rolls. Thirsty Thursday. I like Thirsty Thursday. Dan Provost was 008 green. Brian Cam was 008 red. Cam ends up running a 499 on that 497 dial. Provost 443 on a 440 after that 008 green light. Oh boy. That's pretty awesome. Woo! Again, red flag is in effect over at the Air Force Base. We're going to keep getting those flyovers as Nathan Martin and Eric Golden. Golden with a 463 dial. Nathan Martin with a 471 dial. Both drivers are double O, separated by two thousandths of a second, and wow. Nathan Martin, 003, dead nine. Eric Golden, 005, dead seven. True margin of victory, eight ten thousandths of a second. That's one way to tighten it up. 003 to a 005, dead nine to a dead seven, and eight ten thousandths advantage and win light goes to Nathan Martin. We just need to coordinate that to make sure one of those things flies over right about the time we're done with the national anthem tomorrow. <laughs> That's right. Peter just reminded me it did happen last year, kind of at the end of the national anthem. We had one of those things buzz us right at the end. It was really cool. Darren O'Connor was 16 thousandths of a second behind when he let go of the button to Tony Henderson. Henderson on a 497 will run 499 after a 004 reaction time. So 004 gets to the stripe first by seven thousandths of a second to get in the wind light over Darren O'Connor. Here comes another one. Right over the top. That one was a little high. But Darren O'Connor, 20 on the tree and one above, 473 on a 472. And Clayton Mitchell and Austin Schoenfeld. Schoenfeld. Five flat dial out of the right side. Red light start for Austin by 15 thousandths of a second. And then goes 496 on that 500. Wind light to Clayton Mitchell. 19 green. And then 474 on a 473. Rob White, Michael Pennington. Pennington right side. Dialed in at 468. Rob White left side. Dialed in at 520. So it is going to be white. Diving into the starting line first. Pennington right beside him. 9,000 separate him in reaction time. And Michael Pennington. 29 green and dead on zero. Rob White is 22,000 above after his 20 reaction time. And Pennington with that dead on zero run is going to add himself into that dead on dialer bucket where we'll be drawing for that uh, Altronics. Race Air Cloud Weather Station. So anybody that's dead on zero yesterday, dead on zero today, will be added to that list. Jason Pad and Ryan Barnes. Barnes out of Brunswick, Georgia, 465. Oh, well, wait a minute. That might have been part of the issue. Jason Pad, 464. 
They are sitting in the pre-stage position. They've been there for a couple of minutes. Well, maybe not minutes, but they've been there a little while. Ryan dives in, stages up the car. Jason Pad rolls it forward. Twenty-one thousand separated them in reaction time. Wind light's going to go to Pad. Barnes had the advantage with the 005 light. Gets their first 62 thou and breaks out with a 461 on a 465. Jason Pad was 26 green and goes dead on eight. Getting their second to light up the scoreboard and take the win. So I'm going to apologize if uh, we had a couple of extra messages that were rolling through on the chat bleachers. Unfortunately, this thing popped up and was set to top, not all. So we may have missed a couple. May have missed a couple here and there. There's Tommy Drake and Jerry Hall. Come up next, Jerry dialed 521 out of the right. Tommy Drake out of Emmett, Idaho, dialed in. 478 out of the left, 1,000 is the difference in reaction time, and the wind light will illuminate for Hall. 19 green, two above, getting in there first 16 thousandths of a second for the win. Tommy Drake was 20 green. And then goes 481 on a 478 is Rob Belsham and Wade Archer. Belsham from Prince George, British Columbia. And I think we figured out yesterday that that was, we said 26 hours. If I remember right, it was like one day, two hours that it popped up as a drive. Enumclaw, Washington, that is uh, a little bit closer. It's still definitely quite a haul to get here. 444 is the dial for Belsham. 465 is the dial for Archer. So Belsham left, Archer right. 38 thousandths the difference in reaction time. And Rod Belsham is going to lay down four total. 001, dead on three for Rod Belsham. Wade Archer was 39 green, dead four. And pretty much just kind of, just kind of there. Like, okay, I'm dead on four, but yeah, whatever. Belsham, 001, dead three. Laying down four total. Not exactly the one pack from earlier, but still. Trayton Band and J.P. Schuster. J.P. 473 dial left side. Trayton Band in the Band Boys track. Had a Lewis and Idaho dialed in 508. 3,000 is the difference in reaction time. JP was 17 green and goes dead on three to be 20 total. Trayton Ban was 20 on the tree, dead on eight. Needed to be dead zero and came up eight thousands short of the spot that he wanted to be at as Kevin Johnson and Logan War. Logan out of the left side. Kevin out of the right side with Johnson dialed in at 456. Logan dialed in at 464. Both drivers are pre-staged. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man, I don't know. I don't know what a jet flying over would sound like in a race car. Probably like a jet flying over if you're sitting in a race car. Again, separated by three thousandths of a second. This time it was Kevin Johnson that was 17. Logan was 20. As Logan War ends up one above, 465 on a 464 and no good. Kevin Johnson, 17 green and runs 457 on the 456 to be seven thou ahead at the stripe and pick up the wind light. Yeah. Vector Clark and Matt Grayson. That was one of the things that uh, I don't know that I realized until a while ago. But yes, each and every day that you log into this Jigs and Who's Your live stream, you hit the like button. Do it like almost like you're checking in. Right? As soon as you log on, hit the like button. 
45 out of 44 for Vic Clark is getting him a trip to round number two. Clark, your winner. 005 on the tree and 485 on a 44. Matt Grayson was 18 green, two above, and ends up 21 thou behind down at the finish line. So yeah, so yesterday everybody helped out Steve. When he took over on the mic, we jumped from like 275 likes and ended at a thousand likes. We've already got a good jump start on that, 443. So as you are checking in online, as you are listening, make sure you hit the, the little thumbs up, the like button. There we go. I'm starting to see the numbers climb. Hit the like button. Chance Parker, Todd Coltrane. Coltrane, 468-0 on a 468, saved him. Parker was 005 on the tree. Then runs a 484 on a 45. Take 43 thou at the stripe to break out by seven thousandths of a second. Todd Coltrane was 41 green. So was in trouble at the hit, but puts it dead on zero. We'll get his name in the drawing for the weather station as part of the dead on dialer. And the second time in just the last 20 minutes or so, we've seen a dead on zero salvage a run as Ken Windley out of Caldwell, Idaho. Remember, it was Carissa Windley, who was the last pro racer standing last night. Got that bonus, got inserted into the group at five cars left in the main event for 30,000. This is Ken in the Diamond Dragster going up against Kyle Bigley. Bigley dialed in at 4.57. Four thousand the difference in reaction time. Wind light's gonna belong to Ken Winley. 17 green and 469 on a 468. David, I don't know that I'm gonna fall for that one. That's a good try. That's a really good try, but I don't know that I'm gonna fall for that one. Now, you could possibly tell me that, yes, Steve did wooden big at the casino and then Venmoed everybody five bucks to hit the like button. But I think I know better than that one. That, that though, David, A-plus for effort. Definitely A-plus for effort. That's funny. That's funny. Four for <laughs> 459 the dial for Tony for Marlon Goats. Wind light's going to belong to Hearn. Or excuse me, Burton. 28 and 461 on a 459 for Tony Burton. Marlon Goats was 082 on the tree. Just pretty much missed it. And then runs 46 on a 49 trying to play catch up as Wyatt Wayman and Josh Lutke. So Josh Lutke and Wyatt Wayman. Lutke, who is, uh, everybody says, is going to start a trend. Start a trend. Went down into the round of three without the wing on the car. And, well, today we've seen a couple of them trying it already. Lutke, 006 and 454 on a 450. We'll get him into round number two, Frio Charge. Wyatt Wayman, 25 green, runs 427 on what was a 419 dial. But that thing was moving at 167 miles an hour. Ooh. That's kind of, uh, yeah, that's kind of quick. David Meyer, the machine, going up against Kelly. Fairchild. Kelly with that 567 dial out of the left side. David Meyer with that 481 dial out of the right lane. Oh. Kelly. 
doesn't wait for the tree to drop, ends up leaving and just kind of makes her way down the racetrack. David Meyer ends up leaving eighth hour early, 479 on the 481, but gets the win. As unfortunately, Kelly had some experiences on the starting line that they just want to, they, they, they'll forget. They'll be like, nope, that didn't happen. We'll make our way up to the Diva desk. We'll see the Divas. We'll pay our buyback money and we'll race our way back into the 30K a different route. We'll, we'll take a different route. Jorge Covarrubias Sr. out of Baja, California, Mexico. The American built car dialed in at 478. And Richard McFarlane. McFarlane, who uh, has stood in the winner's circle here before. At one of the fling events, is down 587, six thousandths of a second, the difference in reaction time. Winlight's going to go to McFarlane. 12. Get their first five thou to run 589 on the 587. Jorge Covarrubias was 18 thousandths of a second behind the green light. And then runs 480 on the 478 is Brian Kennedy and Spencer Massey. Spencer out of the right lane, dialed in at 481. Kennedy out of the left side, dialed in at 475. And I'm not going to get drawn into the five buck conversation because let's just say I'm not I'm not, I'm not quite as uh, financially uh, yeah. Let's leave it at that. Ha. 477 on a 475 for Kennedy. 18 green gets himself a win by 24 thousandths of a second. So 18 and two above for Kennedy gets the win light over Spencer Massey. We'll bring out Dalton Garreau and Mike Avitable. Garreau coming out of Leduc up in Alberta. Avitable rolling in out of Kingman, Arizona. In the Fiat. 562 is the dial for Avitable. 461 is the dial for Dalton. You kind of got to dig the paint job on Dalton's car. That thing is a uh, pretty cool throwback. Red light start for Mike Avitable. Goes red by 12 thousandths of a second. Runs 645 as he gets out of the throttle and just kind of coasts on through down there. 460 with a 9 on the 461 for Dalton Garreau. After the 025 reaction time. So Garreau moves into round number two. Avitable will come up to see the Divas. And again, buybacks are available today. They are $190 to get back in for another shot at $30,000. 30 grand. Ani Lloris Motorsports Insurance, 30K Thursday. Again, big thanks to the folks at Jags and Hoosier for sponsoring, supporting today's live feed. It is... Uh, a pretty good deal. Matter of fact, it's better than a pretty good deal. It's Donovan Williams and Emily Garrard. Again, up to 1,800 folks watching along. We've only got 515 likes. Get up there and hit that like button. Each and every day when you check in, hit that like button again. Let's get that thing back up over where we're at, like 1,300 yesterday when we finished the day. I think we can get it over that again. Donovan Williams, 009. Emily was 33 on the tree. As Donovan's going to get their first 18 thousandths of a second to be under by six thousandths. Emily followed him through to be under by 12 thousandths. We had 15, 1,500 likes. Well, then the bar, the bar. Yeah, the 2,600, we're at 3,300 subscriptions. Yes, yes, but we, we had 2,600 watching any one time. 26 was top. Yeah. But we're at 18 now. It's early. It's early, right? 
There we go. The likes are rolling in now. 531. So we've already jumped up from like. You spent $500 sitting here? It's $500. What? No. Don't, dude, don't spoil the secret. I don't use Cash App. Yeah. But again, remember, everybody, boom, 545. Red light start for Del Taros by one thousandths of a second, that Tuttle front engine ride. And then goes 551 on a 550. Nacho Rivera. That is just, come on. If, if, if you get to go through life, I said it yesterday, but if you get to go through life with your first name is Nacho, you are, a, like, that's awesome. You shouldn't, but I'm not going to say that because I don't know what it means. Oh, Eris Campoyo, you should have been named Chicken and Rice. <laughs> You're like the all white meat chicken? Oh, man. 10 on the tree and 472 on a 472 for Nacho. Hello from, or hello to Sweaty Texas. When light goes to Phil Narum, 13 green, and he'll run 477 on a 474. Anna Lucia was 007 red, and then runs 495 on a 496. Take 59 thou at the stripe to break out by two thousandths of a second. All right, Larice Pro Buyback, Larice Pro Buyback. We are ready for you in the staging lanes, please. Larice Pro Buyback. We are ready for you in the staging lanes, please. Larice Pro Buyback. We are ready for you in the staging lanes, please. Come on back, lanes one and two. Larice Pro Buybacks, let's get you headed back into the staging lanes. Tristan Craig getting the wind light over at Jagger Anderson. Tristan was 10 green. Jagger was 20 green. As Tristan goes 514 on the 511. Jagger, Fowler 52 on a 448. Ryan O'Connor and Chandler Thyson. Thyson out of Colorado. Dialed in at 460. Ryan O'Connor dialed in at 455. And Mr. Simonton knew the uh, Hellcat from Team Mexico did not make it up here this time. But that thing was. Pretty awesome. Down in Tucson, we'll leave it at that. So O'Connor with a 455, Thyssen with a 460. Chevy Reeves fouls out, 005 red, Delaney Ingo is 16 green.
Chevy ends up with a 468 on a 466. Nachos is the nickname for Ignacio. Yeah, but Nachos cooler, right? I can totally see why. If your name's Ignacio, which is a great name, but you want everybody to just call you Nacho, I'm totally down for that, right? Like Steve apparently said, don't call me Steve, call me chicken or rice. And call me when it's dinner time. Daryl Contreras, 478 to Katie Harkema's 474 at dial. Wind light's going to belong to Contreras, 44 green. Katie was 43 green, so just separated by one thousandth of a second at this end of the racetrack. Contreras getting a six thou strike, goes 41 on that 478. I'll bring up Justin Hoff and Jaden Nava. So with Jaden dialed in at 512, Justin dialed in at 463. Pre-stage bulbs are lit. Justin left side, Jaden right side. Steve White getting the wind light over Ken Nelson on a double breakout. White out of the right side. Dialed in at 497. Ends up running 2,000 under, taking a 3,000 stripe to get the wind light. Ken Nelson goes 452 on a 454 to be 12,000 under. Wind light goes to White as Travis Keys and Tyler Murrup. Let's see here. Likes are still climbing. We're up to 573. I, I believe that we can do it again. Yesterday, we had 1,500 likes. We've got 1,800 plus watching online right now. Just reach up, hit the like button. That is the thumbs up. You do it each and every day. Each time you start a new stream, each time you watch. Now, once you've clicked it like each day or for each event that we're streaming, you only need to do it once. But you do need to do it each day for each new stream. So Travis dialed at 477. Murrup dialed 478. 21 thousandths of a second. The difference in reaction time. Wind light's going to belong to Murrup. 004 on the tree. Gets their first 21 thousandths of a second to be two above. 480 on that 478. Travis Keys was 25 green. And then goes 479. on the 478. Hunter Walker now, Chris Whitfield. Whitfield, right side. Dialed in at 465. Hunter Walker, left side, dialed in at 494. We'll see if it'll be a little Las Vegas, Nevada versus Little Colorado. 5,000 separate them in reaction time. Both of them were double O. 
Hunter was 008, goes 497 on a 494. Whitfield was 003 and one above. 466 on a 465 is Don Sefton and Johnny Carter will be our next couple. To head up this way. 459. Dial in on the left side for Johnny. The Carters. You can see Colton kind of standing alongside behind Johnny over on the left. And Don Sefton out of Bremerton, Washington. Mr. Sefton with a 463 dial. The won't, won't, won't. That was a bit different. Don Sefton, 13 green and two above. 465, only 463 for Sefton. We'll turn on the scoreboard right lane. Johnny Carter had an 80 reaction time and then ends up running 495 on a 459. Going to have to exercise his opportunity. in the buyback round, which by the way, for the buyback round, we have called our Larice Pro buyback racers. So if you are running in pro, Larice Pro, and have been called in for the buyback, we'd like to have you in lanes one and two, please. Larice Pro. Let's get you set up in the buybacks is Kaylee Hill and Eric Mann. Remember, with Eric Mann, water sucks. We got these great little uh, hydration enhancing powders that go into the, it's good stuff. Just, it's good stuff. Look for it. Water sucks. Kaylee Hill, 476 on a 475 was 43 green and it comes down to a 7,000th margin of victory for Kaylee. Getting the wind light over Eric Mann is Thomas Wilson and Roger Thornton. Thornton left side, dialed 473. Thomas Wilson dialed 472. And I do see a good stack of our Larice Pro buyback cars back in lanes one and two. So once again, pro for the buyback. If you haven't made your way back into lanes one and two, let's get you headed there now, please. So 100 difference in dials, 473 to a 472. Roger left side, Thomas right side. Virginia versus Georgia came all the way across the country and racing for $30,000, separated by 22 thousandths of a second at this end of the racetrack and a double breakout, which we've said quite a bit here this morning. But Thomas Wilson, 469 on a 472. He gets there first, 20 thousandths of a second. and runs 69 on that 472 dial. Roger was 470 on a 473. So Thornton was under 30 thousandths of a second. Wilson was under 28 thousandths of a second. Winlight belongs to Wilson as Val Torres and Shane Carr. Oh. Torres left side dialed in at 470. Sugar right side dialed in at 440. Three. One thousandth of a second, the difference in reaction time and a double breakout. Surprise! Double breakout decides our winner. Shane Carr, 442 and a 443. He's under five thousandths of a second. Val goes 468 on a 470 to be under 13 thousandths of a second. Wind light belongs to Carr. Carr was 15 on the tree. Val was 16 on the tree. Pretty much nothing between them on the let go. But the difference being what it is, Rob Bergschneider out of Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Rolling up on the left side and Nick Contreras at Avondale, Colorado. Rolling in on the right. 485 is the dial for Rob. 464. is the dial 
for Contreras. Pre-stage bulbs are lit. Now in and set. So rolling through with Alonso Sanchez and Mark Campbell. Campbell on the left side, dial 467. Sanchez on the right side, dial 487. Campbell is 008 on the tree and goes 469 on the 467 to be seventh thou ahead at the stripe. Alonso Sanchez was 34 green, ends up seventh thou behind on the loss, and that will bring up. Rocky Van Note and Keith Thomas. Van Note left side, Thomas right side. Racers, your attention please, your attention please. Door cars odd for the buyback round. Door cars odd, excuse me, for the buyback round. And any cars being doubled, let's get you into the staging lanes please. Door cars odd for the buyback round. We'll take our odd numbered door cars for buybacks. Door cars odd for the buybacks, please. Let's get you back into the staging lanes. And if you are doubled, let's get any of our double entered cars into the staging lane. So door cars odd for the buyback, please. Keith Thomas, Rocky Van Note, 8,000 separated him in reaction time. Thomas was 001, Keith was 009. Thomas ends up exactly two above the dial to be 2,000 ahead at the stripe. So 009, two above. Get their first 2,000 win light for Thomas. Rocky Van Note was 001 and three above to be 478-0 and come up a little bit short is now Tammy Peugeot and Robert Butler. Peugeot out of British Columbia, the Abbotsford area. 471 is the dial. Butler dialed in six hundredths of a second slower than that with a 477. Tammy's in first. Robert's in next and Robert is red. 476 on a 477 after the 007 red light for Robert. Cody Bennett, Tyler Smith, Tyler right side, dialed 471. Bennett left side, dialed 467. Four sixty six on a four sixty seven. Bodie Bennett thirty three green and one thou under. 
gets him a win line. Tyler Smith was better with a 006 reaction time, but ends up seven foul under for the loss as Bodie Bennett will advance. We'll bring up Trevor Jelinski and Kendra Larson. So with Kendra on that 447 dial and Trevor on the 466 dial. It's going to be a win light for Larson. 450 on a 447. Larson, 14 green and take ninth out with the stripe. I believe Trevor Jelinski ended up giving it back as he's 467 on a 466 to be 17 thou above after the 037 reaction time. It'll bring up Carl Jones and Gene Heaton. Heaton driving one of the Chun rides. I think they took Cooper's car and did the ride share. Got it to the ride share. Dialed 510 left side of the racetrack, Carl Jones. Out of Kansas with that 474. I got to tell you, the chat bleachers, you guys are chiming in good. Already up to 628 likes. 1,900 folks watching along, so if you haven't hit the like button, reach up and get that thing hit. Let's get that right back up. At least, at least, you know, say before we get done with the buyback round, we need to get that thing back up to 1,000 because we'll get it above that before the end of the day, but let's 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 shoot for a thousand before the buyback round is over. Carl Jones, we're not in there yet, but that means we got time. Carl Jones, 17 green and goes 476 on a 474. Gene Heaton takes 23 thou at the stripe to break out by seven thousandths of a second. That would be pretty good. It's KJ Desa and Greg Hicks. Desa. Coming in out of North Las Vegas, Nevada. Dialed in at 490. Greg Hicks, who was in the finals last night, racing for that Silver State refrigeration, $30,000. Ended up running against Sean Schaefer. Hicks went red by 3,000 in the final. End up as your runner up. And so with a 484 left side, 490 right side. A couple of local racers here. This time it's KJ who's going to turn on the red light by three thousandths of a second. KJ, oh, double O three and dead on three. KJ's red goes dead on three. Greg Hicks, 28 green, and 480 on a 484. For Greg. Greg moves into round number two. KJ is going to have to find his way through the buyback round as Steve Hendricks and Aaron Johnson will be next. 489 is the dial for Johnson. Coming in out of Arkansas in the undercover car and Steve Hendricks out of Bakersfield, California. Dialed in nine hundredths of a second quicker with a 480. Head start to the right side. And the racer out of Arkansas. Once again, door cars odd. Door cars odd for the buyback round. As well as any cars that are double entered. If you are double entered, let's get you up there early. Door cars odd for the buyback round. Let's get you up early. Aaron Johnson, 15 thousandths of a second. Early. Leaving this end of the racetrack. It goes 491 on a 489. Steve Hendricks was three above, finishing up his run. 22 green and 483 on a 480 to pick up the win light. 
Again, we are in the Pinella Race Engines, round number one. Best losing package, round number one, going to get $500 from the folks at Pinella Race Engines. And we have certainly seen some very close racing already this morning. We are getting a little bit closer and closer to wrapping that up. We've called our buyback round into the staging lanes of Shane Molinari and Alexis Thompson. Thompson was able to put together a few really nice laps yesterday. Shane Molinari dialed in at 446. This time it's a red light start for Alexis. Alexis 005 red and then runs 463 on that 462 dial. Molinari was 28 green and then runs 447 on a 446. So Molinari advances to round number two. Alexis gonna need to race her way through the buyback round. Red by 12 thousandths of a second goes 475 on a 472. Travis Colangelo, you're a winner. 17 green and 453 on a 449. Colby Fuller getting the win line over Jason Dawson. Dawson goes red by 1.3 tenths of a second. Colby Fuller was 10 green and then goes 444 on a 445. So Dawson fouls away his shot here in round number one. We'll have to buy back if he wants to continue on for the $30,000. Race Kid now going up against Colton Bullington. Bullington right side, 502 is the dial in race. Out of Boise, Idaho. He's been at this, well, a while. A while. This is an awesome car that he's got. Again, the Kid Performance and Dino folks that have been partnering with the Fling for many, many years. It's good to see them out here. 473 is the dial for Race Kid. 502, the dial for Colton Bullington. Advantage to race, win light to race. Kid, 009 on the tree and one above. 474 on a 473. Colton Bullington, 38 green and dead on seven. But by 24 thousandths of a second, race Kid will get into round number two is Jansen Melton and Dave Mazier. Mazir on the right side. Part of that Mazir Enterprises team. Again, they've got their starters and water pumps, all kinds of stuff that they've been giving away as part of our treasure chest, as part of the prizes, things that are coming out of the prize vault. Dave and the family just do a spectacular job with what they do down there out of Escondido. 488 is the dial for Mazir. 422 for Jansen Melton. 
So we've seen a 4 15 dial here today. Now a 422 dial. Melton in one of Molinari's cars. Goes red by four thousandths of a second. Again, another one of those 004 green for Mazir, 004 red for Melton. And then on a 422 dial, Jansen runs 416 at 170 miles an hour. Jeez. Dave Mazir, 490 on a 488. At 140 miles an hour. Man, Molinari's cars just absolutely fly. They just, like low earth orbit. Those things are cool. Doug Johnson and Gary Bullington. Bullington, 516 dial. Over on the right side, Doug Johnson with that 477 dial. Out of Pleasant Grove, Utah, 476 with a nine on a 477. Getting there second, breaks out by one thousandth of a second. Gary was 15 green, gets there first by 11 thousandths of a second to break out by six thousandths of a second. Sean Schaefer now and Jacob Stallworthy. What do we say, bounty alert? Yesterday's winner, Sean Schaefer lining up left side, dialed in at 461, and Jacob Stallworthy. Stallworthy trying to pick up that APD carburetor, scoop rocking his way down to the finish line, and will do it. Stallworthy was 003 on the tree. That was 19 thousandths of a second better than Sean Schaefer's 022 reaction time. Schaefer was one above, 462 on a 461, but Stallworthy picks up the win light and by taking out yesterday's race winner, Stallworthy will claim the bounty. That $1,500 APD carburetor to Jacob Stallworthy for taking out yesterday's 30K winner here this morning in round number one. Shashan's going to have to use some of the money that uh, he got yesterday and give it to the Divas to buy back in for a chance at more money today. Riley Learcamp gave Torres. Torres 470 with a zero and a 467. He ends up three above the dial and three thousandths of a second behind at the finish line as Riley Learcamp is 30 green and one above, ends up 45 total. Gabe Torres is 48 total, and Torres will find his way to the buyback window. Riley will find his way into round number two, so he gets recess, right? It's like, if you win in round number one, you're awarded with recess. You get to just sit around and watch everybody else fight it out. Kind of that whole thing like, I'm not, I'm not involved in this scuffle. Y'all figure it out amongst yourselves and have the winner come back and talk to me later. Right, right. You get to keep your money. Everybody else has to go into, uh, ah, of course, I always draw a blank when I start thinking of things. Greg Garrison and Shane Thompson. Thompson was 16 green. Garrison was 12 green. Advantage by four thousandths of a second to Greg Garrison as he goes one above to be 476 on a 475, taking two thousand with the stripe. Shane Thompson goes 465 on a 464. So 16 and one above for Thompson, 12 thou and one above for Greg Garrison. Winlight goes to Garrison as Jeff, Sarah, Doug Yates. Sarah, who lost a tough one yesterday. Put up like a 004 reaction time and had a two pack dropped on him from the right lane when he matched up with Alexis Thompson. Yesterday, we got to the fact where we saw back-to-back -back two packs out of the right lane. 
It wasn't quite the one total. Was it Kingpin who went one total? Who, who went one total today? Kingpin? Kingpin. No, we did not do an over under on how many guys took wings off today. But so far, I think we've seen three. If I'm remembering right. Doug Gates is 009 on the red side. Goes 448 on a 441. Yep, Kingpin was one of them. He's like, ah, let's see. Wing, no wing. Are we going to go with the lewd key version? See, Jeff? You are a trendsetter. Everybody, what was the old thing back in the day? I want to be like Mike. Be like Mike. Nope. I want to be like Jeff. Josh. Well, I want to be like Jeff. He just won. 006. I want to be like Josh. I want to be like Jeff. I want to be like... I just want to have fun. No. Trust me. Aim higher. Amy Farrell, red by five thousandths of a second. Chris Galetti goes 16 or 19 green and 454, only 455. So Farrell is red. Are we down to our last pair of round number one. We got buybacks rolling out of the staging lanes. The Larice Pro buyback cars are headed back up this way. No oh man. Oh my. Troy Williams Jr., Kyle Cotrera. What a final pair. T Dub left, dialed 473. Kyle right, dialed 487. So with Troy Williams, the folks at FTI, lining up, it's Kyle Cotrera coming in out of Elliott, Maine. Elliot. Wind light's going to belong to Coltrera. Troy Williams drops it red by eight thousandths of a second. Goes 469 on a 473. Coltrera. Coltrero is 006, goes 482 on a 487. So Coltrero, 482 on a 47, round number one, the Pinella Race Engine round is over. We're into the buyback round. Dennis Paz and DeAndre Fitzgerald. Fitzgerald in the Hyundai Santa Fe. That's right. Dialed in at So Dennis Paz was 19 green, goes 688 on a 677 in his purpose-built El Camino race car. And DeAndre Fitzgerald in the Hyundai Santa Fe is 37 green and goes 1310 on a 1306 to get the win light. Do not, do not mess around with the Santa Fe. Tony Price now right side. Out of Tigered, Oregon. We've heard Tigered, we've heard Tigered. Tell you what, from now on, it's just Oregon. No. 63 Nova, 596 dial on the right side. And Charlie Lockhart. Want to wish a very special happy birthday to Shay Lockhart. Standing out there. There you go. Look, the whole birthday theme thing worked really well for Greg yesterday. Everybody else is, you know, they're going to start going, hey, it's my unbirthday. Or it's my actual birthday. Charlie getting the win light there. 43 green. Goes 595 on a 594. Tony Price 004 red. 
ends up dead on at nine. As Jesse DiBartolo and Tim Oler. Oler left side dialed in at 684. Jesse dialed in at 746. I'm telling you, there's certain trends that get started here, right? It's like take the wing off, go to the semifinals, all of a sudden everybody takes their wing off. Have a birthday, go to the finals, all of a sudden everybody's like, it's my birthday. It's my birthday. Jesse gets the win light, 37 green and 748 on a 746. Tim Oler was 34 red, goes 731 on the 684 dial as Carissa Windley, last pro standing last night. Going up against Brian Lapeer. Lapeer and the family want to send a huge shout out to the man, the myth, the one who builds all their race cars, Cleve Randall. Randall, got a little battle of his own going on right now, and they want you to cleave it to know that all of the Lapeers are here, and they are standing behind you, my friend. Hopefully you're watching along and seeing what your race cars can do as Lapeer was dialed in at 639, is 40 on the tree, and goes 640 down the racetrack to come up 13 thousandths of a second short. Carissa was 15 green, and then runs 590, on a 598, or 597, excuse me. That's one way to say it there, Egg Bear. Okay, it's not Egg Bear, it's Egg Bar. Egg Bar? That sounds like a villain from a video game. Well, I guess you did have, like, Dr. Eggman from, like, Sonic, but... Like, what, who, who's the bad guy in the game, Egg Bar? Jeff and Craig raced each other to the red light. Jeff went redder -er -er than Craig did. Craig, 008 red. Jeff was 20 red. Rates, bows out of the buyback round. Craig Merrilees in the Camaro moves back into the main event rounds. 652 on a 649 for Craig is Don, excuse me, Ron Nichols and Curtis Zinzalita. Zinzalita out of Flagstaff and the Road Runner, 594. Ron Nichols in the Oldsmobile out of Livermore dialed in at six or seven seventeen. I'm sorry. When greatness walks in the room, you just get all tongue tied. Everything gets kind of crazy. Winlight there is going to belong to Curtis, 38 green and 596 on a 594. Ron Nichols runs 715 on a 717 dial. And we've got a racer in need. Again, racer in need. We prefaced it with those three words. Luke Bagaki is in need of a Jessel rocker arm for a 20 degree head. So Luke needs a rocker arm. Jessel rocker arm for 20 degree head. If you've got a Jessel rocker for a 20 degree head, Luke Bagaki is in need and would love to meet you and would love to, uh, you know, do a little conversation with you. What do we call it? Bartering? Whatever it is. So Luke is a racer in need, needs a Jessel rocker for a 20 degree head. Uh, if you don't know where he's pitted at, he's kind of right down just off the return road, one of the first spots there, or bring it up to the tower. We'll make sure that it gets to Luke. But either way, let's get him helped out. So racer in need, come on, let's help. Just a reminder, or maybe it's for your information, one way or the other, as Jason England goes red by four thousandths of a second, Jansen Otten gonna get a nod going to get a win. 681 on a 680. Jansen, 580 on a 580. 004 and red. And then dead on. Red and dead on. Jansen gets the win like there. As I was starting to say earlier, racers, 
Just kind of for your information, the concession stand here at the Strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway is open. If you'd like to stop by there and grab yourself a little something to eat, something to sip on. If you're feeling snacky, not snarky, but snacky. Are you kidding me? I don't know if that one would, you know, I mean, you could show that on double O, but it's just, you know, that's not exactly one of those ones that really is there, but it, it kind of is. Fourth thou red for Steve Olenek. Riley Chappelle had a 520 reaction time and then runs 635 on a 550 dial. Steve Olenek basically looks like everything is here in my hands. Oh, it's like, I mean, that's like you're walking across the cafeteria, balancing like three trays worth of food. You're three feet from the table. Go, I got this. And then you trip and everything goes everywhere. That's horrible. Cody Weisner getting the L. Scott Heyer getting the W. As Heyer is 005 on the tree and then goes 645 on a 640. As Cody Weisner, 770 on a 767. New good after the 39th hour reaction time. Ryan Appleby, Jared Taylor. Appleby. He's dialed in at 643 in his 68 Charger out of Regina, Saskatchewan, and Jared Taylor, 67 C10 pick -em up truck. 660 is the dial. Red light start for Taylor. Uh-oh. 671 on a 660 for Jared after being 30 red at this end of the racetrack. Appleby, 28 green, and goes 646 on a 643. I'll bring up Kyle Lapeer and Chris Patterson. Waisner. Thank you, Randy. Another one of the Cleve Randall built cars for part of the Lapeer family. 692 dial left side. Patterson with a 676 dial right side. Chris is in trouble in the Falcon. Had a reaction time that started with one Kyle, was 12 green and goes 702 on the 692. Patterson 677 on a 676, but a 156 reaction time helped not at all. No help it was. There's Jay Greiner and Jaime Garcia. Garcia coming in out of Sonora, Mexico. Greiner. Coming in out of the South San Francisco area. 701 the dial for the Ventura. The purple ride. Going up against Jaime's. The Tomato. What was that? What was that song actually? It wasn't like one ton tomato. It was one ton of meat. I don't know what it is. I gotta look at it. On my <laughs> what? Uh oh. Jamie did the same thing that the Falcon did. Left with a one is the first number in the reaction time. Jay Griner's 80 green goes 705 on a 701. Thanks, Randy. Jaime, 680 on a 672 is Cliff Hall and Michael Jackson. We are down to a pair and a single in our Larice Pro buyback. Hey, racers, while we got a second, while we got a second, the merchandise booth is available downstairs below the tower. So if you are interested, which I don't know why you wouldn't be, but get your T-shirts, get your sweatshirts, get your beanies, get your tumblers, get everything you need to show that you were at the Fling 2024. Cliff Hall, 621 on a 618, 25 green 
converts to a win for Cliff. Michael Jackson with 66 on the tree, runs dead on four and 50 total. Not going to get it done. Against Cliff Hall is Jacob Phelps. Will be our final car in the Larice Pro buyback round. Phelps is dialed 651. He's 44 green and runs 654 on the 651. So Phelps will be back in for 30,000, or at least, you know, you got to kind of fight your way through pro first. But it is. I mean, I know, you know, I get it, right? As Calvin Tani out of Kapa'a, Kauai, Hawaii, rolls up in the 66 Chevy Nova. Calvin is going to be back in the game. Red light start for the Thunderbird on the left side of the racetrack. 621 was the dial. 160 red ends the day. Calvin was 34 green and goes one above. 638 on a 637. As Calvin will clear the top end of the racetrack and say mahalo. And move in around number two. You say. Jeff Birdie and Caden Harrell. Birdie, who when we christened this event back in 2016, was the first one to hoist the million dollar trophy. And I still, I still love what he said in his interview. Caden Harrell was 17 green, goes 676 on a 673, no good. Jeff Birdie, 009, goes 599 on a 597. But that sound clip that they used from his, inter from his interview, and he's talking about, you know, all these other guys, a lot of them race for a living. He goes, and I just build cabinets and countertops. But yet, proving the fact that it doesn't matter. If you are here, you could win it. I mean, he's a dang good racer. I'd almost say... Close your ears there, preacher boy. He's damn good racing. But uh, it's just it's just a cool quote, right? <laughs> Kenny Pasterkamp, 24 green, and goes dead on six to be 30 total against George LeBlanc. LeBlanc and the Chevelle over in the left lane. Was 11 green and 34 thou above the dial to be 44 total. Pasterkamp moving on is Kerry Willowit. And Beto Dominguez, Beto out of Hermosillo, Mexico, racing in the Nissan. At 98 body Nissan, dialed in at 620. The core Camaro had a carry will you eat. Dialed in at 527, head start went to Beto. Wind light's going to go to carry. Carry was 38 on the tree and two above the dial. 529 on a 527 for carry. Beto Dominguez, 22 green, and ends up six above the dial. To be 86 total, and the Nissan will not be seen again today after the buyback round. It's Greg Sabatino and Pat Dehanek at a Seba Beach, Alberta. That is a pretty cool looking car. That Roadster kind of flat blacked out, almost slight little rat rod type feel to the thing. I like it, 560. Dial in on the right side. The pickup truck dialed 662 and Greg Sabatino is gonna be 74 green and dead on five to get the win light against Pat Dehanek. Dehanek in the Roadster was 568 on a 560. He was 32 green and ends up eight above the dial. Not going to work out here in the buyback round is Jason Mercer and Rodney Snyder. Snyder in the topless Camaro. For the Scotty Muffler folks, 5'11", the dial over on the left side. And for Jason Mercer, 672 for the topless Corvette. Out of the right lane. So again, we have called our
Super Pro door cars, both even and odd to the lanes. We'll also take Super Pro Dragster odd buyback to the lanes, please. Super Pro Dragster odd buyback. Let's get you headed into the staging lanes. If you haven't made your way there yet, Super Pro Dragster odd. Let's get you headed into the staging lanes. If you haven't made your way there yet, 5.15 on a 5.11 for Snyder after no 15 reaction time. Uh-uh. <laughs> Jason Mercer is 13 green and 16 thou above the dial. To get the wind light is apparently the next salvo of jets has been ordered to take off. I don't know where they're going. Manny Hernandez, no good, 635 on a 636. Take 33 thou at the stripe to be under by 10 thousandths of a second. Sid Summers, 009 and two above. 580 on a 578, that's good. That's good. I think we kind of stalled out on the likes. We climbed like really fast for a while and now we've kind of plateaued. Only got to like 679. We've got 2,000 people watching. Don't make me turn Steve loose on you guys. Because he is, he's like wound up about this thing. Just, just say. Oh, Paul Edens, I do not know who do. Edens had a one point zero reaction time. That ain't gonna work. 6.15 on a 5.42. Shannon Walker goes 5.37 on a 5.33. But kind of as I started to say earlier, like, yeah, one, anytime you're in here, you know, it's like two goes down, one comes back. But in round number one, there's always that, I kind of got a mulligan. I got an opportunity on it. When you get into the buyback round, it really feels more like Thunderdome. You know, like do or die. That's how it is for me first round because I don't have the 190 bucks. So you got to. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's because apparently yesterday you bribed everybody. I'm out of money. To hit the like button. Yeah. So uh, we're going to need them to do that for free today. I think they should. I think they can. Robin Croton in that gorgeous 70 GTX was 13 green and goes 537 on a 535, but will not be back. Can't use the old Terminator line. I'll be back. No, you won't. Sorry. Too bad. See, I haven't commented today, but you know, I got that wrench on my name in there now. If they, don't, if they don't like it, I'll just start logging them out. Do you have a wrench? Yeah, I have a wrench now. Did I get a wrench? Yeah, you got a wrench too. Do I have a? Yeah. So if they don't like it, we'll just log them I'm out. I'm carrying a wrench. Yeah, you got a wrench now. Oh, Jeremy Waterman, oh. 004 and 541 on a 540. Wow. So we're not telling you you have to like the feed, but if you don't like the feed, <laughs> your next comment could disappear. I'm Peeps. just saying. <laughs> just kidding. Just wow. kidding. Peeps Pennington dialed 517. Markel Jackson dialed 664. Jackson out of the left side. Peeps out of the right side. In the Roadster that won it all a couple years back. Okay, it might have been more than a couple years back, but it was a couple years back. 518 on a 517. Peeps was 16 green. Markel Jackson had a perfect reaction time and couldn't run the number. 668 on a 664 for Markel. Win light belongs to Pennington. Phil Garrison and Ted Seipel. Ted in the Ferrari, Garrison in the Camaro. 557 the dial for Phil. 649 the dial for Ted. Whoa, Phil Garrison's car is chucking parts. I mean, it's laying flat down there. I'm not sure if it was some kind of, I don't think he had magnets or stickers on the car. But definitely something came out from underneath of it. Just past the 330-foot mark over the left side of the racetrack. Let's see here. While they're doing that, I'm going to see. We're going to see how many people can get to like this thing. You gonna see if you got a wrench? Yeah. Yeah, I don't blame you. But seriously, on a serious note, while it's quiet, if you can see the chat, just kind of swipe it down, hit the thumb. 
That's all you got to do. It's not hard. We're not asking for a whole lot here. I'm not asking you to Venmo me money, although that, that could come later. It's, uh, Nate, Nate will do it. Nate, Nate will Venmo me money, so it's fine. But, uh, but seriously, swipe the chat down for just a minute. Nothing going on, nothing to talk about, nothing to comment on, and just hit that thumb. If your thumb is not a solid color, means you have not liked the feed. If you have not liked the feed, well, then you're on the bad list today. So... Just uh, please do your part. Please like the feed so we can grow this uh, grow this live stream. We want to thank Jags and Hoosier for helping bring that live feed in. And it's always good to be able to go to them and say, hey, look, we had 1,500 people like the, like the feed that you helped sponsor today. So it obviously helps us to get more people to partner with us and help us to keep continuing to bring the uh, these feeds to you. So uh, just asking, do it a – oh, wait a minute. Diamond Miner said, I liked it for you, Nate. Well, you don't have to. Don't like it for me. Yeah, don't like it for him. Like don't it for like me. It for, don't no, like, like it for me. No, don't like it for Steve either. <laughs> oh, stop it, Nate. Like don't it like for it me. for me. Don't like L it for Steve. Listen. Like it because. Don't like it for Peter. It's Yeah, don't like it for no, Peter. Like no. it because it's great bracket racing. It's great content. It's a great channel. And it's a great live feed. And I want them to like it. That's so. Well, I don't, yeah. Yeah, like it for whoever. I don't care. Win one for the Gipper. I don't care what you have to do here. Just swipe down the comments, and hit that hit the hit the like button. That's it. Let's get over a thousand really fast. It won't take long. Right before Richard Duvall Jr. and Joe Aller make their way down the strip. So right. let's go. Come on. Good afternoon, James. Hello, Chris. Yeah. They gave me a wrench. I'm carrying a wrench. Joe Aller goes red by 88 thousandths of a second, goes 623 on a 620 dial and comes up on the wrong side of the tree. Richard Duvall Jr. at a Chandler, 607 on a 62, 14 and dead on two for Chandler and the Chevette, or excuse me, for Duvall and the Chevette. I like that. The Chevettes are cool. Chevettes are cool. Man, Terry, that would be a lot of fun. Put some more national events back on the schedule, but uh, with the kid getting older and wanting to spend a little bit more more, more time at home, I, I appreciate that. They were fun when we did them. Maybe somewhere down the road, but not right now. I'm having a great time doing flings. 14 green and two above for Ken Suio. The Capri sweetly sweeps its way back into round number two. Jacob Beatley was 29 green and goes 579 on a 572. Again, we, we set a goal for ourselves to be, you know, at 1,000 likes before the end of the buyback round. So we're starting to climb, but we are running out of time because we've already started to call dragsters, you know. We've started to call our dragsters odd back into the staging lanes. Yeah, we're not we're not getting throttled here, Ryan. It's it starts over each day. It's a new stream, right? Chuck Griffith, 22 on the tree. John Bianco was 27 on the tree. So five thou the difference between them in reaction time is Chuck Griffith is 636 on a 634 to get the wind light. John Bianco was two above as well, and it comes down to an eight thou stripe wind light goes to Griffith. My goodness. Gary Humphrey, 631 is the dial. Justin Mosier, 527 is the dial. I would agree, Thomas. 1,000 likes should be, woo! Mosier getting kind of right up alongside of the wall. Was 25 green, dead two, and comes up 15, 10 thousandths of a second short at the finish line. Gary Humphrey's 12 green and goes 632 on a 631. As now Gabe Hernandez and Andrew D. Piazza. Piazza out of Long Grove, Illinois. 519. The dial in on the right side.
Ha. Gabe Hernandez, 6.090 on a 6.08. 19 green and one hundredth of a second above the dial gives Gabe the win line as George Lewis and Butch Belair. Hey, Andrew. Good to see all are listening in as Belair holding a 30 thou advantage at this end of the racetrack will not turn on a win like George Lewis with 37 green and dead on six. To be 42 thou, 42 thou total. Butch Belair 007 and goes 679 on a 676. And bring out Breaky Dusel and Chad Campbell. Campbell in the 64 Falcon out of Meridian, Idaho. Ricky goes with a 564 dial for the split windowed Corvette on the left side. So head start's gonna belong to the Falcon. <laughs> That's right, Sean. There are all kinds of wrenches in chat today. Everybody mind your manners. Be on your best behavior. Not that they showed me how to use the wrench, but there are <laughs> We're surrounded by wrenches. Red light start for Chad Campbell. Campbell red by five thousandths of a second. 627 on a 628. No good. Ricky 34 green and 565 on a 564. Warren has stepped in here. And Do you have a wrench, Warren? I have a wrench. You have, have a wrench? I have a, well, I have sort of a hidden wrench. I'm, I'm the, the flings bracket racing that you see on there. That's me. Ah. I think also I might have a personal wrench. And, yeah, uh, it's it's dangerous. There's so many wrenches around here. I I know. I'm looking at that. that there's probably all whole, all kinds of people out because I never knew that's what the wrench meant. You know what'll be funny is when we start kicking each other out. To see who's left standing. <laughs> I use my wrench to turn the wrenches here. on each other. Exactly. <laughs> it's become a oh man silent takeover. 684 on a 685. Kyle Fritz was 17 green. Troy Grant was 006 red. Grant bows out. And it's going to be Kyle Fritz. You know, I, I want to jump in here just not so much to call call the action, but uh, you know, the fling team is uh, it's a great big family, of course, and uh, Severio, who's been on the mic, I mean, he's like an, uh, an everyman out there, a utility player, because Right now, he's the one that they're producing the screen for us as well. Sweet. Yes. Severio's going from uh, like the truck guy to the announcer guy to the. Yes, he is. He is important pushing, news delivery guy. He's pushing the buttons down there through our uh, buyback round here. So, uh, you know, we we're taking a little bit of a break for our man cameras right now. So, but he's got the cameras figured out. He's walking us through uh, the action here. So. Uh, that kid's got a future at this, I think. He's doing a great job. He's doing awesome. Wind light on that one belongs to Northrop. 47 green and then 674 and a 673 is Jesse Long and Jim Hartvigson. Hartvigson out of Escondido, dialed 589 in the Barracuda. Jesse in the door truck, dialed 666. I like Thomas Gunner's message on here. You get a wrench. You get a wrench. Just Absolutely. Like you get a car. You get a wrench. And you, you get a, get a wrench. wrench. Guess what, Jesse? You get a win light. 10 green and dead on four beats 002 on the tree and well off the number. Just we'll just go with that. He just just get there. Just a bit outside. 597 on a 589. Hardvickson was 002. Couldn't quite pull it off as Nate Stansberry and Rob Mosier. Dude, dog, oh, isn't that? If we start throwing a bunch of the one-liners from Major League, we could get ourselves wrenched out of here. We'll get ourselves wrenched out of here. Oh my goodness. 
Nate Stansberry was getting a big old head start with a 776 dial and tried to take a little bit more than he should have. 14 red out of that left lane. Not going to work out as Rob Mosier, 46 green, and goes 503 on a 501. Let's see. i got to get back in here to my messages. Don Golby for Golby and Pete Bendigal. Excuse me, vertical. 004 on the tree and 618 will not turn on a wind light. Golby comes up 14 ten thousandths of a second short after an 042 reaction time. He goes 679 on a 677. You know, when Riggins walks up behind you, puts his hand on your shoulder, and starts giggling. I there's no good that comes from that. Like we said yesterday, you know, and we got a couple of minutes here, maybe as uh, R.J. Fanning and Ivan Cones are going to be our final two. Ivan is 92 green and goes 618. Huh? Sorry, that's a huh. Dialed 641 and runs 618. Huh? Huh? Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Uh, RJ Fanning was read by 17 thousandths of a second. Go 605 on a 604. So, like we said yesterday, we started dropping out the, uh, you know, Waterboy movie quotes. And we had mentioned earlier that if we started dropping quotes from the movie Major League, uh, we essentially, Barn would have to boot all of us. He, he's gearing up now. I'm sure he is. He's got the biggest wrench of all of us. I'm sure he is. But you know what? In all seriousness, we couldn't do this without Barn. And no. the people that on the periphery help support all this kind of thing. You know, Barn and his cast of uh, merry men that help him out. And they are they are in the chat for us. They're in the chat for the majority of the live streams out there. And uh, they help keep it family friendly and clean and uh, we really appreciate that no because absolutely we do when we're in the middle of a production here we on site don't have the bandwidth to keep up with it not like it should and barn is more dedicated than you can possibly imagine we he's we really appreciate everything he does and absolutely we do we're just here as backup wrenches as, as he said i have some good are you trying to say some good trainees I think that's you. I don't know. No, he. I don't think he's talking. That's definitely not coming headed this direction. Steve, maybe. No. Steve, maybe. I think he's waiting for you to cast your first ban to somebody. Well, I have to figure out how to do it. How about we just ban each other? Let's say we'll I practice. We're getting to that spot where we're just gonna. We're gonna practice here. I see the Steve there. Riggins. It's an impressive group. I think Pete even has a wrench. I don't even know how to. Well, you got. I think you got to do it from like a, a real computer, not that iPad. Oh, it didn't iPad. work. It doesn't work on my. I don't think on so. my iPad. I tried. Maybe. Maybe. Nope. Go over to the right hand side. Go over to the right hand side. No. Go over to the right hand side. Oh wait. I don't know. Well. Yeah, I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out when I need to. So far. <laughs> We don't need to use it. It's it's an in case of emergency only. Nobody wants to give me a wrench. Barn is correct. Trainees and minions are different. This is <laughs> totally valid. Trainees don't listen and minions do. So final pair of door cars. Where is the 
Justin Beakley left side, Jeff Higgins right side. 585 was the dial for Higgins in the Roadster, was 21 green and goes 586 on the 585 to get there first by six thousandths of a second. Justin Beakley was 18 green and goes 575, or 576, excuse me, on a 574. So at this point, racers, we should have, should have, Our odd dragsters back in the staging lanes getting ready for the buyback round. Any dragsters who were doubled, we need to have you back there as well. And we've got uh, Jacob Stallworthy, who has collected the APD bounty on Sean Schaefer, winning that certificate for that uh, advanced product design. Carburetor valued at $1,549. So that is a nice little deal, Jacob. We've got your certificate up here in the tower for you. And then Gabe Hernandez won the $250 contingency from Luis for the best overall package. Imagine that. The one pack was the best overall package of round number one. The kingpin. Surprise. You know, if he'd have left the wing on it, he'd have been two numbers off. Could have been. That wouldn't have worked. T one total. And he took the wing off. See what you've done, Josh? See what you've done? You've started a big, big trend. Big trend. Chad Broom had the best losing package of Pinella Race Engines at round number one. He was nine total. Wasn't yesterday's best round number one losing package was eight total. I think that's right, yes. Today it was nine total. He gets that $500 thanks to the folks at Pinella Race Engines. So again, Chad, you've got that uh, five hundred dollars in the small check coming up here. We'll get you a hundred more likes. We'll see. We do need a hundred. Well, well, we need we need two hundred twenty-two. We're at seven seventy-eight. We need two hundred twenty-two more likes. Again, every day. The way this this works is you subscribe to the channel. So the channel, you're subscribed. You only have to subscribe once. Like once you're subscribed, and we've got 3,380 subscribers is what I'm seeing on the screen right now. So we're at 3,380 subscribers. But each day that you log in, there is a new stream. You had the stream from yesterday. You had a stream from today. There'll be one tomorrow. There'll be one Saturday. Each time you watch a stream, they are looking for you to like that specific stream. So you subscribe to the channel and then you like the individual streams. So each time you check in, we've got over 2,000 people watching, 780 likes. We need to get more likes going here. We've had uh, a big jump since we started, but let's get that going. We've got folks watching in from Australia. Yeah? Well, all right then. Tractors are doing what they're doing. Dragsters are going to be coming in for the buyback round. Essentially, the re-entry. Yeah, we got to get to 1,000 before the end of the buybacks. We can do it. Yes. There you go. Steve Riggins makes a good point. Do it for Warren. Because if you don't like this, Pete's going to have to think about whether he brings me back. All right, so as the uh, tractors come off, Mr. Warren himself is, uh, again, he's turned over the editing duties, the camera switching duties, to Severio Biondo, who is doing a spectacular job with that. But we have had our discussions and have decided the best place for our swear jar donations to go. And the Where reason might that be? What? Where might that be? Racers for Christ. Perfect. We've done that before, but the reason we're going to do it again is because of this. Number one, 
if there's anybody on property who knows exactly which racers need the help, it's them. They've got the inside track on anything and everything that racers need assistance with. And so rather than us trying to sit up here and go, oh, yeah, that, or oh, this, or oh, we're going to give it to them. Because they support us each and every time we're out here. They show up strong. They show up big. But that is where we need to help them out. So racers, as you're coming up here to the buyback window, as you're coming up here for whatever it is, when you stop by the Diva Desk, you will see the swear jar. Drop a donation into the swear jar. That is all going to Racers for Christ. And then they will help us distribute accordingly so that our RFC team can get that out to the charities that need it. So, as we get into Dragster buyback, we're going to let uh, Warren get kind of a different, uh, do, do a little different duty here today. Well, thank you, Nate. Every once in a while I get to do this, pick up a microphone, so I appreciate the opportunity, too. And uh, But it's awful hard to uh, get any at-bats in here because... There's a whole collection of really great drag racing announcers floating around the property, and uh, uh, yeah, let me know. I've got one and one A right here next to me, and yeah, Peter's up here. Severio's running the camera show down there, and uh, Ronnie Court, he did pretty well as well. Great and Helena, Ronnie Court speaking up. He's going to be occupied for a little while because he got the round win. He's back in, in round number two, 567 at 121, 008 on the tree. Great and Helena lets go 16 thousandths of a second too early. 476 on the 475, or excuse me, 474 on the 475. Reading may not be my strong suit. 144 miles an hour. So just like that, we're on the dragster side of the buyback round here. Winners go back into round number two of eliminations. Keenan Myers left side out of Madisonville, Tennessee. Got a five flat up on the scoreboard. Lloyd Salveson Jr. from New Mexico right side trying to go 496. Tension in the pit area, even numbered dragsters for the buyback round. Even numbered dragsters for buyback round. We need you to the staging lanes, please. That would be all of the dragsters now participating in the buyback round. Odds are up here, evens, we need you now. Both of them turn it green. One of them a little greener than the other. Left side, 007, dead one. That's an eight total for Keenan Myers. Myers will advance. Lloyd is 044 and out of it before he passed the Christmas tree. 496-2, 138. But the eight pack for Keenan Myers moves him into the next round. Zach Ellis and Kyle Seacrest coming up now. Ellis from my part of the country. Virgins, Illinois. The American car over there. Right side, Kyle Seacrest from Nortman, Oklahoma. Jim White build machine, 470 and 473 up on the scoreboards, left and right. Seacrest is staged, Ellis follows. Green and green. Eighth thou. A dead three takes out a dead two. Kyle Seacrest had the advantage up front by eighth thou. Then goes dead three. 
Takes out the dead two for Ellis. Troy Williams Jr. out of Brainson, Florida. Florida. Not a name you would typically find in the buyback round. Take on Joe Kittle Jr. The Alabama runner over on the right-hand side. They are both off and running. Kittle turns it red by 010. Troy Williams. 472, good enough to move on to the next round. Kittle, 010 red and a 496 at 140. And this 30K Thursday is over. Once again, we need even number dragsters for the buyback round. Back to the lanes, please. We're running the odds. We need the evens. Even number dragsters for buybacks. Back to the lane. Rob White from Canada taking on Jorge Covarrubias Jr. from Mexico. 519 left, 463 right. Jorge with some work to do. Better light for White. Team Mexico, though, lights the bulb at the top end. Jorge for the win. 465 and 3 at 149. His number was good. Rob White was 006 up front, then took 6 thou to go 6 thou under it at the top end. 518.4 at 132 miles an hour. Gunship helicopter over the top end of the racetrack here. Josh Buer and Kaoki Desa. Kaoki Desa from right here in North Las Vegas. This is obviously the home track. 449, the number right side. He'll be the chaser. 476 on the left for Josh Buer. Again, we need. Odds and evens in dragsters up here for the buyback round. Red line stipe. Kaoki Desa, your winner. 451 at 153. He lets go on time. Buer early by 027, then goes 476 8. Red and dead on. 146 miles an hour. Hannah Vandermeer coming up next. Nampa, Idaho, the home. Taking on Max Mosier out of Portland, Indiana for Mosier Engineering, right side. 498 left side. Head start for Miss Hannah. Max Mosier, 456, will be on the chase. Staged, ready, red. Max goes to red by 005 win light. Hannah Vandermeer, she'll advance to round number two. Puts her name back in for the $30,000 winner's payday. 499 at 138 for Hannah. Max Mosier, 005, 456, four red and dead on. Once again, 152 miles an hour. Max is done for the day. Old Barnes fighting some problems back home, but uh, hopefully he's going to have that solved here in just a minute. We do greatly appreciate his help. Timmy Markaglu out of Staten Island, New York, and Kyler Hergemuller over on the right, Brighton, Colorado. Kyler comes south. Markaglu comes west. Both of them green. Headed to the top. Timmy's got the advantage and the win. 447 at 147. He was 002 on the let go. Kyler, 030, 465 at 146. The numbers did not work out to his advantage by one one hundredth of a second. It's Timmy Markaglu going on to round number two. John Parks out of Cadillac, Michigan, the head man at Ultratech. That is the hot rod over on the left, dialed to 448. And Tom Clark, right side from Spokane. 
trying to go 456. Just a little bit of a head start over there on the right hand side for Tom Clark. For those of you out there subscribing, we greatly appreciate that. We're at 839 on the likes. If we get to 1,000 likes before I get off the microphone here at the end of this buyback round, I'll kick in a hundo to the swear jar. John Parks, 450 at 150 gets the win. Tom Clark, way late on the starting line. He left on the fourth amber, if you know what I mean. 457 on the 456, 152. But if your reaction time starts with a five, you'll be opening up the trailer and putting the car back in it. And no offense, but I hope I have to cough up a hundo. Cash and Fry, 696, which is a good number because that's what he's run two days in a row. Misty Unser alongside. Cash has got the light. And he couldn't run that number all weekend long until now, 693, three under on the 90 and 98 miles an hour. He was 013, Misty was 060. Two over with a three, 454, three at 147. And to answer the chat, it is not a junior dragster, it's a junior comp car, which the West Coast is the home of the junior comps. Trevor Harkema. Jessica Bogacki coming up now. Gary's mom headed down track, sees a wind light down there. On the double breakout, 466-7. Three thou under, three thou on the reaction timer. In new math, that is a perfect run, but it's not really. Trevor Harkema, 493-4 on the 494, goes under by six. Jess goes under by three with a double O three. Double breakout win goes to Jessica Bogacki. Amy Farrow now out of Chattanooga, Tennessee for Water Sucks. What a great product that is. Sandra Priest alongside Ringgold, Georgia. NHRA Division II runner over there on the right. They brought a whole caravan of cars out here from North Georgia. Seventh out, separate them off the starting line. It's a wind light for Sandra Priest on the right. 514 of 132. On the right side of the number, how about this for Amy Farrow? Dialed 476, goes 475 with a nine. Breaks out by one, one thousandth of a second. Had the advantage off the line, 009 to an 016. Priest behind up front, but sees a wind light. Casey Nelson and Shane Thompson coming up now. Nelson, left side, Hayden, Idaho. 508, up on the scoreboard there, left side. Right side, Shane Thompson. For Silver State, Plumbing and Heating. Our sponsor yesterday, 466. The number right side. Top end, it is Shane going on to the next round with a dead three, 466-3 at 145. Casey Nelson goes three off, 511 on the 508 at 130 miles an hour. Nelson was better up front, but Shane with the dead on run. Neil Presimone from Las Vegas. That's the left side. 
488. Mike Coulter, right side out of Boise, Idaho. Brand new 2024 Miller car, dialed to 451. Steve, what you got? All right, uh, just another shameless plug. I mean, come on, you heard Warren Evans. He's ready to pony up $100 to the swear jar for Racers for Christ. He's not even going to swear. All he wants you to do is like this feed. So if you have not done so, take a minute right now, like the feed. Let's put this thing over 1000 and uh, Warren's going to donate $100 to Racers for Christ. So scroll down in your chat, check the thumb. If it's not solid, you haven't liked it, like it now. Let's, uh, let's make a donation for Racers for Christ. Thanks, Warren. You're trying to dig into my wallet, which I appreciate because it's for a great cause. How about this run? They were both 011 on the reaction timer. Press Simone gets down there, breaks out by one one thousandth of a second, 487.9 on the 488. Coltrick was on the safe side, gets the win, 52 on the 51 at 149. Brian Bennett, my crater. Next pair of dragsters coming up. A little older style on the intake there. Bennett dialed a 452 and a 447 right side. Four foul apart as they head to the stripe. How about a dead six for the win for Brian Bennett? 452 six on the 52, 150 miles an hour. He was four better up front. Crater, 446 six. He is four thou under at the top end. Got there first by six thou. Breaks out by four thou. Bennett moves on. How's that number looking over there? Eight, 887. Mitchell Marcy and Jeremy Soares coming up now. On the Las Vegas side, the 483 for Marcy out of New Mexico. Jeremy Soares coming down from Canada, trying to go 485 over there on the Pennzoil side of the track. Again, winner gets to get back in and play for the 30K. And it's not gonna be Soares. He leaves the red line on, 002 green for Marcy. 483-2, how about a four pack? right there for Mitchell Marcy, 002 dead to at 144 for the win. Jeremy Soares turns it red by 002 and then goes nine under 484-1 on the 485. Roger Wayne Thornton over on the left out of Bealton, Virginia. Toes cross country here. To Chase the money. And another East Coaster, Mark Heatherly out of Rossville, Georgia. 473 left, 475 right. You won't even be able to see the head start. up front, win light right side. How about a dead one for Mark Heatherly? He's 475, one, 145, 032 on the tree, 029 on the tree for Roger Wayne Thornton, a little bit better. The runs further off, 474, nine at 139 on the left. And that gives it to Mark Heatherly. Trevor Jelinski and Logan Scrivener. Coming up next, Scribner with the old uh, warplane themed paint scheme over there on the right hand side out of Sherwood, Oregon. Trying to go 490. Jelinski with a 467 up on the scoreboard. Jelinski in control and your winner, 469. Two over, 146 for the speed, 004 on the tree. Scribner. Had a little window, but wasn't going to get inside it. 492 on the 490 at 139. Jelinski, your winner on the left by two hundredths of a second. Funny car Chris over there on the left-hand side. Chris Northam.
now out of Gleason, Tennessee, and Gage Gilbert. Gage the intern over here on the right from Henderson, Nevada. 4.98 right side. 5.27 left. internal with a red flag to start by 003. Northam. Yep, isn't that always the case? Red and dead on. Gates Gilbert, red, then dead on four to go park back in his pit area. Chris Northam, 524 at 129. He broke out, but it didn't matter. His wind light was already on as he was driving on down the track. Ryan Barnes and Willie Flores coming up now. Ryan Barnes out of Brunswick, Georgia. Pretty healthy contingent of Georgia cars here this weekend. Willie Flores out of San Angelo, Texas. Right side, 478 and 460 the dial in. Barnes with the better lead. Barnes with the one light, 463 on the 60. He was 002 on the tree. Flores goes two over 480 on the 478. Again, margin of victory, one hun at the stripe. Barnes left side for the win. Gene Heaton and Gordon Bovin coming up next. I'm used to seeing Gordy in a Mopar that he races all over the this part of the country. Not used to seeing him in the dragster. Heaton finally rolls in there. Bowen. For the win. Gordon Bowen, right side. 474 for your win. 012 on the tree. Heaton was right there. 017. Two over with a six. 512 with a six. Margin of victory 45 ten thousandths of a second. Or about a wheel length out there. Chad Broom and Zach Clark. I feel like I'm being ganged up on here as I've got a whole room of people with their phones out trying to get you guys to hit that like button, which I'm cool with. But we need to do this consistently like every day, not just today. Chad Broom, 431 the dial, Jason, Zach Clark. Clark for the win, 468-5, dead five, 001, six pack. Chad Broom was 008 on the let go and was just pushing air and wasting gas. 433 at 157. Brandon Taylor, Eric Mann. Four ninety nine left side, four sixty one on the right. Green and green. Double O double O. Red light. Eric Mann, four sixty two on the sixty one, double O five on the tree. <laughs> oh, is that the sponsor? Water sucks. Hashtag water sucks. Eric Mann, the head man there with the Water Sucks product. Brandon Taylor, 501 on the 499. 009, 135 for the speed.
Gabe Torres and Austin Schoenfeld coming up next. Austin in the front motor car over there on the right hand side. On the front. Seven dial in, Gabe Torres on the charge. Gabe's got room to work and gets it done. Torres, 471 on the 67. Had 500 in his back pocket. Austin a little bit late off the starting line, then goes dead seven at 137. And Austin will have all night to think about it. Come back tomorrow. Corey Galetti. Colton Bullington coming up next. Tomball, Texas for Corey. 437, the dial in. Colton Bullington, right side with a 502. Seems like Corey's won one of these, hasn't he? There's some nice looking rides out there. And I think our friends in the chat fleet are trying to help us figure out who our best appearance was. Corey Galetti goes on to the next round by seven thousandths of a second. Corey Galetti, 003, 438 for the win. 153 for the speed. Bullington right side was 12 on the tree. One over with a six, 5036 to take the L. Bodie Bennett. Bodie out of shallow water, Texas. And Kevin Burnett, Parker, Colorado, right side. 477 left side will get the head start. 460 on the right will be the chaser. Yep, that's how it turned out. 485 on the 477 at 128 for Bodie Bennett. He had more than a tenth of a second in his back pocket as Kevin Burnett missed the button completely. 463 at 158. Reaction time was a big factor there. Bodie Bennett for the win. This is Jansen Melton coming up now. Leeson, Tennessee. Right side, Gary Bullington, Meridian, Idaho. 417, the blower car on the left. So we tracking down Gary Bullington, giving up two bolts head start, which is kind of rare. Kind of rare. One of these events. Wind light, here's a womp womp down there at the top end. Wind light for Jansen Melton. Taking the blower car into the next round. 421 at 163 for the win. He was 006 on the three. Gary Bullington, a little bit behind that, goes two over, 517 at 131. Win line left side for Melton by two huh, at the stripe. And yes, Steve-O, productivity is down today. And you're welcome. Brian Cam, Jim Glenn. Cam, left side, Glenn on the right. Glenn's put it in the winner circle here at one of the fling events. Former world champion over on the NHRA side of the world. 499-3, dead on three for Brian Cam. Gets it done. Jim Glenn, two over, 483 on the 481. Cam had both ends of that race sewed up. Better light, dead three, winner. Attention in the pit area. We need Larice Pro, round two. To the lanes, please. Larice Pro, round two. To the staging lanes, please. Once again, attention in the pit area. We need Larice Pro, round two to the lanes. Darren O'Connor and Jason Dawson coming up next. Darren out of Powaka. I do have any idea where that's at. Jason Dawson from right here in NLV. LV. 
465, 7, 008, 15 total would have been tough to beat. But Darren already took care of that for him, turning it 007 red and then going 625, easing on down the highway there. Paul Downey and Gary Womble coming up next. Womble out of Arveda, Colorado. 464 right side. He'll be chasing down Paul Dowdy's 486 up there on the scoreboard. Oh, 13 red for Paul Dowdy. Win line for Gary Wombolt. 464, 149. Paul Dowdy. 013 red, 485.9 on the 86. 140 for the speed. Wombolt advances back into the show. Tommy Drake Jr. and Alonzo Sanchez coming up next. Tommy, the Idaho runner, 480. Left side, that's the car with the wing. Alonzo, right side, 488, that's the car without the wing. Sanchez out of Sonora, Mexico. It's great to have Team Mexico in the house. Team Mexico will not like that one. The fourth out breakout for Sanchez. Tommy Drake Jr., your winner, 482 at 143, will get the win. And for all of you bilingual fans out there, Emmanuel will be up here a little bit later this afternoon to sit in with our announced team for just a little bit. Always entertaining when we've got him on board. Ana Lucia Contreras Ladre. Amarillo, Mexico. Trying to nail down a 495 on the chase. 566 right side for little Bantam Alter. For Michael Avidabile. Ana Lucia will be seeing the win there. 497 at 137. Michael was 007 on the tree. The run's five off, 571. Ana Lucia's dragster goes on to the next round. Eric Goulden, Dale Taros. Taros with that front motor car over here on the right-hand side, but don't let that deceive you. That car runs the number. Dale is super tough. 550 right side. Eric Golden, 464 left. In trouble. Here comes Golden. Golden goes back to chase the 30K. 468 at 139, 009 on the tree. Golden is your winner. Dale Taros, two over 552 at 123, but about four hundredths of a second behind at the starting line, which was all Golden needed to take the win. Move on to the next round. That is the announcer's jinx when you start bragging on somebody and you screw up their whole deal. Spencer Massey. Yep. Top fuel driver, Spencer Massey. Great man. 5, 10, 0. Dead on 0. For Trayton Band, 007 on the tree. 7 total. Spencer Massey is out of here going 030 up front. Didn't matter what he did on the other end, but he went 484 at 140. But he was locked out from the get go. As Trayton 007 dead zero. Chevy Reeves and Matt Lee coming up next. Lee out of Seneca, Missouri. Chevy Reeves, Edmonton, Alberta, Canada. Both of them out here chasing big money. One of them's got to take the win line to do it. It's going to be the 476 for Matt Lee, right side getting it done. 
He had three in his back pocket. Chevy Reeves, 468-9, dead nine. He gave three hun back to Matt Lee. When they let go of the button, Lee, that's all they needed. One over five for the win. Kyle Bigley, K-Money. Left side out of Secaucus, New Jersey. Taking on Robbie Butler. Right side, Citrus Heights, California. 458 and 477 are the dial-ins. Bigley will be the chaser. Butler, right side, gets the head start. Double O two four sixty for the win. He got there second. Robert Butler 015 on the tree. Got down there first. By 011. Broke out by 003. Butler 476 7 on the 477. The breakout there. Here's Kelly Peterson Fairchild, Littlefield, Arizona, coming up next. Kelly alongside Emily Girard from Chilliwack, British Columbia. Wasn't there a band called Chilliwack back in the day? Oh, how old are you, Steve? 46, I have a son that's almost your age. <laughs> Kelly. 567, the performance prediction. Emily, a 490. Left side goes first. Just like that. A little too much for Kelly. Ends her day. 570 at 131, but that red light start and Kelly is done. Emily drives it on out to a 488.9 at 141. She was two under, but her light was green. Kelly's was red. Emily comes back to playing round number two. All right, come on, chat bleachers. We're running out of time. They're pulling the last cars out of the lanes right now and around the corner. So we are 58 likes short on the live feed of getting this donation from Warren. I'd love to see Warren leave this room $100 shy because I know where it's going, and he doesn't care either. But you got to get us there. We got to get to 1,000, 57 short. We got about a half a dozen pairs or so to make that happen. So now's the time. Check it now as uh, Mr. Wayman and Harkman make their way down the track. Wyatt Wayman wins, moves on, 432 at 154. Better like. Proved to be the difference right there. Logan War, Aaron Johnson coming up next. Logan out of Erda, Utah. One of the hitters out here in the western part of the country. 464, dial in left. Right side, 492 for Aaron Johnson. The Arkansas runner gets the head start. Again, got to light the bulb at the top end. Come back and run for that 30K. Come on, less than 50 to go. Uh, yesterday I was begging just from a competitive nature. Today we're begging for a good cause. 964, 36 to go, and you got a half a dozen pairs. Come on, check it now. Now's the time. Let's make a donation to RFC. Warren's been very generous to offer it up, but we got to do our part. So come on, 36 to go. Well, neither one of these two want to roll in and light the bottom bolt, and now they're both in. And Logan Ward, level 06, red light, Aaron Johnson. Dead zero. 492 0 at 140, had it dialed right. 025 on the tree. That didn't matter. Logan Ward, 006 red. And then goes 2 2 quick, 462 at 149.98. Jorge Carubias Sr., Baja, California, Mexico, it says. And Wade Archer. Enum Claw, Washington. I met Wade yesterday morning. I had breakfast over here at the uh, at 
the plaza right here by the interchange. Wade's looking forward to a good weekend here in his race car. Wade's got one in the pipeline, too, so he's got to be right coming up soon. Jorge has the better light and the win. How about 009 dead two, 11 total for Jorge Carubius Sr. Carubius Sr. Wade Archer was 013 and just in the way. 467 at 148, no good. Team Mexico. Come on, 12 to go. We're getting there. 12 to go. 988, we're almost to 1,000. Come on, check it. There's 1,000 of you who have not liked the feed. I need you to check right now. Let's make this thing happen. Apparently, RFC's not over there praying in the suite next door. Nate's got some good news to share when he gets back on the microphone. In the meantime, 490 with a nine for Marlon. Gets the job done. Woo! I've never seen so many people overjoyed to dig into my wallet and take money out of it. <laughs> oh, you're overjoyed too. I, yes. <laughs> I love the Racers for Christ organization. Now we're gonna go back there and take a picture of it when it happens and post that to your social media feed. Thank you, thank you for everyone. We're over a thousand, I'm down a hundred. How's that? That's perfect. So, all right, so in the chat, let's let's like make Warren feel good. Let's give hashtag Warren in the chat. So he uh, stepped up, we're so thankful for what he offered to do. And you all did it, made it happen. So let's hashtag Warren in the chat and celebrate a $100 donation to RFC. Rocky Van Note was 009 up front, but then breaks out. 477, too, too quick on his 479. Ken Nelson, dead on four for the win. 454-4 over on the left. Val Torres and Travis Keys will line up now. Torres left, Keys on the right. Torres out of Valinda, California. And Keys from Pueblo, Colorado meet here in the middle in Las Vegas. 470, 481, left and right. Red light start, 005 red for Travis Keys. Val Torres for the win, 472 at 135 for the win. Travis, 005 red light, dead on three. 481 three at 144. Are we getting spammed in the chat? Uh, thank you. you did. Yeah. Warren is powered by Optima Battery. Oh, well, let's not get that started. That was, that was a mess yesterday. Stephen Farrell and Jagger Anderson coming up next. 487 and 451 left and right, respectively. Head start goes to Farrell on the left, the runner out of Chattanooga, Tennessee. Part of that Water Sucks team. And Jagger Anderson, right in Colorado. Off and running on a 451 and a little bit too early. No club red. It's his. Thursday, Stephen Farrow for the win. Yeah, how about that? Red and dead zero. Jagger Anderson, 012 red, 451 0, 154. Stephen Farrow goes under, but it doesn't matter. You'll see the next round. Jagger has got an early afternoon of it. Get himself geared up for the million tomorrow. Rick Marcy, Chandler, Dyson. Chandler, right side out of Lakewood, Colorado, 463 to dial in. We'll give up a little bit of a bump there to Rick Marcy. And then Marcy gives him a little bit more back. 
Dyson, 466, 4 at 142, 009, and that is no good. Rick Marcy, 1 over with a 9, 480 with a 9 on the 479, 019, and by five thousandths of a second, Rick Marcy will take his New Mexico based dragster into the next round. Thanks to everybody for the hashtag Warren there in the chat. Appreciate you. Here's our winner from last night. Didn't get out of round one today. Sean Schaefer, left side out of Boise. 463 in his future. Tyler Smith, right side. The Rancho Cucamonga runner, 469 on the right. A pair of Miller dragsters on the starting line right now. Sean had a great night last night. Would like to extend that today, but he's gonna to have to win here to get back into the mix. Might be in a little bit of trouble. Oh, how about that? Schaefer was behind when he let go of the button. Then he goes dead on two to make up the difference. 463-2, dead two, 148. Tyler Smith had about a hundred and a half in his back pocket. Then goes three over 472 on the 469. The math works out to Sean Schaefer's advantage, and Sean will get another shot at that 30K here today. And I believe we are down to a pair on the starting line and a single in the water box, and that will be our buyback round. Is it a pair in the water box? Johnny Carter and KJ Desa coming up now. We saw Kiyoki Desa earlier, KJ now. 460 left side, 492 right for Desa. Neither one of them was really ready to go. Desa gets the win on the double breakout, 491 4 on the 492. He breaks out by six thou. Johnny Carter broke out by 4 Hun, 456 on the 460. One more pair of cars here, and we'll know who's going on to round number two. Matt Grayson and Alexis Thompson coming up next. Do a little traction farming right behind this final pair of cars. 501 left side for Matt Grayson. Alexis Thompson, 465 on the rate. She'll be chasing. He'll be hanging out there. One of them is double O one and dead seven. Eight total for Alexis Thompson. Double O one, dead on seven. That's eight total. Matt Grayson, 503 on the 501, 018. Wasn't going to get there at all. So Alexis Thompson, our final winner to go on to round number two. Oh, we love Warren's money. You know, I got one of them at home. She loves my money too. And she's got better control of it than you do. But for everybody involved that hit the like button, please continue to do that all weekend. That is very important to the success of the Fling Bracket channel on YouTube. You got one of them at home that loves your money? Uh, not quite. Not well, quite. I got a couple race cars that love my money. Oh. Yeah, well, you love your money. yeah. yeah. <laughs> There's a whole lot of people that love your money, but I got one in particular. Every time I go to Waffle House within 10 minutes, you went to Waffle House again? She watches it closer than I do. But, no, I wouldn't do that. All is good on the home front. All is good on the home front. I'm going to get out of the way. Um, but while you all were scrounging away there to uh, dig into my wallet and take the 100 bucks, which I'm happy to do. I love Racers for Christ. Wonderful organization. Happy to be a part, affiliated with them. So, that's all cool. But... From what I understand, Nate Hershey also 
got a quote unquote phone in donation. And so not only was my hundred dollars going in there in just a minute, but he also got a phone in contribution for another hundred dollars to the square jar. So thanks to that anonymous contributor. He may tell who it is when he gets back on here. I don't know, but I got to go kick in my money. Ronnie Court stands behind me. Steve Riggins stands beside me. Severio is telling me, get out of the way. So, go, yeah, go do my own job. Thank, thank you guys for letting me hang out for just a few minutes, and uh, always a pleasure. Warren, thank you so much. Great job as always. Great job in everything that you do. It's, uh, like I said, he, uh, we didn't ask him to do anything. He offered it up. He said, get it over 1,000 likes, and I'll kick in $100 to RFC. But he does so, so much. These, uh, these camera angles, all this stuff, it, uh, all the different ideas. This is the brain, brain trust, the brainchild of Warren Evans, and he is uh, just top-notch at what he does, and we appreciate him. And uh, we appreciate his generous heart at the same time. Like I said, when he says that, he's not just, he's not just saying words. He, he does truly support RFC and, and their mission and what they do, and we do as well. So it's nice to be able to take that swear jar and, and donate that to RFC. So we know that will grow as the weekend continues on. But we are, we are truly thankful uh, for folks like Warren Evans, folks like you guys who are willing to jump in, partner in. Like I said, a lot of you, I mean, the ones in the chat bleachers, most of you, there's some that are, most of you are not here. So you're not here at the event, but that's a way that you can help and you can contribute to that and, uh, and raise the awareness for not only RFC, but for this uh, fling racing channel as we, it's, it's still in its infancy, man. This thing is, is new. And so uh, if you'd have told me we'd had 2,000 people watching right now and, and 3,300 subscribers and we could throw 1,000 likes up in, in a, little, a little bit of no time, we couldn't do it without you guys. And so we appreciate that so, so much. And we ask that those of you that are on the grounds that you uh, that you jump on there, the Fling Race Series YouTube channel, subscribe to that. Um, like Barnes said, let's, uh, let's shoot tomorrow. I mean, there's always tomorrow for dreams to come true. We might get there today. He said, let's shoot for 4,000 subscribers. We might get there today. Who knows? We're at 3,300, so we need 700 more subscribers. So I guarantee out of the 2,000 watching, there's people popping in, popping out. Um, but subscribe to the channel let's let's grow this thing like i said the more we grow things like this the more if, if you'd have told me <laughs> i don't know i'm not sure when this whole thing started kicking off a stream and drag race but i can tell you if you just told me 20 years ago that anybody would care enough to log on to youtube or, or anything else to watch what you're do what we're doing i thought you're crazy i mean it's uh it's one of those things but man it has grown by leaps and bounds thanks to a lot of the pioneers and innovators of this whole streaming thing um, and, and Warren Evans has always been at the forefront of doing things like that. And, uh, and we're thankful for him and for that and the opportunity. If you, and you can't be here at the Strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, but yet you can be at work or be at home and take part in that, like I said, just uh, jump in where you can. You know, hit the like button, hit the share button. Just uh, let, let's just raise awareness for that and raise awareness of this sport that we all desperately love so much. So thank you very much. Thanks for helping, uh, helping us and helping Warren help RFC. And uh, we're going to do some cleanup, some track maintenance, really. No cleanup, but track maintenance. And then we'll be ready to roll into Larice Motorsport Insurance, round number two, Pro. Mosier Engineering has been racing across five decades through three generations of racers and is proud to have been supporting sportsmen ranked since the beginning. 
Everything we make from axles, rear ends, suspension, and brakes are made here in the USA with one goal in mind, so you can win. Check us out online at MosierEngineering.com or call and talk to our knowledgeable and friendly technicians at 260-726-6689. The best quality and the best support, only Mosier Engineering. With a 40-year history of technological innovation and engineering, Optima batteries offer unstoppable power for extreme enthusiasts and others who require the ultimate power source. Optima batteries were the first high-performance AGM automotive batteries in existence and revolutionized the industry with their unique spiral cell technology. Look for the distinctive Optima six-pack shape and get the ultimate power source. Silver State Refrigeration is your source for all of your refrigeration needs in Nevada, Arizona, and California. Starting in 2003 with only two employees, Silver State now employs over 300 people servicing both commercial and residential customers. All Silver State technicians are both EPA and NATE certified and have a double-A plating with both the Arizona and Nevada State Contractors Board. Please call Silver State Refrigeration for all your refrigeration needs at 702-433-5008. Larice Motorsports Insurance offers drag racers the broadest insurance policies in the industry and recently introduced their new coverage for bracket racers. Larice Motorsports Insurance was created by racers for racers and can insure your racing operation on and off the track. Larice is now offering the Larice Perfect Package bonus at each fling event. Don't wait until it's too late. Call Larice Motorsports Insurance today. Advanced Product Design, also known as APD, has quickly become the go-to place for carburetors in the world of big buck bracket racing and NHRA racing. Join world champions Luke Bagaki, Jimmy Lewis, and Christopher Dodds, and let APD help power you to your next win. Carburetors, throttle stops, and fuel systems. APD. At FTI Performance, we are proud to be associated with a top-notch brand like the Spring Fling. Dedicated to the racer, our continued commitment to the best customer service in the industry is what separates us from the rest. Join the FTI family and join the list of winners who depend on the power and reliability of FTI to get to the winner's circle. Visit FTIPerformance.com today. True Start, a product of CompuLink, has been used at all fling events since 2016 and now used at over 50 tracks nationwide. In a double red light situation, True Start awards the win to the racer who red lights by the least, regardless of handicapped start. True Start was created to level the playing field by equalizing the pressure for both drivers regardless of which driver's tree drops first. 
All right, we got Ruiz Pro, round number two. Headed up under the arch, we're getting ready to go into our Biondo Racing Products, round number two. And Super Pro Door Cars Even. Super Pro Door Cars Even. Let's get you headed into the staging lanes, please. Super Pro Door Cars Even. We have called now both odd and even Super Pro Door Cars for round number two. Again, if you are uh, doubled, you should have been up there early. If you have not made your way up there yet, please make your way up there now if you are doubled. But Super Pro Door Cars, round number two, both odd and even, you have been called. So getting into our Larice Pro round number two, Charlie Lockhart and Kevin Fleck. We'll get things started off. Kevin with a 694 dial. Yeah, that's how it should be. That's how it should be. As Kevin Fleck dialed in at 694, Charlie Lockhart dialed in at 596. Again, we're trying to see if maybe that birthday vibe Seeing if maybe that birthday vibe can kind of help push things along a little bit. We'll see if it works for Charlie Lockhart. Shea standing alongside going, hey, happy birthday to me. 599 on a 596. Charlie Lockhart, 26 green, is 31 thou above the dial and gets the wind light over Kevin Fleck. Fleck had an 87 thou reaction time. And then goes at 697 on a 694. Four, and comes up a little bit short as Brian King and Craig Merrilies. Merrilies, who raced his way back in through the re-entry round in the Camaro on the right side of the racetrack. How about a 36 style split in reaction time? And Craig Merrilies is going to be 17 total, taking two thou at the stripe. Merrilies, trip, zip, perfect reaction time is going to get himself a triple zero hero coin. Trip, zip, 17 thou above. Brian King couldn't quite hold on with, say, 17 pack as he had a 34 reaction time, and that's going to bring up DeAndre Fitzgerald and Bill Perry. Bill Perry dialed 767. DeAndre dialed in at 1325. Huge head start for the Santa Fe, but a win light for the Firebird. Bill Perry was 48 on the tree. DeAndre was 51 green, and then runs 13 at 35 on a 13 at 25. So the wind light will belong to Perry, 48 green and 769 on a 767. Carolyn German, Carissa Windley. Caroline, who's picked up a trophy during the season here at the Strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway, dialed in at 627. And Caroline, or excuse me, Carissa, dialed in at 588 over the left side, trying to defend her position as the last pro standing last night. Caroline's moving into round number three. Excuse me, Carissa is moving into round number three. Caroline goes red by 177. Ends up running a 623 on a 627. Carissa goes 587.8 on a 588. Doobie. A little bit under, but with the wind light already on. Richard Mason, Michael Johnson. Mason in the Achieva. Coming in out of Winnebago, Illinois. Is that where they build them? I don't know. Yeah. They just maybe renamed it. No. Michael Johnson out of Springdale, Arkansas. 67 Camaro. Wind light's going to belong to the Achieva and Richard Mason. Mason was 27 green and goes 609 on a 607. He's two above. Michael Johnson was 82 green and one above to come up 43 thousandths short down at the finish line. That'll bring up Russell Rowley and Howard DeVore. Howard is the dog coming in at a Flagstaff, Arizona. He's the hound dog. 
Richard Rowley. Excuse me, Kent Russell Rowley, who uh, races out here on a regular basis. With the kids in the junior program. We've got the Blue Nova on the right side. It's a battle of the blues. Big blue. Wind light's going to belong to the dog. 675 on a 673. 24 green. Russell was 34 green. So with a 10,000 split between them, thank you very much. Chase Huffman. Right. Dude, if I would have known that like all the blue wrenches were going to, I would have, just so I could have been in the cool group. I mean, just so I could have been cool. I'm just saying. We're going to go on hold here for a moment as the wind is... Uh, The wind is starting to kick up a tad bit. It is a tailwind. So it is pretty much headed straight down the racetrack. And they got a call just to double check and make sure that we don't have anything out there on the racetrack is we found a little something up there near the time slip booth, which by the way, That time slip booth has been essentially relocated up to the top end of the track, which is its normal position. But so they've got that up there on the uh, shutdown area. They're going to take a look, make sure that there is nothing out on the racing surface. And once we're 100% certain on that, we'll go ahead and resume racing. He's saying we got Braden Hero sitting on the starting line out of Saskatoon. I like the I like the graphics on the side of Braden's car. Little scat rat thing. And as we were talking about, right, the uh, swear jar is up here. And with the swear jar being up here, anybody that is uh feeling so compelled to donate into the swear jar again all of what we collect is going to be going to racers for christ the racers for christ team comes out here and of course they're back in the staging lanes they're helping out with whatever they can and we had kind of asked around a little bit as far as what a worthy cause would be to donate the money to and we decided that if anybody's going to know it's going to be racers for christ so we'll let them make that decision uh, once we give them the money, I know that we've already had a couple of folks. I had, uh, and you guys, a lot of you may know Brandon Lundeen, called in from Utah, made a basically mobile donation to the swear jar. I said, look, we can't be down there because we're at home waiting for, you know, the arrival of the grandbaby, which is going to be pretty cool when he decides to show up. So they wanted to make sure they were at home for that, but called in and said, look, can we, uh, can we work something out? And I want to make sure that we give a donation that way. And there's already, the, the, the swear jar is filling up nicely. But there's always room for more, especially since we're going to be giving it out to uh, a very deserving group in RFC. But we are rolling our way into round number two, the Beyondo Racing Products. We've got Larice Pro out on the track right now. And in round number two, Beyondo Racing Products going to be giving $500 away to the best losing package. We gave out our $500 from Pinella Race Engines for the best losing package of round number one. That $500 went out to Chad Broom at the best losing package of round number one with that 009 reaction time. So we'll find our best losing package of round number two. We got our safety team out on the track. They are doing a little bit of cleanup. Remember, we got the Kyle Seipel triple zero hero coins. If you are trip zip on a winning run, you can come on up here to the tower, see the Divas at the desk, and they will get you hooked up with your Kyle Seipel coin. Again, thanks to the folks at Larice Motorsports Insurance. They are the ones sponsoring today's $30,000 Thursday. Appreciate everything that they do, their partnership with us here at the Flings. And again, if you have not yet talked to them about insuring your racing program, 
as they offer insurance plans that'll fit just about anything that you've got out there, whether you've got, you know, a smaller trailer and a smaller program, or you've got kind of the full-on toter home and the double stacker, whatever it is that you want, they can definitely come up with something. You know, beyond the badge, we, yeah, we may need to look at something like that. We may need to look at something like that. We did something like that down in Tucson one time, and I'll, I'll, I'll see if we can come up with something, but we'll just have to find something that's maybe not necessarily a personal type deal, but we'll, we'll see if we can figure something out. I'm totally with you. I know that, I know that our chat bleachers are behind us, and I know that they would all be willing to donate and pitch in with what we got going on, so that's really cool. That's really cool. But, again, we've got uh, plenty of stuff happening, including our mobile camera that's back behind the tower. But, again, we are beyond a racing products round number two, our other round sponsors. We want to thank the folks at ATI Performance Products, our round number three best losing package sponsor, putting up $500 Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Again, thanks to the folks at Rad Torque Systems for their round sponsorship in number four, Hoosier. Giving away a set of slicks. Round number five, and Mickey Thompson giving a certificate for a set of slicks. And round number six, Mike, I, I, I hear you. We'll, we'll, again, we'll see if we can come up with something. Um, there may be a little bit a bigger challenge there, but I'm sure you guys are swearing along with uh, everybody here on property, especially if there's a specific racer that you're rooting for that the wind light doesn't turn on. Just, you know, just saying. We're sure you're swearing along with everybody else. So top end of the racetrack has been cleared off. We've been given the okay. Shannon Campbell. Braden Hero. So after sitting on the starting line for a little bit, they'll let him replay on the burnout. Again, we've got that 744 dial for the silver and green. 87 bodied Mustang out of Meridian, Idaho. We've got a 613 dial. For the purple and white, 68 Oldsmobile out of Saskatoon. Head start will go to the Mustang. Oldsmobile will worry about chasing him down. And it's a red light start for Shannon Campbell. Campbell's red by 20 thousandths of a second. Braden Hero is 10 green. And goes 614 on a 613. To get the wind light. Campbell ends up running a 736 on a 744, but the 20 thou red light kind of messed it up as Bug McCarty and Lucas Walker. How about this matchup here in pro? 611 the dial for Bug. 603 the dial for Lucas Walker. And it's a 25 thou split reaction time advantage to Bug. Wind light goes to McCarty. On a 611 dial with that tailwind whipping, Bug McCarty goes 607 on the 611 after the 004 reaction time. Got to the finish line first by 14 thousandths of a second, lights up the scoreboard. Lucas Walker was 25 thousandths of a second behind with the 029 light. And ends up with a worser breakout 
as Bug McCarty will move into round number three. And it'll bring up Jacob Phelps and Mark Fall. Fall in the El Camino. Phelps in the Vega wagon. Phelps, who is kind of that final car down in our re-entry round for the pro category, will not get out of round number two. Mark Fall will get the win light. Again, a double breakout. I think we're going to be seeing that a lot. And I mean a lot as we start rolling through this with that heavier tailwind rolling in. Fall, 717 on a 720. He's under by 27,000. Jacob Phelps, 645 on a 653. He's under by more than 27,000. And it'll now be Jesse DiBartolo, or excuse me, Jesse DiBartolo, and John Bryant. Bryant, 73C10. So which of these two cars do you think is going to be more affected by the tailwind? We'll get flying a sheet of plywood out there. And I'm just saying, push, keep pushing. How about another double breakout? John Bryant, 002 red. That ended the race. But then Bryant runs five under with a 712 and a 717. DeBartolo runs a 744 on a 749. He's also five hun under the dial as Jay Greiner and Dan Whelan. Wheeling in the white pickup truck, the S10 out of Stanwood, Washington. No, you don't, Mike. I'm going to use one of your own lines against you. Make better choices. 625 on the right side for the pickup truck. Jay Griner with a 74 Ventura, dialed in at 702. Let's see our last pair. We're both 500 under the dial. What do we get this time? We get a 600 split reaction time. And no, that's not 003. He did not make it down there in 3.3 tenths or 3.3 hundredths of a second. It's a 703 on a 702. Jay Griner gets the win light, 43 green, and goes one above. Dan Wheeland, after a 101 reaction time, ends up 24 thou under. And we'll bring up Michael Clement and Tyler Rush. That's right. We let everybody get like nice and comfortable and cozy yesterday. Like, okay, I got I got this place figured out. Then we'll throw in the wind. Tomorrow we'll throw in the wind chill. We like, how about now? Tyler Rush, 10 red, goes 626 on a 623. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Michael Clement was 48 green, one above, 654 on a 653. For Clement is Curtis Zinzalita. And Monty Beagle. <laughs> Beagle is red by ten thousandths of a second. Pete says he's going to be 95. 98 too. Not terrible. Right? I'm just saying. I mean, look at this. Everybody's like five, six, hunt under. Zinzalita, six hunt under. As he goes 591 on a 597. Beagle runs 598 on a 599 after he was 10 thou red. So Zinzalita, 13 green. And then 591 on a 597. Here comes Kyle Lapierre and Scott Heyer. Higher dialed in at 642 in the Demon. Lapierre in that 72 Nova, again, talking about the man that all of the Lapires are racing with in their heart, Cleve Randall. He's battling quite a bit right now. Medically couldn't be here, but each and every one of those Lapierre cars got built by him, and the family wants to send him all the love in the world and say thank you very much. Hoping you're getting well soon. Scott Higher. Getting the wind light, 643 on a 642 is 45 green to come up with the wind light. Lapire, 31 green, and gets to the stripe two hun too quick. Takes 47 thou at the stripe, breaks out by two hundredths of a second. That'll bring up Cliff Hall and Jansen Otten. Is it Otten? Atten? I'm just saying, maybe it is. Maybe he's Johnson A-10, right? Like, he's a 10. Unfortunately, he's not a 10. He's 9. He's 9,000 under. Goes red by 9,000 of a second. 
Cliff Hall, 28 green and 613 on a 617. With the wind light already on his side of the racetrack is Andy Schmall and Craig Maddox. Let's see here. Do you remember Andy's name from last year? I'll bet you do. Since he walked away with one of the largest. Talking like huge. I would, uh, I would Trump say it. It was huge, huge amount of money. By being crowned our latest and greatest winner of the Spring Fling at Million. Basically winner number eight overall total. So Craig Maddox out of Sydney, Nebraska in the dart. Maddox is going to be spending a lot of time here at the Strip. Between the fling, the national event, and the divisional that's coming up, I can see Craig hanging out for all of them. Schmall with that 597. Maddox with a 592. Winlight's going to go to Andy. Andy, 25 green and three above the dial. 600 on a 597. Puts him at the stripe first by 54 thousandths of a second. Craig Maddox was 72 green and then three above his dial. 595 on a 592. There's Richard Rush and Jeff Peterson. Huge. That's right. Schmall took home the huge money. Richard Rush, Jeff Peterson, Rush dialed 674. Peterson dialed 695. 700 on a 695 for Peterson will equate to a win light. Richard Rush goes 672 on a 674 after his 71 green. So ends up 11 thou under the dial as Kaisley Price and Dave Barcelone. Barcelone and the Truck Town Nova. Coming in out of Bremerton, Washington. 646 the dial in up on the board for Barcelone. Miss Kaisley Price. Again, it is always really, really cool when you get to watch the progression of any individual's drag racing career, right? Like, it's really fun. Because you get to see juniors that come up through the ranks, win different championships in their categories, move up into big cars, and are now taking a swing at racing for some really, really big money. 19,000 separate Kaisley Price and Dave Barcelona. Kaisley Price is going to turn on a scoreboard here in round at number two by three thousandths of a second. She's 30 green and goes 660 on a 658 to be 23,000 above with a 3,000 margin at the finish line. Dave Barcelona was 49 green, dead seven, and comes up a little bit short. Racers, we just sent out the text. Remember, there are raffles available up here in the tower. If you would like to try and raffle your way, into the million. We've still got the $100 raffles available. We've got the $50 raffle available. Come up and see the divas at the desk. They'll get you onto the uh, appropriate spot once they've decided that that sheet is full. They'll bring it in here. We'll draw a number out of the cup and whose ever name is affiliated with the number that is drawn will get themselves a tech card into the million. Gary Gandy Jr. gets the win light. 927 on an 898 after being 026 on the tree. He was well out of the throttle as Ryan Appleby. He missed it. Missed it, missed it. 652 on a 647. Reaction time started with a nine, which is nine good. Like point nine, not nine point something. If it was nine point something, he'd still be sitting here. No, it was not 09. Unfortunately, it was not. Yeah, it was not. Freddie Jackson and Tana Taylor. Taylor, no good. 47 green and 671 on a 664. Freddie Jackson is 26 green and eight above. 
So I don't know if everybody decided, look, we are going to prove again Nate absolutely 100% wrong. And the fact we're like, oh, look, everybody's going to be like five, six, hundred under because of the tailwind. Now everybody's like six or eight over. Why, Gage? Why do your people do this to me? Just saying, overcompensating. Overcompensating for something. All right, if you're in the chat bleachers, get your mind out of it. It's not what I meant. But they are overcompensating. That's a cool S10 pickup truck out of Boise, Idaho. Zach? What is it? Pedraza? Pedraza. Luckily enough, they had a picture of it rather than what somebody put in the computer. And Brian Cerruti. Cerruti, 639 dial out of the right lane. Camaro leaves first. Pickup trucks doing the chasing. Finish line says Cerruti is into round number three. Double O four on the tree for Brian Cerruti. He was 19th out better than Zach Pedraza or Pedraza. As Zach goes 597 on a 596, taking a 9,000 stripe. And yeah, Mike Eames. I think uh, GTI has had his nap today, but he's busy racing now. He is busy racing now. Yeah, that happens. That happens too, but Riley Chappelle, Henry Robertson. Robertson, 724 dial and the stickers. Stickers. And going up against Riley Chappelle with a 550 dial at a Lancaster, Pennsylvania. In the 90, what is that, the Caprice? Oh! That was weird. Did I see what I thought I saw? Like, Henry Roberson gets the win light. 39 green goes 725. But did it look like Riley rolled out of the beams, got the car stopped just in time to put the back tires in the stage position, and then... I mean, it doesn't matter. He, he, he didn't get a time, but it almost looked like... That's what happened. Very cool. Chad Sandlin gets the win light over Scott Taylor this time down the racetrack. Sandlin double O two on the tree in 644 and a 637 gets him a 17 thousandths of a second margin O victory. Scott Taylor 60 green and three above 679. On a 676, we're into our Super Pro category. It's Greg Greer. And Jeff Verdi. Verdi in the Firebird at dial 597. Wind light will turn on for Verdi. 006, taking 8 down with the stripe for Jeff to be 600 on a 597. That's Greg Greer. 602 on a 601. 37 green, one above. To be out stretched by eight thousandths of a second is Kenny Snow and Jeff Bronco. Bronco over to the right side. 670 is the dial. Snow on the left side. 639 is the dial. Thirty-two foul separate him in reaction time as we get down to the stripe. Winner is gonna be Kenny Snow. On a 639, he is six above the dial. It'll be 645 on that 639. After the 011 reaction time, Jeff Bronco was 43 green and goes 675 on a 670 dial. Are you going to assist me, Miss Olivia? I am so honored that you would do that for me. I'm gonna hand you the cup. So we've got raffle number four, the $100 raffle, as Tim Wirtz and Phil Garrison line up 
Olivia is going to pull a number for raffle number four, and the fourth racer that is going in is Stephen Farrell. Stephen, we drew number seven. Your name was next to number seven. Stephen Farrell, you are the man who gets to come up here and grab your million tech card. Oh. So congratulations, Stephen, getting that uh, tech card for the million. And thank you very much, Miss Olivia. I appreciate the help. You did a fantastic job. Phil Garrison was 20 on the tree. Tim Wirtz was 19, separated by a thou. Wirtz goes 524 on a 522, getting the win light. As now Damon Bustamante and Isaac Wild. This is a battle of the topless cars. That full-bodied Camaro sitting down on the starting line is going, wait a minute, I feel left out. I don't have a convertible. I don't get to feel the breeze rushing past my face. 644 and a 645. Damon is under by three thou after the 037 reaction time. Isaac Wild was 21 green. Gets their first 97 thousandths of a second to break out by 84 thousandths of a second. Isaac bows out. Damon moves on as Sid Summers. And Jason Mercer. Which, oh, by the way, racers, we have selected our best appearing car. They are working on putting some things together there before we announce it. But for those of you that uh, helped us out by giving us some awesome suggestions in the chat bleachers, thank you very much. We appreciate all the fantastic feedback. We appreciate everybody uh, kind of chiming in on who you think was really, really helpful. And, and, and we appreciate that. So it gave us a lot to look at. And we were able to take a lot of those suggestions, go out and check out the cars, and did make that decision a little bit earlier. So as soon as we get that stuff ready and going to be posting it up there on the Facebook channel, we will let you know. Jason Mercer, red by eight thousandths of a second. Sid Summers, 17 green, dead on zero. Another dead zero will go into the dead on dialer drawing for the Altronics weather station that will be happening uh, probably tomorrow once we get through all of this and whoever is giving me a back massage I will give you exactly 15 minutes to knock it off because that is spectacular wow look at you talented talented Terry William we get in the wind light 27 green and goes 528 on a 527 to get the wind light as Randy Cloud was 18 green and takes 56 now at the stripe to break out. Randy not coming back. Kerry coming back. At least not today, right? There's always tomorrow until there's not. So Jesse Long, 667 is the Dow. Matt Dattis in a car that lived, breathed, raced, kind of all over the country, but was based here in the West Coast for a while when it was owned by the DeFrank family. 623 dial in on the right side. So the Vermilion, Ohio. Ohio. Six sixty seven on a six sixty seven. That was a heck of a race. Jesse Long was fourteen green. Matt Dadis was double O seven. Comes down to a true margin of victory. Twenty five ten thousandths at the stripe. Dadis couldn't quite get there, and the pickup truck will roll into round number three. Because again, we are in the Biondo Racing. Products round number two, Blue Hayball and Calvin Tani. Tani out of Kapaha in Hawaii. They're going up against Blue Hayball coming in out of Fort Hall, Idaho. Calvin raced his way back in through the re entry round. We've got an eight thou split between Blue and Calvin. Finish line says Blue. Hayball's 11 green, four above, 608 on a 604 for Blue. 
Calvin Tani was 19 green and five above. As we'll now take our dragsters odd and doubled vehicles to the staging lanes for round number two, please. Dragsters, if you are odd, we'll take you to the staging lanes. If you are doubled, we'll take you to the staging lanes. And I will clarify, we are not talking about the dragster driver themselves. We're talking about the number on the dragster. Because everybody technically qualifies as odd. Especially certain people hanging out in this room. Wait, what? Peter's not in this room. He's close enough. Zach Fulcher, Nathan Bradford. Bradford on the right side, Fulcher on the left. Fulcher in that little 2005 dialed in at 581, goes 582 after a 10 thou light. As Nathan Bradford was 31 green, gave up two hundredths of a second advantage in reaction time to come up two and a half hundredths of a second short down at the finish line. Win light. Belongs to the left lane as Rick Huffman and Bill Dykes. Dykes in the topless Corvette. That thing's moving around a lot. Leaving the starting line. Goes 5-5-0-0 on a 546. How about Huffman and Dykes? Bill Dykes was four thousandths of a second behind the green life and a green light and left second. Huffman 001, 603 on a 600. as he gets the wind light. Dykes was 004 and goes 550. Look at this pair on the line. Clean 34 Roadster for Jeff Higgins out of Boise, Idaho. That car is gorgeous. And a clean 1966 Nova out of Palmdale, California for DJ Humard. Just saying. They're both like, like polished pretty, right? Polished pretty. Just saying. Wind light belongs to Hiven, Higgins. He is 19 green and goes 593 on a 584 to get there first by nine thousandths of a second. DJ Humard was 33 green and goes 658 on a 650 dial. And comes up nine thousandths of a second short. The performance polish. Best appearing. Car award. We've got another raffle. Raffle number three, the $50 raffle. There are 40 names on this list, we have got a black cup with 40 tickets in it. Olivia has returned because she has, she's like perfectly skilled at, uh, at, at drawing these numbers. I agree with you. Polished pretty should be Steve Riggins' Vegas stage name. Everybody needs a stage name in Vegas. You don't have a nickname yet? You're still thinking? Your brother got a nickname yesterday. Oh, I like that. Hold on. All right, Olivia. We're going to draw a number here, and we'll find out who gets, uh, who gets to come pick up a tech card for the million. Lucky number 13 got drawn out of the hat, and the racer whose name is next to number 13 on the list, Luis Pena Sr. Luis Pena Sr. You have been drawn as our winner. So Luis Pena, the number that came out was 13. You were next to number 13. Away you go. Thank you, Olivia. I like what you're working on for a nickname. 
As soon as you come up with another couple of ideas, you let me know. Huh? Oh, we're not gonna give we're not gonna give anything away just yet. Yeah, we're not gonna give anything j away just yet. So, our next pair gonna be Dennis Lithgow and uh, Jeff Miller. Speaking of like pretty polished cars, yeah. Everybody has to have a stage name, and we're going to say you've got to have a stage name in Vegas. Right? Gage, Gage has his stage name. He's GTI. Gage the intern. Look, man. Maybe, maybe instead of polished pretty, we'll just shorten that up to purdy. Boy, you look purdy. You look purdy. You'd be like, he's purdy hungry. You look pretty good. He purdy tired. Steve Higgins' name gonna be purdy. So, you know, I know this is a family show, but I just, I can't resist. 650 is the dial for Jeff Miller. 505 is the dial for Dennis Lithgow. You purdy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lithgow zips down to the finish line and goes 506 on a 505 after an 023 reaction time. Jeff Miller, 79 green, and goes 650 on a 650. He's dead on four, but gave up. It's a pretty good name. Yeah, boy. What was that since we're talking about movies? Was that Sling Blade or whatever yeah. it was? Yep. Mm -hmm. I like them French fried taters. Mm, they're pretty good. Mm. What? <laughs> Dude, it, it, yeah. Come on now, Verminator. We ain't going there. I'm just saying. But where we are going to go, Bill Bethello, Nick Pressamone, Pressamone 578 dial. Bill, Uncle Bill. Another one of those racers out here with the Hawaiian connections. Trying to get it done on a 503. It's going to happen for Pressamone. It's not going to happen for Bill. They both had a four and two zeros in their reaction time. Nick Pressamone arranged them with a zeros first and then a four. Bill Bethello was zero four zero, so a 36 thou difference in reaction time. Wind light goes to Neil. As Bill ended up running 506 on a 503, Neil was 584 on a 578. Comes down to an 11,000 stripe. Winner is Neil as Dean Turner and Luis Pena. Hey! hey. hey, hey Luis, somebody go knock on his window. Be like, hold on, I know you're getting ready to race, but uh, did you know you just won an entry into the million? I ain't got no gas. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, he's going to need. He's 16 green, takes a tenth at the stripe. And then goes four thou, or excuse me, 14 thou under. No, four thou under. I'm looking at the reaction time, not the dial. Four thou under. Ouch. Dean Turner's 33 green, 635 on a 627. My goodness. My goodness. But, yeah, you all just wait. When Steve's getting ready to take over the mic, we'll give him a true Vegas style intro. Nope. Can't get out of it. Dennis Dennis's Corvette's pretty too. Pretty. Pretty. 662 on a 659 for Greg Sabatino. No good. Peeps Pennington, 521 on a 518. He's three above the dial with a 23 reaction time. That was half of Sabatino's 046 light. So 23 and three above for Peeps. We'll move him into the game. As Jamie Schmall and Mike Hall. Oh, come on now, Jake. 
come on now. Unfortunately, Mike Hall unable to uh, make the call here. He is not going to make the run. Jamie gets the competition solo to run 620 on the 618. Left 31 thousandths of a second early. But man, well, let's see here. What are we called? Dragsters odd and doubled. Again, if you are an odd dragster, let's get you headed into the staging lanes, please. I do dig that. Yeah, 66. I saw that on the scoop. Mom Mobile. And what was even cooler about that, when I asked him, I said, hey, kind of half joking. I said, is this really like, you know, is this what you guys did with the money you won last year? She goes, yeah, part of it. About Mama Race Car. I love it. Oh, man, Sean Clark bows out to RJ Fanning. Our OG, like OG, prize vault concierge is in the house racing with us and bows out. 6.63 on a 6.58 after the 26th down reaction time. R.J. Fanning ends up 6.12 on a 6.10. And that'll be that. There's Mike Barber and Joe Levitt. Levitt left side, Barber right side, Battle of the Nove. Yeah, that makes more sense. I should have said that the right way. Oh, no. Oh, no good. Mike Barber rolls through the beams. Uh, Joe Levitt gets the win light, 38 green. No good. So a 6.25 on a 6.26, but that, oh. nobody likes that. Especially not Mike. You know, in the old Life Serial commercials, Mikey likes it. Mikey didn't like that. Mike didn't like that at all. Rob Mosier and John Schaefer. Mosier left side. Dialed in at 499 out of Portland, Indiana. For the Mosier Engineering folks, and we are here at the Mosier Engineering Spring Fling Million. So happy to have the entire Mosier crew that have been on board with us for so, so long, giving us all the love and support that they can. John Schaefer with that 525 dial. Windlight's going to belong to Schaefer. 526 on a 525. Schaefer was 21 green. To Rob Mosier's 14 thou reaction time. Mosier ends up going 503 on the 499. Come up 18 thou short down at the finish line. Dalton Allendorf and Ken Sweo. But a 95 bottling Lumina out of Wiggins, Colorado. And a 72 bodied Capri out of Oregon City, Oregon. 601 on a 601. Ken Sweo, 14 dead one. To be, or excuse me, 14 dead seven in the wind, doing it pretty good. It's pretty good. Dalton Allendorf, 34 green, and then 550 on a 545. There's Gary Humphreys and Scott Hess. We're going to get things kind of wrapped up here with our door cars. We got dragsters sitting back in the staging lanes, and I think when we get done with door cars, I'll probably turn the mic back over to Birdie. 10 thou separate them in reaction time. Humphreys was 009 on the tree and gived it back. He was on the brakes hard down at the finish line. Goes 628 on a 631. Gets there, well, got there first and still broke out by a whole bunch. Scott has 580 on a 581. That's crazy. You met Jesse Bepley? Dude. For a while, we were trying, yeah. we. I think well, I've called him Bo Apple and Be Apple and Be People. Yeah. 
Come on. And like I said, it'd be a bobblehead. Right? Bill Zimmer, wow. Bill Zimmer left early, early, early. Unfortunately, reaction time started with a five. Oh. Oh. Yeah. No. So a 6-16 on a 6-17 for Mike Rock. Ball. Oh. Bummer. Well, Miss Sweo, if you're asking if Ken has already run, yes, he did. But we are getting into, like, more of our even number cars. This is Ricky Duchel. Duchel with a 564. Waterman with a 541. That's Waterman on the right side. Duchel on the left side. Wind light belongs to Ricky. 567 on a 564 after a 10th hour reaction time. So 10 on the tree for Ricky. And then 567 on the 564 to be three above gets the wind light. Jeremy Waterman, 16 green. And ends up running 552 on a 541. As Gabriel Hernandez, Jr. Out of Hermosillo, Mexico. 608 is the dial for Gabriel. George Lewis coming out of Surprise, Arizona. Danny, you are absolutely what we were just talking about up here. Totally what you were talking about up here. Uh-oh. Gabriel Hernandez. I'm going to give you guys a hint. A hint about what's going to be happening here momentarily. George Lewis was 13 green, goes 593 on a 596. Gabe Hernandez Jr. was 021 Rojos. Says, I no es bueno. No bueno. Nada. So take that for what you will take it for, but that's a hint of what's coming up soon. Just a hint. We have had 1,100 likes. Mike Lowe, Bill Biggers. Low out of Hurricane, Utah. Bill Biggers out of Butte, Montana. That's the thing I loved about getting you know, I, I get the same thing when I go back east or whatever. You start seeing different town names and stuff like that. Mike being out of Hurricane, Utah, is 12 green, 574 and a 574. 12 dead, two to be 14 total. Bill was 33 green and then goes 662 on a 664. But when you bring people in and you're learning, like, new things, heck, I still even forget, but they'd roll in and be like, oh, yeah, that's Hurricane, Utah, and Butt, Montana. No, it's hurricane, hurricane, hurricane. Huh? Just saying. Well, because right up in that area, you got hurricane, you got Leverkin. Well, no, but I'm just saying that with the, with the local pronunciations, it's hurricane. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. There we go. They're going to drift that thing out of the water box. 590 on a 590. 15 dead five for Michael Miller. Oh, man. Sorry. 66, you might be right. You might be right. But it's not Puerto Rico. No. Kenneth Smith out of Evanston, Wyoming, 702 on a 702. Oh, my. Kenneth. Kenneth, Kenneth. 42 green and dead zero. Nope. Lane Weber is 16 green and 17 thou above to get the wind light by nine thousandths of a second. Ken Smith, good news. You're going into the drawing for the weather station. Bad news is you get the rest of the weekend or the rest of the night off. 
That's a bummer. That's a bummer. How are we doing? No? Come on. Yes, you would. Yes, you would. Yeah, you make sounds like. Doug Carter, 63 green, and goes 622 on a 611. To be behind by a tenth plus is Shannon Walker. 13 green and goes 537. On a 534. Eric Sugahara, Rick Red by one thousandth of a second. 001 Red gets rolled, Rick rolled right out. There's Rod Taylor, 14 green, and goes dead at two to be 16 at total. He wasn't going to make it easy no matter what. But Rick made it a little easier by going one thou Red as Kyle Fritz and Melissa Jerob. Is it Jerob? J Rob? Jerobi? I don't know. It's New Plymouth, Idaho, though. We'll see. But, yeah, we got more Super Pro Door. We are getting down towards the uh, end of Super Pro Door Car. Round number two. Let's see here. Somebody said it's supposed to be Jarbo. Really? Is it because, I mean, heck, we've heard Jerob, Jerobi. Might as well be like Jar Jar. I don't know. Jerobo. All right. Got it. Melissa. Absolutely. Melissa Jarbo. 583 on a 578 was 49 green. And uh-uh. Kyle Fritz goes 001 and 19 thou above. Yes, Steve. Thank you. Jarbo. I'm good with that. So we got 001 and 19 thou above for Kyle Fritz. Appreciate that. You know what else? And I hate to, you know, feed into Mike English's, or excuse me, Mike, uh, Mike Eames' way of thinking here, but what? We had our pro winner last night was from Idaho. Our main event winner last night was from Idaho. Our dragster shootout winner was from Oregon. All D6 folks. Daryl Hemley, Garrett Griffith. Griffith, 008 on the tree, 636 on a 635. Gets to the finish line first by eight thousandths of a second. And Darren Taylor now and Ivan Combs. <laughs> Ivan, 617 dial out of the left side. Darren Taylor with a 552 dial out of the right. Oh, how about a margin of two ten thousandths of a second? Darren Taylor. You want to say he tightened that thing up? Yeah. Tighten that thing up to like. Now I can't do it again. Squeaky tight. 59 on the tree for Ivan. 617 on a 617. He's dead six. Darren Taylor was 008. Ends up five above and take two ten thousandths of a second down at the finish line. Are they building door cars back there? Because every time we turn around. Like more of them sneak out. Chuck Griffith, Dennis Bowley. Bowley, 730 on a 725. He was 007 on the tree, but five above the dial. Chuck Griffith, 20 green. And then goes 637 on a 635. Bring up Rick Northup and Jeff LaSalle. LaSalle in Dennis Paz's El Camino. Rick Northup driving the family machine. The machine. Mean machine. And throw out a couple of those longest yard. One 
one thousandth of a second. Differentiated reaction time. Northup is going to get a win light. 19 green and one above. 674 on the 673. Jeff LaSalle, 18 green and four above. 677 on a 673 dial. I'll bring up Hank Pravov and Bob Haro. Haro. I could go so absolutely wrong with that, and I'm not going to. Totally not going to. That would just be wrong. So, Hank, dialed in at 576. Bob, dialed at 615. I believe what we have, uh, Darren and Dylan that was in that early. We'll see. 6.18.9 on a 6.15 for Bob. Yeah. Hank Promo was 005 and goes 5.75 on a 5.76. Okay. Hey, so... Uh, if you lost a hat, which I'm sure people are losing all kinds of stuff, but if you lost a hat, we've had one turned in. It was blowing around out there in, I don't know, might have been the staging lanes, might have been up by the Grand Main, just somewhere. It's got a picture of a wildflower on it. Oh. So unfortunately for Stephanie, ends up with a uh, car that is not going to go much farther than just before the Christmas tree. <coughs> Ryan Armour, 594 and a 584. Clears the top end. We'll get Stephanie's pickup truck pushed back. We've got Richard Duvall and Bob Cerruti lined up here. I'm telling you, man, they're harvesting door cars. I'm like, hey, I got another one that's ready. Like, what was that game everybody used to play on their phone? Something farm? Farmville. Yeah. Come back there be like, strawberries are ready. Door cars are ready. They'll push like 20 of them out from behind the tower. You think that's it? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's what I thought. And then here in a little while, they're going to say, door cars are ready. Isn't that right? Birdie. So Duvall dialed in at 609. So Rudy dialed in at 642. Indiana versus Ohio matchup coming in right now. Winlight goes to Saruti. 006 dead four to be 10 total here in the win. Wow. Duvall 51 green. And then goes 606 on a 609. Trying to play catch up is Dan Golby, Dustin Wirtz. Golby, left side, dialed 678 in the red Corvette. It is a little red Corvette. Dustin Wirtz dialed in at 539. Again, racers, we do have raffles available up here. We just drew a couple of more. What I tell you? No, actually, I think he was he was supposed to race 
Jamie Schmall earlier and unfortunately had a, yeah, he had an issue. 686 on a 678 will not get it done for Dan Gulby when combined with a 26th foul reaction time. Dustin Wirtz, 007 and four above to be 543 on a 539. As Joe Schmall. And B.J. Vagnus. Schmall dialed 621. B.J. dialed 604. 7,000 separated him in reaction time. Winlight's going to go to Schmall. On a double breakout, Joe gets their first five thou, breaks out by two thousandths of a second. BJ gets their second, breaks out by four thousandths of a second. Wind light to Joe. That is going to wrap up Super Pro Door Cars round number two, the Beyondo Racing Products round. We've got dragsters sitting back in the staging lanes. Uh, Warren is going to come in here and say something super important. All right, so the tractors are out there. And I will say that what Warren had to share was deep, profound, and life-changing. And now back to our show. So uh, let's see. We got our Super Pro Dragsters round number two. We gave you a hint a little while ago what is soon to be upcoming, including, and we did talk about the fact that everybody has to have a stage name in Vegas. Right? You got to have a stage name in Vegas. It's just the way that it goes. We've also been talking about making donations to the swear jar. So I guess what we could say is Steve Riggins has been given a new Vegas stage name. He's now Purdy. We're just going to call him Purdy. So his new stage name is Purdy. And since you have a new stage name in Vegas. Oh, Barn, what, it, what, what Warren shared was just like me and him. It wasn't necessarily, you know. I think one of the best things, and, and I'm, I'm totally squirreling here in a moment, then we'll get back to uh, Riggins' stage name. But I think one of, the best, one of the best things that we ever did, I think it, it might have been me and Eames, or it might have even been me and Kyle. Uh, but we were sitting up on here, and they'd gone to a commercial break. And we basically waited, waited, waited. I think had Warren tell us, like, literally count us down for when the commercial break was ending. And at the end of it said, and that is how I ended up in prison. <laughs> and everybody in the chat bleachers was like, wait, what? <laughs> 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 hold on, hold on. Stop, what? No, but... Uh, all right, so Riggins' new stage name is Purdy. And since we are taking donations to the swear jar, and since it is Vegas, I'm just going to say, get out your dollar bills. Next up on the main stage is Purdy. <laughs> and we'll leave it at that.
He's a big man. High performance, low prices. Get the parts you need now at Jags High Performance. Free same-day shipping of an extensive selection of a million items from over 600 brands. Jags offers unmatched value through everyday low pricing. Find it cheaper and we'll match it. Click on Jags.com today. 100% satisfaction and lifetime support included with every order. The place for performance since 1960. Jags. For more than six decades, ATI has been helping sportsmen racers get to the winner's circle. Bracket racing takes consistency, and you can count on that from ATI. Our advanced engineering, precision in-house manufacturing, real-world race experience, and passion for the sport can help you turn on the wind light round after round. For over 30 years, Biondo Racing Products has provided track-tested, race-winning products. Known for their best customer service in the industry, Biondo Racing has been the round two sponsor of the fling event since 2010. Digital delay boxes, safety equipment, weather stations, shifters, and now tire gauges. Biondo Racing Products. Hoosier Racing Tire is proud to be a participating sponsor of the Spring Fling brand since 2010. Let our performance race tire technology help put you in the winner's circle. When you are looking for an advantage, remember the name, Hoosier. See us on the Midway or contact your authorized Hoosier tire dealer nearest you. As a proud sponsor of the Fling events, Brodix gives away a set of heads at Vegas, Galat, Columbus, and Bristol. Brodix is also the presenting sponsor of the Run for the 50,000 at Vegas. Strength, durability, and power are just a few factors that make Brodix the best in the industry. Proudly made in the USA for over 50 years, Brodix utilizes state-of-the-art technology and continuous research and development to bring you the best in the industry. Rad Torque Guns are the world's most powerful and reliable torquing systems with the highest power-to-weight ratio. Rad Torque Guns are available pneumatic, battery, and electronic drive systems with torque ranges from 500 to 15,000 foot-pounds of torque. Rad Torque Guns are being used around the world by companies such as Boeing Aerospace, Caterpillar Equipment, GE Wind Towers, U.S. Military, and many more. Rad Torque Systems are also very involved in the drag race community, sponsoring many events as well as a large fleet of Rad-sponsored race cars. Visit RadTorque.com. Well, so with the tractors uh, rolling off the track, and I'm going to slide out of the seat, and I'm going to let Steve Riggins take over for a little while and really kind of show you guys uh, what it's all about. He's going to have a little bit of a partner jumping in here with him, but uh, the qualified professional is about to take over, and we'll even, you know, let him keep his fancy stage name, Mr. Purdy. I don't know. I know, I know. Jed, tropped, Jed popped in here and, like, started busting my chops a little bit for a second. But, no, nah, Big Jed, Big Jed's awesome, man. I miss working with you guys. I miss working with all of you. I need to find a way to get back out to the East Coast. And they're like, no, no, you're good. Stay out there. <laughs> All right. Steve Riggins taking over. I'm going to go take a little break. All right. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Nate. I appreciate all that you do, except uh, your stage name choices. I mean, it's, I mean it's, not a, it's not great. I mean, but I didn't have anything better, so... I didn't think I really needed one. I mean, this is a this is a cameo appearance. I mean, the the real pros couldn't make it, so here I am. So, yeah, yeah. Well, no, you're you're like a fixture. You'll be 
So here we go. We are in Biondo, round number two, Dragsters. And uh, I, got a, I got a little uh, special guest back in with me. Now, he and I don't talk the same. I mean, that's just no choice about it. But, you know, then again, Nate and I don't talk much the same either. So it is what it is. So we're all about we're all about diversity here in the tower. And so we, uh, of all the things, you know, I've never seen anybody in the chat bleachers this weekend just craving for me to come back to the microphone. Haven't really. Maybe maybe a few people have been begging for Nate Hershey to come back to the microphone. But I will tell you, here's how bad it is. Even my own brother sent me a text and said, when's Emmanuel coming back? I'm like, uh, we're family. What do you mean? No, everybody wants this guy. And so we are blessed enough to have him back in the tower with us for Beyondo round number two. So I'm going to let him kind of lead the show a little bit. And I will, I'm not going to attempt to translate what he says because I don't have any idea. But I will try to keep you all in the loop of what's going on the racetrack. And uh, there's uh, no more excitement than uh, ever been brought to a microphone at any race I've ever been around or watched online, anything that Emmanuel brings to the uh, to the table. So we're glad to have him in here with Biondo, round number two, Dragsters. So we'll go, take it away. Pues bueno, señores, aquí estamos una vez más en una ronda más aquí en Las Vegas. El Springfield Million presentes como no y vámonos. Keenan Myers contra Brian Watts viene. Estamos en la segunda, second round. Okay, second round. Estamos en la segunda ronda, señores. Aquí empiezan a eliminarse. Aquí es donde la gente, el que pierde, se va a casa y vámonos. 0009 de luz contra 004. Brian Watts viene con la ventaja y vámonos avanzando a la siguiente ronda. I think what he said was 004 for Watts to a 009 for Myers. Watts gets the win, 461 the 460, taking 12 thou. And he'll move on to round number three, Keenan Myers. Not a bad pack, but uh, no good right here. So next up, we got Blake Foster, St. George, Utah, 485 left side. Jessica Bogacki, Carterville, Illinois. The American entry on a 467 right side. Vámonos, Jessica Bogacki viene por el carril derecho. Blake Foster, 485, 467, es más rápido el carril derecho. Vamos a ver, señores, aquí el que pierde queda eliminado. Aquí ya no hay boy back. Así es que vámonos, se van los dos dragsters. Hay cuidado, 001, 002. Cualquiera puede ganar y vámonos, victoria para el carril izquierdo. Wow, one to a two, Jessica gets the win. She's one take two to be under by 16 foul. Wow, under by 15 foul is Blake Foster getting the win by 13, 10 foul. Foster moving on. Dean Bush, Las Vegas, Nevada, left side, 485 to now, Clinton Fosico. Pueblo West Colorado, 496 right side. Vámonos, señores. Dean Butch por el carril izquierdo, 485. Clinton Poseco. Yeah, Poseco. Oh. Ok, 496 su tiempo. Así es que, señores, estamos en Las Vegas. Aquí es donde se empieza a hacer cada vez el camino más chico. Aquí es donde el que pierde al remolque. Vámonos. Bien, el carril izquierdo. Ay, 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 se va en rojo. 009 de rojo contra 010 de luz. Así es que Dean Butch avanza la siguiente ronda. Red light for Fasico. 009 red goes 5 foul under. Dean Bush moving on. 10 green up front goes under by 32 thou. Dean Bush rolling on. Mike Collins, Gilroy, California. 479 left side. Alex Bianco, Golden, Colorado. 517 right side. Vámonos. Mike Collins viene por el carril izquierdo. 479 contra Alec Bianco. 517 por el carril derecho. Estamos con los dragsters, señores. Aquí hay autos muy rápidos. 479, 517. Vamos a ver el duelo en las luces. Vamos a ver quién se mete primero. Lo hace el carril derecho. Bianco por el derecho. Collins viene por el izquierdo. Hay cuidado. Está alineándose muy finito ambos pilotos. El viento, vean cómo se cayó un trapeador ahí del aire. Vámonos, 0-24, 0-27. ¿Quién quita? ¿Quién pone? Y vámonos, carril derecho. Alex Bianco a la siguiente ronda. Alex, 24, take one to go two above eight. 52 total, Mike Collins. 27, 26 thou over to be a thou behind. No, no bueno. That's the only I got. No, 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 no. 
sea, 24 contra 27 de luz. No es muy buena luz, pero bueno, avanzando Alex Bianco. Así es que vámonos, Eric Reyes por el derecho. Ryan Stifler por el carril izquierdo. Vamos a ver, 4-7-4, 4-38 para el derecho. Listo, los pilotos, vamos a ver cuál de los dos avanza la siguiente ronda y cuál queda eliminado. Esto se pone bueno, señores, porque aquí ya el que pierde queda eliminado, así es que no hay más. Tiene las luces, sale 0-0-6, ventaja para el carril derecho. Está en problemas, Stifler se la tiene que llevar Reyes. Y sí, vámonos, Eric Reyes a la siguiente ronda. Reyes in control, end to end, 6 to a 50, goes two above, 440 on the 438, Eric Reyes moving on, Ryan Stifler misses the tree, goes dead zero, but gave up too much on the starting line, new good. Brady White, Calgary, Alberta, Canada, 516 left side, Chase Learcamp, Olympia, Washington, the mullis entry on a 460 right side. Así es que Brady White viene por el carril izquierdo, 516. Chase Lercam por el derecho, 4.60, es rápido, eh. es rápido el carril derecho, así es que vamos a ver qué es lo que puede hacer White. Vamos a ver los pilotos, están listos, vienen las luces, se va primero, vamos, 0.31, está en problemas el carril derecho, 0.12 para White, la victoria, ay, 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 para el carril derecho. Ay, 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 es right, ouch, 12 take 51 to be under by eight foul had to take 43 or less lear camp probably thought we're done here but gets the win like 31 and two above chase lear camp moving on to round number three mckenna needham las vegas nevada 497 left side skyler barishko thank you see he's helping me he's helping me with english even this is great albuquerque new mexico 489 the dial right side uh see que vámonos mckenna por el carril izquierdo Skylar viene por el derecho. Vamos a ver. 497, 489. Es un poco más rápido a Skylar. Vamos a ver qué es lo que dice. ¿Qué, ¿Quién de estos dos pilotos avanza a la siguiente ronda? Listo en las luces. Se viene el semáforo. Cae directito. ¡Ay, ay, ay! Doble rojo y victoria para el carril izquierdo. 0.20 de rojo contra 0.47. Double red. I think what he said was true start saves another one. I don't think that's really what he said, but it is. As McKenna Needham left first, goes 20 red. Skyler leaves second, but goes 47 red and hands the win back to McKenna Needham. Goes five flat on the 497. McKenna will return for round three. Skyler, no good on the red line. Coy Collier, Bossier City, Louisiana, 456 left side. J.P. Schuster, Vienna, Ohio, 470 the dial right side. American on the left, Mullis entry on the right. Vámonos, Coy Collier por el carril izquierdo, 456. J.P. Schuster viene por el derecho, 470. Estamos en la segunda ronda de eliminación, señores. Aquí el que pierde se va a casa. Aquí ya no hay mañana. Aquí estás eliminado al momento de perder y no hay manera de regresar al evento. Así es que cada carrera para los pilotos es una final. Tienen que estar listos, tienen que estar preparados. Ambos en las luces. Viene el bailoteo, se van. 0.57, 0.45 de luz. Mejor para el carril derecho. ¿Para dónde la victoria? Carril derecho avanzando a la siguiente ronda. Coy Collier is behind at the starting line, but actually had a chance to win that one. Gets there first by 26 thou, goes under by 14 thou. Had to take 12 or less. J.P. Schuster, 45 and two above. Moving on. Carson Campbell, Olympia, Washington, 481 left side. Kiyoki Desaa, North Las Vegas, Nevada, 453 right side, giving up 2800s head start. Vámonos. Carson Campbell viene por el carril izquierdo. 481. Kiyoki. Kiyoki Tessa, 4.56, vamos, cuatro, perdón, 4.53 su tiempo. Estos dos van a salir con un poco de ventaja, el carril izquierdo se va a ir primero. Estamos en Las Vegas, estamos en el Springfield Million, ya saben, sigan la página de YouTube, Springfield Million, ya saben. Viene las luces con calma, hay cuidado, se mete muy finito el carril izquierdo y sale en rojo el derecho. Así es que Carson Campbell avanzando a la siguiente ronda, 0-0-2, 7 de rojo, vámonos. Kiyoki turns it 7, foul red, goes 3 under, Carson Campbell double, 0-2, one above 5, 17 total. Carson's going to be tough to beat anyway, but uh, Kiyoki turns it red and made it just a little bit easier. 
Steve Beanie, Wichita, Kansas, 483 left side. Kyle Seacrest, Nortman, Oklahoma, I'm down to 472. Oh, sorry. Oh, you're good. Me adelanté un poquito. Así es que ya saben la emoción de las carreras. Uno se pone en, en, en sintonía de lo que estamos viendo. Así es que Steve Benny viene por el carril izquierdo. Kyle Seacris por el derecho. 4, 8, 3, 4, 7, 2. Ay, exciting. <risa> ah, es parte de esto, señores. Así es que uno vive las carreras con mucha intensidad. Uno se pone la camiseta del piloto y siente que tiene que ganar, que tiene que tirar reacción, que tiene que acelerar a fondo. Vamos a ver, se van los pilotos, 0, 26, 0, 0, 8 para el derecho. Kyle tiene la ventaja en la luz y tiene la victoria para el carril derecho. 8 dead, 8 for Kyle Seacrest. Steve Beanie never really in that one. 26, goes under by 2,000, getting there last. Kyle Seacrest was in full control, 16 total, and getting the win line. Val Torres Jr., Chino, California, 473 left side. Morgan Rose, Henderson, Nevada, 456 right side, giving up 1700s to Val Torres. Vámonos, Val Torres Jr. por el izquierdo. Morgan Rose viene por el derecho. A Val Torres ya lo hemos visto correr aquí en Las Vegas, así es que hay cuidado. Sabe cómo pasar rondas. Vamos a ver qué dice Morgan Rose. 4, 7, 3, 4, 5, 6, más rápido el carril derecho. Esta carrera va a estar interesante, señores. Se toma mucho tiempo el carril derecho, ya hace las luces. Vamos a ver si le regresa la cortesía. Lo hace Val Torres Jr. Viene Morgan Rose por el derecho, vienen las luces. Vámonos. 0-11, mejor reacción para Val Torres. 0-49 para Rose y vámonos. Val Torres Jr. a la siguiente ronda. Val Torres Jr., 11 take 30 to be 3 above. Morgan Rose locked out, 49 up front. Goes two above six, no good. We got a little bit of, uh, picking up a little debris off of the racetrack. Down there just before the finish line. We're clear, ready to go. Cortland Carter, Hobbs, New Mexico. 478 left side. Jorge Covarrubias Jr. Yeah, all right, 463 right side. So giving up 1500s to Cortland Carter. Buena carrera, Cortland Carter es bueno. Jorge Covarrubias en Ligas viene por México por el carril derecho. Vamos a ver al de Baja, al de San Luis o al de Mexicali, porque viene representando a Sonora y a la Baja. Listo, Carter por el izquierdo, 478. Es más rápido Jorge Covarrubias Jr. Vamos a ver a Ligas de qué está hecho. Tiene la oportunidad de avanzar o se va a ir al remolque. Vámonos. Vienen las luces y vámonos. 010. Se va en rojo Carter. Así es que en Ligas, Jorge Covarrubias Jr. Avanzando a la siguiente ronda. Corlin Carter, two red, dead, nine, no good. Jorge, 10, one above nine, and moving on. Dylan Moody, El Paso, Texas, 466 left side. Jeff Watts, Richland, Washington, 489. The dial this time, head start goes to the right side. And Jeff Watts. Vámonos. Dylan Moody viene por el carril izquierdo. 466 su tiempo. Jeff Watts viene por el derecho. 489. Así es que señores, Las Vegas, Springfield Million, ya saben, aquí estamos presentes otra vez agradeciendo la oportunidad y el espacio para estar con el micrófono. Algo sin precedente para uno como mexicano, a alguien que le estén abriendo el espacio en español para poder hacerlo, eso se agradece. Así es que vámonos. Viene Jeff Watts por el derecho, viene Dylan Moody por el izquierdo. Se viene el bailoteo de las luces y no, 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 rojo para el carril derecho. Así es que Dylan Moody avanzando a la siguiente ronda. Jeff Watts turns it rojo. 007 goes dead A. Dylan Moody, 10. One above three, 23 total. Hey, George Hoff. Good to see you in the uh, in the bleachers, sir. As always. Doing my best here to keep up as I flip the screen too far. Looking at one screen and flipping the other one. Mitchell Marcy, Farmington, New Mexico. 484 left side, Michael Coulter, Boise, Idaho, 452 right side. Vámonos, Mitchell Mercy viene por el izquierdo, 484. Mike Coulter viene por el derecho, 452. Este duelo va a estar interesante, señores. Vamos a ver a estos dos pilotos buscando avanzar a la siguiente ronda, buscando eliminar al que está enseguida, porque así es esto, cada carrera es una final. Así es que listo a los pilotos, viene la luz, ay, 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 doble rojo, así es que victoria para el carril derecho, Mike Holtrin avanzando a la siguiente. 
Well, it stays the way it ought to be. Two start didn't change that one at all. Mitchell Marcy left first, 009 red. Coulter and followed with a 006 red. That'll make Mike Coulter in the winner. Goes 451 4 on the 452. And they'll continue on in the program. Ty Farmer, Tuscola, Texas, 494 left side. Zach Clark, Mission, British Columbia, 468 on the right side. Vámonos. Ty Farmer por el izquierdo, 494. Zach Clark viene por el derecho, 468. 468 para el derecho, 494. Va a tener una pequeña diferencia para salir adelante. El que salga mejor no va a soltar esa oportunidad de avanzar a la siguiente ronda. Así es que vienen las luces, viene la salida. ¡Ay, ay, ay! 0, 0, 1 de rojo, casi perfecto. Zach Clark, pero se va eliminado. Ty Farmer avanzando a la siguiente ronda. Win line goes Ty Farmer, 25 up front, goes 7,000 under. Zach Clark turned it 1. Stinking foul red. It goes two foul under. No good. Ty Farmer moving on. Dave Sicondi, Ellensburg, Washington, 445 left side. Anthony Boven, Meridian, Idaho, 487 right side. Vámonos, señores. Dave Sicondi viene por el carril izquierdo, 445. Es rápido. Anthony Boven viene por el derecho, 487. Así es que vamos a ver a estos dos pilotos. Vamos a ver quién avanza. ¿Quién es el que sabe cómo hacer las cosas en la reacción? ¿Quién sabe pisar el acelerador o tal vez pisar el freno en la meta? Vámonos. Dave Secondi por el izquierdo. Anthony Bowen viene por el derecho. Listo, los pilotos con una luz. Le da la cortesía a Secondi. Vamos a ver a Bowen. Están los pilotos con calma, con calma. Vienen las luces y vámonos. Hay cuidado. 0.27, mejor reacción para el carril izquierdo. Dave Secondi con 0.19 y la victoria para el carril izquierdo avanzando a la siguiente ronda. Dave Secondi, 19, take 10, goes dead 6, 25 total, locks out Anthony. Anthony was 27 up front, goes dead 8, but no good. Dug too much of a hole on the starting line and it cost him right there. Trevor Larson, Starbuck, Minnesota. The Mullis entry down to 470 in the left side. Gordon Bowen, Boise, Idaho, 471. His American entry on the right side, so they're only going to be separated by one hundredth as they leave the starting line. Vámonos, señores. Trevor Larson por el carril izquierdo, 470. Gordon Bowen. Es, ¿Será su hermano? His brother? Yeah, maybe. Oh, okay. No lo sabemos, pero puede ser o puede que sean primos. No lo sé. Esto, ambos son de uh, Boise, Idaho. But maybe. Tal vez vengan juntos. Así es que vámonos. Viene 012. Ah, la misma reacción. 012 para ambos pilotos ahí arriba para donde. Y vámonos, Trevor Larson. Buena carrera avanzando la siguiente ronda. Wow, they were welded together all the way down the racetrack. They left 12 a pair on reaction time. Goes 471 on the left side, 473 on the right side. And that equals a victory for Trevor Larson. Going 471 on the 470. A little closer to the dial in. And uh, after the even start, that turns into a win line. Gordon thinking, man. Close, but no good. Victor Clark, Boise, Idaho, 484 left side. Misty Unser, Runa, Idaho, 453 on the right side for Misty. Vámonos. Victor Clark por el izquierdo, 484 su tiempo. Misty Unser, 453. Vámonos. Están listos los pilotos. Se van con 049. Se está en problema. Clark le tiran mejor reacción 020. Así es. Ay, cuidado. Se va la victoria para el izquierdo. No sé qué pasó ahí arriba, pero vámonos. Wow, Misty had the advantage on the starting line by nearly 300s, but goes three above, and Victor puts it dead on five to seal the deal and get there first by one foul. So we got confirmation. Gordon Bowen is Anthony's dad. Oh, okay. So it's a father and son. So there we go. So thank you, thank you, Chat Bleachers, for the assist. We appreciate that. Jake Jones, South Jordan, Utah, 460 in the left side. Philip Pennington oh, out of those. Texas, 472 right side. Jake Jones por el izquierdo, Philip Pennington. Es de los Pennington Brothers. Ya, yeah, hay cuidado. Estos saben con cuántas papas se hace un caldo. Así es que va a estar complicado para Jake Jones. 460-472 para Pennington por el derecho. Listo. Jones por el izquierdo con una luz. Pennington despacio, despacio se va metiendo a las luces. ¿Quién va a dar la cortesía? Ni uno de los dos se mueve. Firmes en la luz. Vamos a ver. ¿Cuál de los dos? Hay cuidado. Lo hace muy fino. Jones. 
Vamos a ver a Pennington, lo hace, vienen las luces. Vámonos, 0-0-3 para Pennington, se los veníamos anunciando. Tiene todo para llevársela y no. Victoria para el carril derecho. Philip Pennington a la siguiente ronda. Philip Pennington, 3 to a 23, gets their first by 13, breaks it out by 14 thou. Jake Jones, under by 21 thou, breaks out more, no good. Margin of victory, 74-10 thou, goes to Philip Pennington. Chad Fergan, Brookings, South Dakota, 531 left side. Jeremy Cisneros, Albuquerque, New Mexico, 455 on the right side. Vámonos, Chad Fergan por el carril izquierdo. Jeremy Cisneros viene por el derecho. 531, 455 para el derecho. Vamos a ver quién de estos dos avanza. El que pierde queda eliminado. Hay un Blower Chop, el carril izquierdo, ya lo estoy viendo desde aquí en la pantalla, un 2.50. Están suaves esos Blowers, ¿eh? hay cuidado. Lo raro que se me hace es el tiempo 5.31. Siento que debería ser más rápido, pero no, vámonos. Mejor reacción para Jeremy Cisneros por el derecho. ¿Para dónde la victoria? Carril derecho, vámonos a la siguiente ronda. No bueno para Chad Fergan. He was late at the starting line and had to go under and just no math work there. Jeremy Cisneros, 18, one above five, 33 total, lighting up the win line. Jordan Epergesi, Lake Dallas, Texas, 436 left side. Mark Barnhart, Placidas, New Mexico, 472, getting 3600s here in the right side. Vámonos, Jordan. Ah, oh, caramba, the last name is complicated. <laughs> Epergesi, por el carril izquierdo, Mark Barhan, por el derecho, 472. Este es rápido por el carril izquierdo. 4.36 el tiempo, ¿eh? Y a lo que veo es a puro motor. O sea que está rápido el dragster Jordan. Vamos a ver. Va a corretear y en serio. 4.72 para el del derecho. Listo. Hay cuidado. Listo los pilotos. Vienen las luces. Esa es la ventaja. ¡Ay, no! Se va el rojo. Espantoso. 141 de rojo. Así es que el carril derecho avanzando a la siguiente ronda. Red light start for Jordan. Not sure what happened there, way red. Mark Barnhart, 28 and 11 foul under. Steven Hendricks, Bakersfield, California, 482 left side. Dan Provost, Abbotsville, British Columbia, 443 right side. Vámonos, Steve Hendricks por el izquierdo. 482. Dan Provost viene por el derecho, 443. Este también es rápido, eh. Viene siendo un auto que va a correr fuerte. Va a corretear, va a tratar de alcanzar en la parte final de los 200 metros del octavo de milla al carril izquierdo. Vamos a ver ambos pilotos con calma. Si se fijan, no se mueven casi en la luz. Ya lo hace Hendrix. Vamos a ver a Provost por el derecho. Despacito, despacito lo hace. Listo los pilotos, viene la luz, se va primero el izquierdo, 0.56, está en problema, 0.07 para el derecho, todo para avanzar y vámonos, Dan Provost a la siguiente ronda. Big advantage for Dan, 007, take 48 to go two above, 33 total, Hendricks locked out, 56, two above, no good. Hannah Vandermeer, Nampa, Idaho, five flat on the left side, Sean Hart, Boise, Idaho. Pair of undercover entries, 477, right side, giving up 2300s. Vámonos, señores. Hannah Vandermeer, por el izquierdo, 500 su tiempo. Sean Hart viene por el derecho, 477. Están listos, están listos los pilotos. Estamos en la segunda ronda de eliminación del Springfield. El día de hoy son 30, según tengo entendido, lo que será el premio. Ahorita les confirmo. Pero sí. Listo los pilotos. 500477. Se va primero el carril izquierdo. Vámonos a ver si lo alcanza. Mejor reacción para el carril derecho. Tiene que hacer. Bam, 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 bam. Allá arriba. ¡Ey, no! 480. No le alcanza. Casi tiempo perfecto al carril izquierdo. Avanzando a la siguiente ronda. Sean Hart had the advantage. 300 on the starting line. But Hannah holds it off. Goes. Five flat with a four on the five flat, 47 total. Sean was 13, but goes three above five to be 16, 10 foul behind. No good. Brittany Taylor, Lewistown, Montana, 480 in the left side. Gary Wamble, Arveda, Colorado, 466 right side. Vámonos, Brittany Taylor por el izquierdo. 480 su tiempo. Gary Wamble. 
Ok. Viene por el derecho, 466. Estamos en la segunda ronda de eliminación, señores. Aquí es donde el que pierde se va a casa. El que no ponga el auto adelante será eliminado. Vienen las luces. Vámonos, 010. 018, vamos a ver para quién, quién quita, quién pone, y vámonos, 480, 7 avanzando, Britney Taylor a la siguiente ronda. 10 to an 18, Britney had the advantage on the starting line, had 8 foul on the starting line, and wins it by 5 foul, goes 10, dead 7, Gary, 18, dead 4, no good. Tony Pontillo, Kenosha, Wisconsin, 457 left side, Ronnie Court, are another one of our, uh, Helpers in the announcing booth out of Denver, Colorado. 5.67 the dial for Ronnie. Vámonos, Tony Pontillo. Viene por el carril izquierdo, 4.57. 5.67 para Ronnie Court por el derecho. Vamos a ver. El carril izquierdo va a corretear. Va a salir un segundo casi atrás. Complicado. Complicado. Vamos a ver qué es lo que puede hacer Ronnie Court por el derecho. Así es que Pontillo tiene que acelerar a fondo y vámonos. Hay cuidado, la mejor reacción es para ambos porque salieron iguales. ¿Quién quita? ¿Quién pone? Y vámonos, victoria para el carril derecho. Both of them 12 on the starting line. Ronnie gets it done. 12 take two to be three above. 570 on the 567. Tony also three above but cannot get around Ronnie Court. So Ronnie moving on to round number three. Christopher Northrup. Gleason, Tennessee, 525 left side. Jesse Bepley, Nampa, Idaho, 507 right side. Vámonos. Christopher Arthur por el izquierdo. 525. Jesse Bepley viene por el derecho. 507. Estamos dándole aquí en el Spring Million. 30 mil dólares de premio el día de hoy. Así es que póngase abusado porque el que gane aguas la fiestecita en Las Vegas, ¿eh? Se va a ir con un buen billetito, con un buen trofeo y con la sensación que el día de hoy nadie le pudo ganar. Listos los pilotos, vienen las luces, vamos a ver quién avanza, quién se queda, quién queda eliminado. Listo, vámonos. 0-15, mejor reacción para Norton por el izquierdo. Se la lleva, no se la lleva y sí, casi tiempo perfecto. 5-25, 5-25, 1, vámonos. 15 for Christopher Northrup had a big advantage, makes it hold up. 15 dead one, taking a whole bundle. But if he can't go under, let it go. Bepley misses the tree, goes two above seven, no good. Mark Kidd, Twin Falls, Idaho, 452 left side. Tony Henderson, Vermillion, South Dakota, five flat, the dial right side, getting 4,800 for Mark Kidd. Vámonos, Mark Kidd viene por el carril izquierdo. 452. Tony Henderson viene por el derecho, 500. Se va a ir primero el derecho. Así es que son 30 mil dólares, señores, de premio y son garantizados. ¿eh? Así es que es importante cada carrera, cada detalle, cada cosa que se haga en la pista. Vámonos. Se va en rojo el carril derecho. Así es que Mark Heath avanza a la siguiente ronda con 0.20 de luz y 4.52 de recorrido. Perdón, 5.1. So Tony Henderson turns it red. Mark Kidd gets the automatic win, takes a free ride. 20 up front, goes 451 on the 452. And yes, David Hearn, I think you're right. I, I think I hear the same thing. Next up, John Edwards III, Chesapeake, Virginia, 476 left side. Mark Heatherly, Rossville, Georgia, 474 right side. 200 head start going to go to John Edwards III in the left side. Vámonos. John Edward III viene por el carril izquierdo. Mark Ok, hay que pronunciarlo de la mejor manera. Los tiempos son muy similares. 476, 474. Vamos a ver. Listos, listos los pilotos. Saludos a toda la gente de YouTube. Los estoy leyendo a veces. Ya saben que no se puede. Para dónde, para dónde, para dónde. Victoria para el carril derecho. Mac Hetterly por el derecho se va con la victoria. 11,000 separated, Mark Heatherly, 10 to a 21, had the advantage, goes down the other end, goes one above eight to take a sixth foul, margin of victory. John Edwards, 21, one above three, no good. Don Buckowitz, Perrineville, New Jersey, 481 left side, Scott Anderson, Brighton, Colorado, 450 on the right side. Vámonos, Don. Good, Greg Witz. Oh, this, this is hard for me. <laughs> Scott Anderson viene por el derecho. Ya saben, a toda la raza de YouTube, 
aquí estamos presentes y gracias por el apoyo tanto a los que hablan español o como a los que hablan inglés se agradece todo tipo de comentarios y fierro 012 para el carril izquierdo 042 para el derecho victoria victoria para el carril izquierdo so advantage for Buckowitz, 12 to a 42 he makes it stand at the other end goes 12 and 3 above taking 20 as scott was 42 up front goes two above no good Lee Dixon, Chesterfield, Virginia, 455 left side of the Race Tech entry. Sander Priest, Ringgold, Georgia, the undercover entry down to 514 right side. Vámonos, Lee Dixon, viene por el izquierdo. Sander Priest, viene por el derecho. 455 para Dixon. 514 para Priest por el derecho. Así es que estamos listos. Segunda ronda. Ay, 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 dice la gente por ahí. Estamos con todo. Ahorita estaba leyendo algo de, de Snoopy. Yo también lo veía cuando hablaba en inglés y el bla, 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 bla. Pero aquí estamos dándole con todo. Vamos a ver a Priest por el derecho. Lee Dixon por el izquierdo. Estamos poniéndole pasión. Estamos poniéndole ganas a esta narración. Así es que vámonos. Ay, ay, ay. Mejor reacción para el derecho. En problemas, Dixon. Si no se apura, lo van a echar para afuera. Y vámonos. Sandra Priest a la siguiente ronda. Sandra Priest, 17 to a 50. Advantage up front goes one above five 32 total taking 42 for the win lee was late and two above hey attention to the pits if you lost a helmet if you lost the helmet um come and see me in the tower if you got back to your pit and all of a sudden you were short something um i have at the tower i'm sure come describe it let me know what kind it is we'll get you your helmet back so if you're missing a helmet come on up and see me here in the tower <laughs> Corey galetti tumball texas 439 left side eric mann Water sucks. My guy right here, Somerville, Georgia. 461, the dial. Vámonos, Cory Guleri, por el carril izquierdo, 439, es rápido. Eric Mann viene por el derecho. Vamos a ver, 439, 461, dos dragsters rápidos, eh. Un poco más el de Guleri por el izquierdo. Pilotos experimentados, pilotos que saben cómo se gana en esta clase de eventos y vámonos. 012, mejor reacción para mí por el derecho. Quita, pone, acelera y vámonos. Cody Guleri a la siguiente ronda. 7 to a 12. Eric Mann had the advantage up front, but goes one above four, no good. Corey Galetti makes it work. 12 dead zero. What a drag race. Nine foul margin of victory for Galetti. Eric Mann, no good. Gabe Torres, La Puente, California, 470 in the left side. Thomas Wilson, Ringgold, Georgia, 472 in the right side. Vámonos, Gabe Torres viene por el carril izquierdo. Vamos a ver a Thomas Wilson. ¿Qué es lo que puede hacer por el derecho? 470, 472, los tiempos son similares, van a salir parejos. El que pegue abajo tiene que pegar arriba, señores, vamos a ver. ¿Quién se queda? ¿Quién se va? Gabe Torres por el izquierdo, Thomas Wilson por el derecho. Estamos en la segunda ronda de eliminación, el que pierde se va a casa. Listo Gabe Torres por el izquierdo, listo Thomas Wilson por el derecho. Viene la luz, se van ambos pilotos. ¡Ay, cuidado! 0-0-2 de luz para Torres. Está en problemas Wilson, ¿para dónde? Y vámonos, Gabe Torres a la siguiente ronda. Gabe Torres, 002, dead 5, 7 total, end to end. Taken 16 as Wilson was 35. And 12th that wonder. All right. Now, wait a minute. We lost a phone earlier. Now, a, right? Yeah. And now a helmet? Oh, yeah. oh wait. Well, thank <laughs> God. I thought this was a bad day. <laughs> Race Kid, Boise, Idaho, 472 left side. Josh Herman, Pueblo, Colorado, 450 right side. Ah, bueno, señores. Race Kid por el carril izquierdo. Josh Herman viene por el derecho. 472, 450. Para el carril derecho, estamos, ya sabes, señores, sigan la página en YouTube del 2024 Springfield Million. Búsquelo, búsquelo, The Flings Race Series. Suscríbase, dale a la, la campanita y dale like. Igual, ya saben, el Eva Chávez, ahí estamos presentes en Facebook. Vamos a ver cuál de estos dos se puede ir, cuál de los dos se queda. Vámonos, se va en rojo, 002 para Race Kit y está eliminado. Josh Herman avanzando a la siguiente ronda. I think he said Rojo. Yeah, 002. Goes 471-2. Josh Herman, 34 green, goes under by three foul, and Josh Herman is moving on. Doug Johnson out of Utah, out of 478 left side. Oh, another Pennington, Michael Pennington, Lavernia, Texas, 470 on the right side. Así es que vámonos, Doug Johnson por el izquierdo. 
Michael Pennington viene por el derecho. Son yes, three brothers. Ok, han corrido dos de los tres hermanos de los Pennington. Vamos a ver, Doug Johnson, 478. Michael Pennington, 470 por el derecho. Esta va a estar buena. Hay cuidado. Listo, Pennington por el derecho. Listo, Johnson. Se vienen las luces y vámonos. Arranca y hay cuidado. 0-2, está en problemas. Pennington tiene problemas ahí arriba. ¿Para dónde? ¿Para dónde? Y victoria para el carril izquierdo. Doug Johnson avanzando. Oh, man, what a race. 12 to a 26. Doug Johnson with the advantage makes it stand up by 18, 10 thou at the finish line. 12, one above five, 27 total. Pennington was 26 up front. Had to go dead one to have a chance. He goes dead two to put himself a thou behind. No good. Big Jed, all I got to say is I, I like the way Emmanuel says Pennington. I like it. I, I may just start calling you that. Big Jed Pennington. I like it. Brian Bennett, Shallow Water, Texas, 454 left side, Sugar Shane Carr, Killing Alabama, 444 right side. Vámonos, Brian Bennett en contra de Shane Carr, Sugar Shane viene por el derecho. Es de mis favoritos, Sugar Shane, vamos a ver si podemos apoyarlo y que gane la carrera. Normalmente no lo digo, pero aquí sí, porque no me conocen muchos. Vamos a ver, está en problemas, Sugar Shane y vámonos, victoria para Brian Bennett por el izquierdo. He said not good for Sugar Shane. Late, 47 and 17 foul under for Sugar. No good. Brian Bennett, 009, 11 foul under, taking 32, getting the win line. The my, my favorites, Racer, Sugar Shane, but <laughs> yeah. let's lose this track. Tim Markaglou, Staten Island, New York, left side on a 444. Don Sefton out of Bremerton, Washington, 464, right side, getting two tens from Tim Markaglou. Vámonos, señores, con Timmy. Timmy Markaglou por el izquierdo, 444. Hay cuidado. Don Sefton viene por el derecho, 4.64. Esta carrera, señores, hay cuidado, hermoso Draxter por el carril izquierdo. ¿eh? Bueno, ambos, pero a mí me gusta más el carril izquierdo. Es un 2024 Ultra Trash, hay no más. Ya sabrá la calidad y vámonos, viene. Se va con 0.09, mejor para el carril izquierdo. Vamos a ver qué dice ahí arriba y Jimmy, Jimmy, avanzando a la siguiente ronda. 9 to a 15, double breakout, win light goes to Marka Glue. 9 and 10 thou under as Sefton was 15, take 2 to be under by 18 thou, no good. Timmy Marka Glue, moving on. John Parks, Cadillac, Michigan, 449 left side in the Ultra Tech entry. Kevin Johnson, his American entry out of Draper, Utah, down to 449 on the right side. Vámonos, este, viene John Parks por el izquierdo. 449, 459 para Kevin Johnson. Ah, me acordé un jugador de los soles de Phoenix, Kevin Johnson, de los de la vieja escuela. Pero estamos listos, señores. Me dice, chaquetero, por ahí, ni modo, lo tengo que aceptar. A veces no lo digo, a veces sí, pero aquí no hay bronca. Vámonos, se va en rojo. 007 para Parks. 086, así es que Kevin Johnson avanzando a la siguiente ronda. Red light start for John Parks, 007 red. Kevin Johnson dodges a bullet right there as he was dead late. Goes under by 18,000. John Parks going to be kicking himself. Goes one above, 450, but no good on the red light. Vinny Domino, Staten Island, New York, 458 left side. Steve White, Ventura, California, 496 right side. Vámonos, Vinny Domino por el carril izquierdo. 458 su tiempo. Steve White viene por el derecho, 496. Aquí estamos, señores, ya saben, de Flynn Ray Series. Búsquelos en YouTube. A toda la gente, denle like, denle suscribir para que esté viendo. Son varios eventos. Así es que usted tiene que estar al pendiente de todo lo que sucede en las redes sociales. Así es que listo, Vinny Dimino por el derecho, izquierdo, perdón. Steve White viene por el derecho. Igual a la gente que está conectada en mi Facebook. Ahí está, los saludos a todos ellos. Se le va Chávez y vámonos. 0-0-3 de rojo y se le mueve arriba a White. Así es que Vinny Dimino avanzando a la siguiente ronda. Así es que con esto no sé si se acaba la ronda. Ahorita les digo. Permítame un segundito. Red light start for Steve White, 003. Vinny Domino, 004. Two thou under, picking up the wind line. And hey, just a heads up, the uh, raffles for the million are going to end in 30 minutes. The raffles for the million are going to end in 30 minutes. So if you've not gotten in one and you want to, you better do so. So the million entries will end in 30 minutes.
All right, so just uh, in case any of you are wondering, like, what in the heck are they doing in the middle of the round? We uh, The wind has kicked up, so it's obviously blowing stuff around. And in our effort to keep the track as optimal and as clean as possible, that's why we're down there. We're down there brooming it, sweeping it off to make sure that, you know, no, no debris is blowing on the track and that stuff that's going to cause any racers problems. So we understand that it's not something we would typically do is, is stop in the middle of a round and, and go, hey, look, we're going to uh, – fill some time and sweep the track that's not what we're doing we're doing it because of the wind it's uh blowing stuff around and we just don't want anybody getting loose at the top end or anything going haywire if it's preventable obviously we want to uh we want to do all we can to give everybody the best racing surface we possibly can so that's why they're going down brooming it off cleaning it off and uh then we'll be right back with the other half of uh, beyondo round number two of dragsters so like i said it's not something we ordinarily would do or want to do or whatever we just feel like we should so uh, in, in the primary emphasis of safety, which is what matters. You know, win, lose, or draw. We want everybody to go back to their pit area exactly the same condition that they left. So um, we're doing, trying to do our part to maintain the racing surface and make it fair and equitable for all. So if you're wondering, that's what we're doing. So we want to thank everybody for joining us here on the uh, Jags and Hoosier YouTube live feed here at the Mosier Engineering Spring Fling Million presented by Optima Batteries at the Strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I am absolutely thrilled to death to be joined by Emmanuel. So you are getting a little bit of uh, bilingual racing action So because I couldn't give that to you. I got, I got nothing. I told him. I know like I know 12 words in Spanish. Like the, the first 10 I learned from Sesame Street. I can count to 10. Uh, I've got, uh, I got Rojo now. I added that one. I've got Bueno. Uh, I got Gracia, so I'm a little, maybe a little over ten, but we're not very far. Like I'm, uh, I speak, yeah, I speak, uh, but right, yeah. And the, but the more time I spend with Emmanuel, say I'm going to learn more. I'm going to pick more things up because I want, I've got to implement IAI into my whole racing. That it just, it just brings a whole new element. He gets excited. Um, you can't help but get excited, whether you're watching, whether you're here. It's, uh, it's just fun. And I, and I told him that, and I, and I meant that sincerely. The, uh, the amount of energy that he brings to, um to this broadcast to just announcing in general is, is fun to watch. And so if you can't get excited listening to this guy announce, probably not going to be very much excite you in life because he just – you can tell he's passionate about the sport. You can tell he knows knows what he's talking about and uh, and he loves what he does. So thank you for coming up here and, and helping us out. It's always, always fun. So, uh, again, those of you just jumping in and going, oh, no, what happened? There's no – there's no mess. We didn't didn't tear anything up. We're just uh, we're just brooming off the track, sweeping it to uh, to keep the uh, racing surface clean. Just because we got a whole lot of wind blowing stuff around, so we don't want anything to end up on the racetrack. It's gonna cause somebody to get to get loose. So um, we'll never we'll never apologize for putting safety at the forefront. That's what it's all about. We got to do what we do in the uh, safest manner possible. We know everybody has a huge investment in your racing operation, and so we got to do our due diligence to give you the best possible surface that we can so that's what we're doing right now so we're about halfway through dragsters and beyondo round number two so we're uh cutting them in half every round here on larissa motorsport insurance thursday 30k which uh if it's larissa 30k thursday what's that mean what's tomorrow it's the big one right yeah i get the million tomorrow so we're excited so if, uh, if you want to beat the rush, there's uh, still time to go buy your tech card for tomorrow. No sense in waiting until the very last minute to do so. If you know you're going to do it, just go get it. That way you don't have to fight the line because there will be plenty of people that sleep on it tonight and get up tomorrow and go, hey, I should give me one of those tech cards for the million. So uh, beat the rush. Get it now. Yes, Gabe, it is, it is very, very windy today. So it's just kind of blowing stuff around. and So, so that's what we're doing. So a tickle foot out on the uh, roaming camera, out doing his thing. So love the uh, love the various camera angles that we're able to uh, to get. And so this uh, this new YouTube channel is it's fun. It's been a, a neat thing to be a part of. Like I say, you're always one of those things. You're always a little bit nervous starting something new and stepping away from what you've always kind of known to do something different. But um, if anything else. Peter and the fling team have never been afraid to take some chances and go, hey, let's let's try this. So, Gabe, I am doing well. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. It's cool to be in uh, cool to be in Las Vegas for sure. 
But thanks to everybody who's uh, who's in Chat Bleacher Land right now. Over 2,200 of you are watching the broadcast. Now only 1,100 of you have liked it, so we definitely need some more participation in the like category, and there's plenty of room for shares. So but, uh, let everybody know, because out, out my world, it's uh, about 6.15 at home, so everybody's probably had dinner, so what better thing to do than sit back and watch some drag racing from Las Vegas. So share the, uh, share the feed with everybody you know. Share it on your social media platforms and help us grow the Flings Race Series YouTube channel. And uh, we'll continue streaming here. Thank you to, uh, to Jags and to Hoosier for helping us do that. We are most appreciative of all of our sponsors here in the Fling brand. So I think we're just about to go back to Biondo round number two of Dragsters. We're going to fire them up, and we're going to go. Mike Eames, you the man. <laughs> Miss you, buddy. Can't wait to see you again. Here we go. Troy Williams, Jr., Bradenton, Florida, 473 in the left side. Daryl Contreras, Pueblo, Colorado, 482 the dial right side. Going to get 900's head start from T-Rock. Listo, vámonos. Troy Williams Jr. por el carril izquierdo. Este es bueno también. Hay cuidado. Darrell Contreras viene por el derecho. Seguimos, señores. Pararon un poco la pista. El aire estaba un poco fuerte. Limpiaron la pista. Ante todo, acuérdense que la seguridad es primero. No se puede correr cuando las condiciones del autódromo de la pista no están de la forma correcta. Es lo primero que dicen por ahí. Así es que vamos a ver... ¿Qué es lo que dice Troy Williams Jr. por el izquierdo? 4-7-3. Darryl Contreras, 4-8-2. Estamos en la segunda ronda de eliminación, señores. Vamos a ver qué es lo que puede... Hoy como suena ese motor, parece el Tejamán, pero no. Listos los pilotos. 0-16, mejor para Troy Williams la reacción. 0-39 para Contreras. La victoria para dónde y vámonos. Troy Williams Jr. a la siguiente ronda. Troy Williams Jr., 16, one above 329 total as Contreras was 39 up front, goes 2,000 under, but got there last, had no chance. Oh, come on, Mike Eames. Don't be so humble. Stephen Farrow, Chattanooga, Tennessee. Water sucks. Entry out of 485. Matt Lee, Simica, Missouri. 476 to the dial, right side, giving up 900s. Vámonos. Stephen Farrow, guerra izquierdo, 485. Matt Lee viene por el derecho, 4-7-6. Vamos a ver quién de estos dos avanza a la siguiente ronda. Estamos en Las Vegas, estamos en el Springfield Million. Así es que listo los pilotos, muy parejos van a salir. ¿eh? 0-12, la misma reacción, ya van tres carreras que tiran la misma luz a ambos pilotos. ¿Para dónde? ¿Para dónde? Steven Farrow avanzando a la siguiente ronda. 12's a pair, double breakout. Matt Lee there first by 7,000, breaks it out by 8,000. Gets, yeah, gets there first and uh, had to about get there even. Stephen Farrow was under by 1,000, and he'll get the, the win line. Ryan Barnes, Brunswick, Georgia, 459 left side. Todd Coulter in Meridian, Idaho, 469 the dial right side. Vámonos, Ryan Barnes, viene por el izquierdo. 4.59 su tiempo. Todd Coltrin viene por el derecho. 4.69, mínima la diferencia. Hermosos dragsters, vamos a ver correr ahorita. Listo, los pilotos, se va a las luces. Ya lo hace Ryan Barnes por el izquierdo. Primero Todd Coltrin por el derecho. Se van a ir casi iguales, viene la luz. Ay, 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 el rojo para el carril derecho. Así es que Ryan Barnes avanza a la siguiente ronda. Uh oh, I heard a rojo. That's not good. 12 red for Todd Coltrin. Win light, Ryan Barnes, 007 and well under. 4,900s under, but moving on. Johnny Ezell, Johnny Bracket Racer. 459 left side, Keith Thomas, Madisonville, Tennessee, 505 right side. Vámonos, Johnny Bracket viene por el carril izquierdo. 
Hey, Thomas viene por el derecho. Vamos a ver a Johnny Easel por el izquierdo. 459-505 para Kate Thomas. Johnny Brackett viene por el izquierdo. Hay cuidado. Este es de los peligrosos, señores. Aguas. Aguas con Johnny Easel. Vamos a ver qué dice Kate Thomas. Si puede hacerle carrera. Si puede. Hay cuidado. Le apaga las luces, Easel. Ahí por algo es Johnny Brackett. Hay cuidado. Vienen las luces. 0.25, 0.17 en problemas, Johnny Brackett. ¿Para dónde? Y vámonos. Kate Thomas avanzando a la siguiente ronda. 17 to a 25. Keith Thomas gets it done. 17 dead one, 18 total. Ezel, 25 dead zero, but no good. Keith Thomas moving on. Jansen Milton, Gleason, Tennessee, 4.19. Left side. Trayton Ban, Lewistown, Idaho, 5.10 in the right side. Going 5.10, getting nearly a second. Wow. Yo creo que Jameson Melton es el más rápido el día de hoy. ¿eh? 4.19 trae en su dragster. Oigan el Blauer. Se le escucha que tiene vida propia al motor de Jameson Melton. Trayton Van se va a ir por el derecho con 5.10. 4.19. Este auto es rapidísimo, señores. Es muy, muy rápido. ¿eh? Hay cuidado. Se va a dar mucha ventaja. Se va en rojo. Y es que Melton avanzando con 4.17. Tiempo de recorrido avanzando a la siguiente ronda. Red light start for Trayton Van. 003 red goes two under. Wind light Jansen Melton. 29 goes 18th out under. Goes 417 at 170 mile an hour for the wind light. Donnie Ellis out of Illinois. 475 left side. Wyatt Wayman, South Jordan, Utah. 429 right side. Vámonos, señores. Donnie Ellis por el carril izquierdo, 475. Wyatt Wayman viene con 429. También es rápido. Según yo, este trae Pro Charger. No estoy seguro. Porque lo vi correr unas libres por ahí. Vamos a ver. 475. Vienen las luces. ¡Ay, cuidado! Algo pasó y se va a ir con la victoria. Eh, ¡Ay, ay, ay! Llega quebrando su tiempo y Wyatt Wayman avanza la siguiente ronda. No puede ser. Wow, unbelievable. Donnie Ellis, double O eight, and had seven tenths of a head of, of an advantage on Wyatt, but he figured Wyatt would be coming screaming, and uh, but Wyatt was dead late and uh, slow. He takes a second and a half. That's a puke bucket run right there, and Wyatt Wayman gonna return to live another round. Wow, John and Jill. 466 left side, Cooper Chun, Vancouver, Washington, 509 right side. Así es que John Angel viene por el izquierdo. Cooper Chun viene por el derecho. Nunca volteó para atrás el piloto del carril izquierdo. Pensó que le iban a pasar como bala allá arriba y no volteó. Así es que vámonos. 466-509. Estamos en la segunda ronda de eliminación. Vienen las luces. Se va primero el derecho, se va el izquierdo. Mejor reacción para el derecho. Copper Tune tiene la oportunidad de avanzar a la siguiente ronda y vámonos. 5-10, su tiempo avanzando a la siguiente ronda. Advantage for Cooper Chun against the wind light. 24 and one above for the win. John was late at the starting line, takes seven, was under 24, had no chance. Yeah, exactly. Randy, swear jar. That was a swear jar run. You're exactly right. Donate to Racers for Christ, that's for sure. Left side, Joe Peters, Greenville, Texas, 485 the dial. Lane Ingo, Pueblo, Colorado, 475 the dial. Right side, giving up a tenth of a second head start. Vámonos, señores, ahora con Joe Peters. Peters viene por el carril izquierdo, 485 su tiempo. Lane Ingo viene por el derecho, 475 va. Un poco más rápido. Vamos a ver para dónde vamos, a ver quién avanza, quién se queda y vámonos. 01606, mejor reacción para el carril derecho. Se mueve, le quita, le pone, van, van, van y vámonos, car victoria para el carril derecho. 6 to a 16, Lane with the advantage and the win line. Had 10 thou in his pocket at the starting line, takes 8 thou at the finish line. 6 and 2 above for the win. Peters, 16, 2 above, no good. Greg Garrison, Flagstaff, Arizona, 477 left side. Richard McFarland. Yucca Valley, California, 586 on the right side.
Vámonos, señores. Greg Garrison por el izquierdo. 4-7-7. 5-86 para Richard McFarland. Vamos a ver quién se queda, quién avanza. Saludos a toda la gente de YouTube. Ahí estaba viendo un poquito. No los puedo ver todos, pero ya saben que está el saludo. Vámonos. 0-10, reacción para el carril derecho. 0-13 para el izquierdo. ¿Para dónde? ¿Para dónde? Y vámonos. Greg Garrison a la siguiente ronda. 10 to a 13, Richard McFarlane with the advantage, but Greg Garrison drives on by. 13 dead, four taking a bunch. It's trouble for McFarlane. Goes six above, no good. Leslie Dugas, out of Texas, 473 left side. Alexis Thompson, Henderson, Nevada, 467 right side. Vámonos con Leslie Dugas por el izquierdo, 473. Alexis Thompson viene por el derecho, 467. Vamos a ver. Otros dos que se están jugando la vida aquí en este evento. Aquí no hay mañana. Aquí o ganas o estás eliminado. Así es que hay cuidado. Por ahí decían win or go home. Decían por ahí. Así es que tienes que ganar porque esta carrera si pierdes estás eliminado. Listo. Leslie Dugas por el izquierdo. Alexis Thompson por el derecho. Estamos en la segunda ronda de eliminación. Los dragsters presentes, como no, en Springfield del Million. Vienen las luces. ¡Ay, ay, ay! ¡Triple cero! Vamos a ver si se la lleva y vámonos, avanzando a la siguiente ronda. Wow. Trip, zip, dead nine for Alexis Thompson. Leslie Dugas, 20. And two above had no chance. Alexis Thompson laying it down, end to end. Sean Schaefer, yesterday's winner, still on the hunt today. Boise, Idaho, 463 in the left side. Marlon Goats, Troy, Texas, 487 right side. Vámonos, señores, con Sean Schaefer por el izquierdo, 466. Marlon Goats viene por el derecho, 487. Acaban de tirar una luz perfecta el carril derecho. Eh. Impresionante ver que metan un triple cero y casi el tiempo perfecto. Listos, listos. Ahorita se ganó su reconocimiento Alexis Thompson. Viene esperando al izquierdo. Vienen las luces, vámonos. 0-26, 0-24. La victoria puede ser para cualquiera de los dos. Vamos a ver. Quien avance y vámonos. Schaefer a la siguiente ronda. 24 to a 26. Sean Schaefer getting the win line again. Keeps on marching. 24 dead three. Marlon Goats, 26, two above. No good. Brian Cam, Pacifica, California, 499 left side. Chris Whitfield, Littleton, Colorado, 466 right side. Vámonos. Brian Cam por el izquierdo, 499. Chris Whitfield viene por el derecho, 466. Vamos a ver quién de estos dos avanza, quién se queda en el camino. Estamos en Las Vegas, Nevada, cómo no. En la ciudad que nunca duerme, señores. En las carreras, en este gran autódromo. The Strip. Listos, listos los pilotos. 499, 466. Me dicen que la velocidad del aire está fuerte, hay cuidado. 0-19, mejor reacción para el derecho. ¿Para dónde? ¿Quién quita? ¿Quién pone? Y vámonos. Chris Winsfield a la siguiente ronda. Chris Winsfield, your winner, 19. Take 10 to be one above 5, 34 total. Brian Cam was 34 at the let go. So had to go dead zero, but instead goes one above zero. No good. Jason Pad, Chester Muir, Alberta, Canada, 466 left side. Nicholas Contreras, Avondale, Colorado, 464 right side. I started to read the screen and I was like, oh, Emmanuel had to hit the button. I need the push button. Yeah, that wasn't <laughs> yours. <laughs> I've been doing it, but I was like, oh, no, I forgot. He yeah. came in with the assist. Vámonos con Jason Pat por el carril izquierdo. Es que hay un botón para cambiarle la pantalla. Yo no lo aplasto, pero no me pude resistir. Lo tenía que aplastar para cambiarle. Nicolás Contreras viene por el derecho. Estamos con 464 para el derecho, 466, casi al mismo tiempo. Se van a ir parejos ambos pilotos. Vamos a ver a Jason Pat por el izquierdo. Nicolás Contreras viene por el derecho. Listo los pilotos, se vienen las luces. ¡Ay, ay, ay! Mejor reacción para el carril izquierdo. Vamos a ver qué dice Contreras arriba y vámonos. Jason Pat a la siguiente ronda. Win line goes to Jason Pad, 15 dead, two taking 38 as Nick misses the tree and goes one above, no good. Cody Baker, 
High River, Alberta, 466 left side. Emily Gerard, Chilliwack, British Columbia, Battle of Canadians right here, 490 on the right side. Listos, Cody Baker, viene por el izquierdo, 466 su tiempo. Vamos a ver a Emily Girard por el derecho, 490. Vamos a ver qué es lo que pueden hacer estos dos pilotos. Listos, vámonos. Los hermosos dragsters. Vamos a ver a Baker por el izquierdo, 466. 490 para Emily Girard. Estábamos en la segunda ronda de eliminación. Si usted me pregunta por qué dura tanto, porque son muchos dragsters el día de hoy. No sé si alrededor de unos 300, yo creo, a ver puros dragsters o más, unos 400, pero estamos en un evento grande, estamos en un evento bueno, en un evento impresionante. Y nos dan la oportunidad y aquí estamos, 466, 490, viene el bailoteo de las luces. ¡Ay, ay, ay! Rojo para el carril derecho. Cody Baker automáticamente avanzando a la siguiente ronda. Automatic win goes to Cody Baker. 38 up front goes four above as Emily turns it red by 24,000, goes under by 16,000. Neither one of those any good. Tommy Drake Jr., Emmett, Idaho, 483 left side. Aaron Johnson, Springdale, Arkansas, 491 right side. Going to get 800's head start from Tommy Drake Jr. Vámonos con Tommy Drake Jr., 483, Aaron Johnson. Viene por el derecho, 491. Otros dos que se están peleando, están en la vida y la muerte para poder avanzar a la siguiente ronda, para poder continuar vivos en el evento. Esto se va poniendo cada vez mejor. El nivel de competencia crece y crece. Así es que un descuido y quedas eliminado. Así es que tenemos que estar bien atento a lo que hacen los pilotos. Tenemos que estar listos para ver y llevarles la acción de lo que se está viviendo cada carrera. Listo, Tommy Drake Jr. Listo, Aaron Johnson. Se vienen las luces. 026 está en problemas, Drake. Parece que la victoria va a ser para el carril derecho. Aaron Johnson avanzando la siguiente ronda. Win light goes to Aaron Johnson. As uh, Tommy was late, didn't have a chance at all there. Aaron 26, dead 430 total. Locks out Tommy Drake Jr., who is late and under. Kyle Bigley, Sakaskas, New Jersey, left side. 4.53 the dial, Jerry Hall, Pueblo West, Colorado, 5.22, getting the head start on the right-hand side. Listo, Kyle Bigley, por el izquierdo, 4.53, 5.22 para Jerry Hall. Estamos en la segunda ronda de eliminación, aquí se está jugando 30 mil dólares, señores. Es un premio impresionante y así se reparten día a día. Vamos a ver qué dice Bigley por el izquierdo, Hall por el derecho. Estamos en Las Vegas, ya saben, darle suscribir ahí en la campanita para que sea cada vez más gente que esté viendo esta transmisión en vivo. Vámonos, se va primero el carril derecho, 0.18 de luz, 0.24. La ventaja la llevaba el derecho y vámonos, victoria para el carril izquierdo. Bigley gets the win line, 24 dead two as Jerry Hall had six thou on the starting line, but goes two above eight, no good. Bigley gets through to round number three. Brian Kennedy, Odessa, Texas, 478 left side. Jason Dawson, North Las Vegas, Nevada. Nevada, 467 right side. Vámonos, Brian Kennedy por el izquierdo. Jason Dawson viene por el derecho. 467 el derecho, 478 para el izquierdo. Vamos a ver quién de estos dos se queda, quién de estos dos avanza. Uno solo podrá llegar a la siguiente ronda. Listo el derecho, vamos a ver al izquierdo. Vienen las luces y vámonos. 0-15, mejor reacción para el izquierdo. 0-09. ¿Para dónde? ¿Quién quita? ¿Quién pone? Y vámonos. Victoria para el carril izquierdo, Brian Kennedy. Brian Kennedy wins the double breakout race. 9 to a 15 on the starting line. Goes down 13 thou under, as well as Jason Dawson. So we go back to the starting line and margin of victory is that. 63-10 thou going to Brian Kennedy. You are right, Midnight. That win, Troy, you're correct. It is moving it around. It's, uh, yeah, we're getting some gusts out here for sure. Clayton Mitchell, President Tennessee, 473 left side. Philip Narum, Casa Grande, Arizona, 479 right side. Así es que Clayton Mitchell, haciendo presencia con 473. Philip Narum viene por el derecho, vienen las luces, vámonos. Ay, cuidado. Mejor reacción por el carril izquierdo, lo va empujando, lo va empujando y vámonos. Victoria para el carril derecho. Win line goes Philip Narum. 
33 dead, three taken 16 as Clayton was 11 up front, but goes four above at the other end. No good. Talon Farmer, Abilene, Texas, 487 left side. Ken Winley, Caldwell, Idaho, the diamond entry on a 469. Así es que Tylon Farmer viene por el izquierdo. Ken Windley por el derecho. 487-469. Vamos a ver quién avanza, quién se queda. Así es que ambos pilotos están listos. Se toman su tiempo, lo hacen casi igual. Vienen las luces y vámonos. Hay cuidado, 0-14, mejor reacción para el derecho. ¿Quién quita? ¿Quién pone? ¿Quién pisa el freno? Y vámonos. Ken Whitley a la siguiente ronda. Ken Whitley, 14, 2 above, 0, taking 17. Talon Farmer, 28, 2 above, 3, no good. Ken Whitley, moving on. Eric Goulden, out of Alberta, Canada, 465, left side, David Myrie. Sheridan, California, on a 478. Vamos a ver a Eric Goulden por el izquierdo, 465. David Meyer por el derecho, 478. Listos los pilotos, vamos a ver. Ay, cuidado, el de la cámara se nos perdió un poquito. Ahí está. Estaba oh, viendo ahí. El aire está fuerte, señores. Los pilotos se la están rifando, machín. Macizo, decimos nosotros por acá. Listos. 465. 478. Para los pilotos, vamos a ver quién se queda, quién se va. ¿Quién avanza? Listo, Mayer por el derecho, lo hace Golden por el izquierdo. Vienen las luces. 0-10, mejor reacción para el izquierdo. Vamos a ver para dónde, quién quita, quién pone. Y vámonos, Eric Golden a la siguiente ronda. Eric Golden in control, 10. And goes dead, 9. 19 total, taking 30. As David was 42 up front, goes dead, 7, but had no chance. Um, yeah. Ana Lucia Contreras. And some other, I don't know the rest of it. You'll have to fill them in because it, it goes off the screen. 496 left side, Nathan Martin, Kennedale, Texas, 473 right side. Vámonos, del Team México presente, Ana Lucía Contreras viene por el carril izquierdo. 496 para la de Hermosillo, Sonora. Nathan Martin viene con 476, perdón, 73. Vamos a ver, Ana Lucía, qué es lo que puede hacer la del Team México. Tiene que defenderse con todo. Vámonos, está en problemas, Ana Lucía. Vamos a ver quién quita, quién pone. Y vámonos, victoria para el carril derecho. Double breakout win goes to Nathan Martin. 31 take 18 to be under by 2,000. Left side is under by 9,000. No good. Nathan Martin moving on. Jorge Covarrubia Sr. Baja, California, Mexico. 480 on the left side. KJ Desai, North Las Vegas, Nevada. 493 right side. Vámonos con el Cobas. Jorge Covarrubia Jr. Oh, perdón. Es Jorge Covarrubias. El Coba 014 presente. La baja, como no, Sonora presente. Vamos a ver a Jorge en contra de KG Deza. Jorge Covarrubias 480, 493 para el derecho. Vámonos. El buen Jorge Covarrubias viene por el izquierdo. Vamos a ver qué puede hacer contra KG Deza. Se va primero el derecho. Con calma, con calma en las luces de esa. Ya lo hace bien en las luces. Vamos a ver al Cobas. 0-15, mejor reacción para Jorge Covarrubias. Y tapone, pisa el freno y vámonos. El de México avanzando a la siguiente ronda. What he said. Double break out. Covarrubias Sr. Under by six thou. Breaks out the least, gets the win like KJ was 37 up front. Goes under by a bunch. So give the win to Jorge. Moving on. Team Mexico. Donovan Williams, Sarasota, Florida, 485 left side. Jacob Storr, the Boise, Idaho, 446 right side. Donovan going to leave first. Vámonos con Donovan Williams. Hay cuidado, 485. Jacob Stolworthy? The last name? Stolworthy. Oh. Is he saying with the Contreras and Latrier? Yeah. The other name? <laughs> Pero bueno, estamos aprendiendo un poquito y también enseñamos un poco. Pero estamos listos. Vamos a ver a Donovan Williams. Este sabe cómo se corre. Este sabe ganar. Hay cuidado. 4.85. Jacob viene por el derecho. Solo lo dejaré Jacob esta vez. Complicado. 4.46 es rápido. Vamos a ver qué puede hacer. ¡Ay, ay, ay! Se va el rojo. 
El carril derecho, así es que Donovan Williams avanzando la siguiente ronda. 11 red for Jacob Stolworthy. Williams, 22 and 7th out under. Miss Olivia just brought me in the paper for raffle number five, the $100 raffle. We're going to shake them up. We're going to let Miss Olivia draw one out of here. We're going to get ourselves a winner. All right. She doesn't even peek or anything. She's looking at race cars. She knows what she's doing. She is an accomplished. Uh, you drew one again? I don't know how she's doing this, but she did. Cash and fry. You, uh, you're you going to get to bring that junior comp entry into the million. Cash and you are the winner of the $100 raffle number five. And you'll be joining the million. Cash and fry. Haven't had a whole lot of luck going your way so far, but here's your chance to do so on the big stage. Nacho Rivera, Sonora, Mexico, 472 left side. Carl Jones, Mulvaney, Kansas, 473 right side. Vamos a ver a Nachito, el de Guatabampo para el mundo. Viene por el izquierdo. El Titinas Spirit en contra de Carl Jones. Vamos a ver. Mejor reacción para el derecho. Vamos a ver qué puede hacer Nacho Rivera. Llega aquí, tapón y vámonos. Victoria para el carril derecho. Nacho is going to want that one back. 11 take 35 to be under by 8 foul. Had to take 27 or less. Carl Jones, 005. Goes over the dial in by 33, but gets the wind light as Rivera, there too quick, breaks it out. Dalton Giroux, out of Alberta, Canada, 461 left side. Cool hand, Luke Bogaki, Carterville, Illinois, 469 on the right side. Vámonos con Dalton Garyu por el izquierdo. Ay, cuidado. Luke Bogaki viene por el derecho. 469, 461. Vamos a ver a Bogaki por el derecho. Vamos a ver a Dalton por el izquierdo. Bugaki de los pilotos que nos, nos ha tocado verlo. Que pasa ronda sin serio. Listo. Vamos a ver a Bugaki. Vamos a ver a Dalton por el izquierdo. 4-6-1. 4-6-9. Está parejo. Los tiempos son muy similares. Vienen las luces. Vamos a ver a Bugaki. 0-0-7. 0-10. Ay, cuidado. Va a estar cerrado, cerrado. Y vámonos. Carril izquierdo a la siguiente ronda. Wow, what a drag race. Dalton knocks out one of the best. Cool hand. 007. Take 12 to be nine thou under. Had to take three or less. Cannot get it done. Dalton is 10. Dead zero. That's the only way you're going to knock out a guy like Luke. You got to lay a pack. And uh, he did just that. Ken Nelson, Hayden, Idaho, 454 left side, Riley Lear Camp, Olympia, Washington, the Mullis entry, 464 the dial right side. Vámonos, Ken Nelson, por el izquierdo, 454. Riley Lear Camp viene por el derecho. 464 es un poquito la diferencia. Vamos a ver a Nelson, por el izquierdo. Lear Camp por el derecho. Estamos en la segunda ronda de eliminación. El que pierde queda eliminado. ¿eh? ¿Sí? Que cuidado. Aquí no puede haber errores. 0-29. 0-21 para el derecho. Tiene todo para llevárselo. Vamos a ver y vámonos. Riley Lercamp para la siguiente ronda. Riley Lercamp, your winner is Ken Nelson. 29, take three to be under by four thou. Mathematically ineligible. Riley Lercamp, 21, dead seven. 28 total, getting it done. Rod Belsham, Prince George, British Columbia. 446 left side. Kendra Larson, Starbuck, Minnesota. 448 the dial right side. Vámonos. Rod Belsham por el izquierdo. 446. Kendra Larson. 448. Uno de estos dos se va a ir a casa. Otro avanzará a la siguiente ronda. Listos. Estamos aquí en Las Vegas. Estamos en el Springfield Million. Estamos en YouTube. Listo los pilotos, vamos a ver, 4.46, es rápido el carril izquierdo, el derecho, ni se diga, señores, están saliendo casi iguales. Saludos, saludos a toda la gente que está en el en vivo, a la gente que está en YouTube, a veces no los puedo ver, pero sabemos que estamos ahí presentes y agradeciendo sus comentarios. Listo, vienen las luces, ay, 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 0.19, mejor reacción para el izquierdo, ¿qué dice, qué dice, quién se queda y no? Victoria para Kendra Larson a la siguiente ronda. Rod Belsham had that one. 19, take 41, but goes 10th out under. Had to take 31 or less. Kendra Larson, 26, two above, getting the win line. Rick Hughes, you are right. I am a long 
away from home. Thank you so much. I appreciate your kind words. Always, uh, always nice to have the support from back home, Wave. So thanks so much. Tony Burton, Rochester, Washington, 460 left side. Dave Mazier in Escondido, California, 491 right side for the Mazier Enterprises entry. Vámonos. Tony Burton, 460, Dave Mazier. Viene por el derecho con 491. Listo. Ambos pilotos. Burton por el izquierdo. Mazier viene por el derecho. Vamos a ver quién se queda. Hermosos dragsters. Hay cuidado. Vamos, estamos dándole aquí en Las Vegas, cómo no. La verdad, tratando de representar, haciendo las cosas bien. ¡Ay, ay, ay! ¡Triple cero para Tony Burton! ¡4.91! ¿Para dónde? ¡Y vámonos! ¡Victoria para el carril izquierdo! Wow, I don't know how you say nasty in, in, in Spanish, but that was nasty. Vazir's 15 and 15 behind, lays down 16 total, and was just along for the ride. Tony Burton trips it perfect. One above two, 12 total. He'll get that Kyle Seipel triple zero hero coin, $50, and more, maybe, I don't know, more importantly, but as importantly, a round win is going to put him into round number three. Josh Lukey, lost Chevrolet entry out of Boonville, Indiana, down to 454. This is a matchup. Chris Galetti, Tumball, Texas, 456 the dial right side. Oh, this is Josh. Lukey for the izquierdo. Chris Gulity. Ay, cuidado. Triple cero otra vez. Y vámonos. Victoria para el izquierdo. Wow, back to backers. 15 dead two. Ay, ay, ay. Craziness out here. Lukey. Trip zip dead eight, eight total end to end. Gets it done. What a drag race there. Andan bravos. Wow. Ay, cuidado. Back to back trip zips. Ryan O'Connor out of Alberta, Canada, 457 left side. Bodie Bennett out of shallow water, Texas, 467 and out right side. Okay, señores, dos triple ceros por el mismo carril consecutivo. Se, hay cuidado. Ryan O'Connor, 4.57, Booth Bennett viene por el derecho, 4.67. A ver si se da el tercero, eso sería algo increíble. Los pilotos han ajustado el delay box como no tienen una idea. Han ajustado el ojo, el cerebro, la mente, el dedo para soltarlo en el momento exacto. Así es, con esto no se ve muy seguido, dos triple cero seguidos. ¿eh? Cuidado, vamos a ver a Connor. A Bennett por el derecho. Vienen las luces y vámonos. ¡Ay, cuidado! Se va en rojo el carril derecho. Así es que Ryan Connor a la siguiente ronda. Bodie Bennett turns it red by 21 thou, goes under by 21 thou. Ryan O'Connor, 17, way under. 451 on the 457, but Ryan O'Connor going to return for round number next. Tyler Myra, Sandy, Utah, 476 left side. Grady Johnson, Saratoga Spring, Utah. 478, the dial right side. Vámonos con Tyler Myra por el izquierdo, 476. Grady Johnson viene por el derecho, 478. Oh, no, no, cosa impresionante. Disculpe si uno se emociona, pero ver un triple cero no es fácil. Estás arriesgando demasiado en la carrera al momento de tirar un triple cero. Estás al borde del abismo porque te puedes ir en rojo. Así es que vamos a ver a Tyler Mayer por el izquierdo, Grady Johnson por el derecho. Son las cosas que el piloto se arriesga, el piloto buscando la victoria lo hace de la manera perfecta. Listo, listo. Vamos a ver quién se queda, quién se va. Con calma, ambos pilotos, ni uno se mete a las luces, se está tomando mucho tiempo. Yo de aquí veo que ni uno de los dos mueve ni una llanta, lo hacen y vámonos. 0.46, mejor reacción para el carril derecho, 0.37. Grady Johnson debe avanzar a la siguiente ronda y vámonos. Wow, Grady Johnson getting the win by 2.10,000, 37, one above seven. Tyler, 46, dead eight, no good. Kyle Coltrera, Elliott, Maine, 486 left side. Colby Fuller, Savannah, Georgia, 448 right side. Vámonos, Kyle Coltrera viene por el izquierdo. 486, Colby Fuller viene por el derecho. Coltrera, hay cuidado, son de los pilotos que nos ha tocado ver y seguir a través de las redes sociales o los eventos que hemos asistido aquí en Estados Unidos y sabemos que es un piloto experimentado. Vamos a ver a Colby Fuller qué es lo que puede hacer en contra de Kyle Cultrera. 
Listos, vamos a ver estos dos pilotos. ¿Quién se queda? ¿Quién avanza a la siguiente ronda? Listos. Están en las luces. Vamos a ver a Cultrera. Oh, Fuller por el derecho. Con mucha calma, no se mueven. Están exactamente ahí en el pedazo. Listos los pilotos. Vamos a ver a Cultrera. Bien, el semáforo. ¡Ay, ay, ay! ¡Vámonos! Otro rojo. 0-21 para Cultrera. 0-0-8 para Fuller. Así es que el carril izquierdo avanza. ¿Somos el 8 rojo? Yeah. Yeah. ¿Sí? Yeah. Oh, 0 0 8. Got it. Rojo. Got it. All right. See, we're, we're getting there. See, you can teach the dumb things. This is good. Kyle Coltrera, 21. <laughs> 21 and 29 foul under. And Coltrera moves on. Colby Fuller out with the rojo. Val Torres, Valinda, California. 471 left side. Jeff Serra, Adamstown, Pennsylvania. This ought to be good. 470 in the right side. Es buena carrera, eh. Val Torres es bueno para correr. Jeff Serra ni se diga. Vamos a ver qué es lo que puede hacer el de California. Val Torres viene por el izquierdo, 4-7-1, 4-70, es casi el mismo tiempo. El que pegue abajo tiene que pegar arriba. Listos, ven, vamos a ver a Jeff Serra, vamos a ver a Val Torres. Ay, 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 0-27, 0-0-7 para Jeff Serra. Para donde la victoria, Jeff Serra avanzando a la siguiente ronda. Win like goes Jeff Serra, 007, take 10, to be one above 9, 26 total. Val Torres locked out, 27. Dead nine, no chance. Justin Hoff, Wendell, Idaho, 465 left side. Tristan Craig, Henderson, Nevada, 513. As we continue on and beyond, round number two. Vámonos, señores. Justin Hoff por el izquierdo, 465. Tristan Craig viene por el derecho. 513 es más lento el carril derecho. Va a corretear Justin Hoff al carril derecho. Seguimos, ahí están, había un papelito ahí dentro por el aire y se va a las fotoceldas, ahí cuidado, ese papel puede hacer daño, lo quieran o no, puede pisar fotocelda y puede que provoque un error de sistema. Por lo pronto Tristan Craig viene por el derecho, Justin Hoff viene por el izquierdo, 4, 6, 5, 5, 13 para el derecho. El viento sigue soplando muy fuerte aquí en Las Vegas, ¿eh? Muy, muy fuerte. Vamos a ver, se van a las luces los pilotos. Listo. Hay cuidado. Craig con calma, va muy despacio, no se mete al semáforo. Ya lo hace. Muy finito. Bien, el bailoteo de las luces. ¡Ay, ay, ay! Se va en rojo Justin Hoff. Así es que Tristan Craig avanzando a la siguiente ronda. Justin Hoff turns a 10 foul red. Tristan Craig, 29 dead, 332 total. Justin Hoff under after the red light start, 462. We are just about to be done, I think, with the beyond the round number two. Vámonos, señores, con GP Schuster por el carril so, izquierdo. Mark Campbell viene por el derecho. Larice Pro. You should be in the lanes, and uh, Super Pro Door Cars. You should be in the lanes as well. If you're doubled, you should be in the front. J.P. Schuster, 475 left side. Mark Campbell, 470 in the right side. But we are just about to finish up beyond round number two, and probably about to finish up our time in the penalty box. Vámonos, señores. J.P. Schuster, 475, 470 para Mark Campbell. Bien, en las luces, y vámonos, otro rojo. 0 2 de rojo, 39 para Mark Campbell, avanzando la siguiente ronda. 002 Rojo. Got it. See, I told you. Yeah, oh yeah. We're killing it. Yeah. Two red for JP Schuster. Goes under by 47. Thal Mark Campbell. 39. Dead three. Pick up the wind lines. We're taking a peek at the uh the racetrack, making sure that we are good. We just have a few more pairs left here at Biondo. Round number two. We are out taking a little uh out taking a peek. So to make sure that uh everything's A-OK, -okay, nothing on the track. Like I said, the wind has been absolutely fierce this afternoon. It's it's rattling the windows, it's moving things around, and so we're uh, thankful to the track crew for keeping their eye on the racetrack and putting safety at the forefront. So when you see something, we're checking it out. We're not taking any 
any chances we're taking a little extra precaution. So with this wind, it's, it's right now gusting about 40, and they're saying it could get upwards of 50 to 50 to 60. So we're hoping it uh, hoping it calms down soon. It's uh, not the funnest thing to battle, but uh, like I said, the track crew is making the absolute best of it that they can, and just taking some extra precautionary steps. But as you can see from the camera, the flag is is moving around quite a bit. The trees are they were bending here a while back. I thought, man, this is this is not good. Yeah, yeah, 40 mile hour winds. So it's been a little been a little tough. And you, you think it's I mean it's not that tough in here. Sure, the windows are rattling a little bit, but uh, imagine trying to dial a race car in, in, the, in these conditions. It's ever changing. One minute it's gusting, the next minute it's stopped, and you're supposed to go down there and figure out what to what to put on your vehicle. So it. Uh, so we're checking on the uh, maybe on the big end as well too. So while we do that, we're going to uh, we're going to be quiet for just a minute. You're probably thinking, "Oh, thank you," and uh, we'll play a little bit of music, or no, maybe we'll play some ads. We'll do something, fill some, fill a little time, and we'll come back and finish up the rest of Beyondo round number two dragsters here. Just a moment. Mazir Enterprises is very proud to be a part of the Fling series of events. As a dedicated family-owned business comprising of dedicated drag racers, Mazir works hard to provide racers with the very best quality components. Win, lose, or draw. We wish all of you a great Fling weekend of racing from Mazir Enterprises. Goodyear Tires is proud to introduce a series of tires designed specifically for sportsman racers. If you are looking for the round-by-round -round consistency needed to be a fling champion, choose the tires that NHRA World Champions like Justin Lamb and Peter Biondo choose. Choose Goodyear Tires. All right. Told you it wouldn't be long. We are back. Track's clear. We're ready to go. Rick Marcy, Farmington, New Mexico, 480 in the left side. Kaylee Hill, Lamore, Colorado, 475. The dial giving up 500s to Rick Marcy. Vámonos. Rick Marcy viene por el izquierdo, 480. Kaylee Hill viene por el derecho, 475. Si ustedes vieron que pararon un poquito la pista, volvemos a lo mismo. El viento está muy fuerte. La seguridad es primero. Entraron a revisar. Eh, ustedes saben que esto es un deporte de riesgo donde, pues, Las velocidades que manejan los vehículos es fuerte. Así es que vámonos, 004, 013. ¿Para dónde? ¿Quién quita? ¿Quién pisa el freno? Y vámonos, 480 y 480. Ricky Mercy. Rick Marcy laying down a run, 11 total on the left-hand side. 004, dead seven. It's Kaylee Hill was 13 up front, but goes four above on that 479. No good. Rick Marcy moving on to round number three. Tammy Peugeot out of Abbotsford, British Columbia, 470 the dial. Greg Hicks, yesterday's runner-up on his birthday. North Las Vegas, Nevada, 485 the dial. Vámonos, Tammy. Ah. No? He's the same for Spanish. Or... <laughs> okay, vámonos con Tammy por el carril izquierdo. Greg Hicks viene por el derecho. Se nos complicó a los dos el apellido. Pero por lo pronto, 470 para Tammy. 485 para Greg Hicks. Una disculpa, pero pues, ¿qué podemos hacer si no sabemos cómo se pronuncia el apellido? Pero por lo pronto le vamos a echar porras a Tammy. 470, 485, vámonos. 020 se queda dormido en la luz. Tammy, así es que para donde se tiene que ir la victoria es carril derecho. Greg Hicks avanzando. Yep, Greg Hicks, big advantage there. 20 up front. Tammy just flat missed it. Taller is to it. And uh, Greg turns into a win light. Six above, 491 on the 485. Tammy bounds out here in Beyondo, round number two. Trevor Jelinski, Peters, Minnesota, 468 left side. Shane Molinari, Battleground, Washington, 448 right side, giving up two tens to Trevor. Vámonos con Trevor Jelinski por el izquierdo, 468. Shane Molinari viene por el derecho, piloto experimentado, 448. Es de los que tiene colmillo largo y retorcido. Vamos a ver qué puede hacer Molinari. Trevor Jelinski para el izquierdo. Vienen las luces. ¡Ay, ay, ay! Se va en rojo. 0, 0, 3 de rojo. 0, 24 para Shane Molinari avanzando la siguiente ronda. Red light start for Trevor Jelinski. 
Shane Malinari, 24, one above three, 37 total getting the win light. Trevor knocks it dead on eight, but that's a 0 0 Trey Rojo into the uh, into the spell there for Jelinski. Shane Thompson, Henderson, Nevada, 467 left side. Travis Colangelo, Mr. American Race Cars right side out of Sandusky, Ohio, dialed a 448. Vámonos, Shane. Shane Thompson viene por el carril izquierdo. Mi amigo Shane Thompson, vámonos, 467. Travis Colangelo viene por el derecho, 448 su tiempo. Vamos a ver a Shane Thompson por el izquierdo. Lo hemos visto correr muchas veces. Vamos a ver qué dice Travis por el derecho. 467, 448. Se va primero Shane. ¡Ay, ay, ay! 001 de rojo para Shane Thompson. Así es que Travis avanzando a la siguiente ronda. There's rojos everywhere. 001 for Shane Thompson. Goes 464 in the 467. Travis Clangelo moving on. 13, dead one, 14 total. He was going to be tough to beat either way. But uh, Shane made it a little bit easier by turning on the red light. So our final car of Biondo round number two. Going to be a buy run for Gabriel Hernandez out of Hermosillo, Mexico. 471 the dial in. And this will wrap it up. We'll let Emmanuel wrap up. Biondo round number two. Thank you for coming up. And we'll let you take Gabriel down the racetrack. Vámonos, el divo de la cinco de miedo, Gabriel Hernández, el de Remosillo. Vamos a ver qué es lo que puede hacer el Gabi. Listo, fue la mejor luz de la ronda anterior. Así es que Gabriel se va solo. Vamos a ver, 471 para el divo. Vamos a ver qué dice Gabriel automáticamente a la siguiente ronda. 023 de luz. Vamos a ver si puede pegar el número. 472 y vámonos, con eso terminamos la ronda número 2. Así es que muchas gracias a la gente de aquí de el Springfield Million por la oportunidad, por darnos el espacio, por poder estar aquí anunciando las carreras. Thanks, we announce that for me it's an honor, it's a pleasure with you, and thanks, bro. Thank you so much. It has been an absolute joy. Uh, Gabriel's 23, one above, 841 total. But no, thank you so much for the energy you bring, the passion that you bring to the sport. And uh, just give us a little bit of different side. And also thank you for the uh, for my lesson in uh, my bilingual nature. Now. Oh, yeah. No, it's, it's the same, <laughs> no? I, I learn, and you learn in Spanish, no? But it's, it's fine. Thank you, uh, Peter. Thanks. It's, 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 it's honor for me. It's been great. Okay. Oh boy. All right, drivers, please turn up your radio or get near a PA speaker. We have a big announcement to make. So I would like to get everybody's attention. Oh, it is the. So, everybody, please, I need your attention. Is that? <laughs> All right, guys, I hope I got everybody's attention. So we have two days of racing left. After a lot of consideration, we'll be able to race on both of those days, no problem. But Saturday is going to be the nicer day. And we're going to flip flop the 30K and the million. So. Tomorrow will be the 30K, and then Saturday will be the million. You'll see plenty of uh, text come out with the schedules, but basically we're just going to flip-flop the 30K and the million. Tomorrow's going to be cooler. It's going to be stronger winds. Fortunately, the winds are going to be same as today, blowing down track, so that's ideal. If, if, if there is an ideal wind, that's it. Uh, but Saturday looks even better and warmer and much less windy. So if you have any questions, come see us. But we're going to flip. Tomorrow will be the thir FTI 30K. Saturday will be the Silver State Million. Now you guys say it in your language, pal, so you guys get it. Entonces, señores, para la gente que habla español, <laughs> nos deja aquí un problemita. Entonces se va a juntar lo del millón con el de los 30, OK? Yes. Se juntan, OK. Yes. 30 is first. OK. No, no, second. 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 Is yeah. million first? Million first. OK. Primero va a ser el elemento del millón. Y después se va a hacer el de los 30 para continuar. Es todo esto es por lo del de clima que tenemos. Eh, checando el weather, o sea, el clima está mejor para el día de mañana. Entonces, señores, pues ese es el anuncio. Y ahorita igual se los hago llegar a, a todo el Team México, a los que están vivos en el evento. No recuerdo cuáles son. Pero bueno, con eso creo que pues te dejo la voz para que continúes. Continue to the, 
to the to the next and I don't know what happened with the team Mexico. All right, so there you have it. That's uh, that was an important announcement in English and Spanish. So it's perfect. So uh, yeah, so we're gonna flip flop. So tomorrow will be another 30k, the FTI 30k tomorrow, and then the Silver State Million will now be on Saturday. So give you all a little bit more time to think about it and see what you want to do and what you don't want to do. And so there you go. So that's a wrap on uh, Beyond the Round Two. We're doing a little bit more uh, track cleanup. Nate is stepping back of the room. He's like, man, he's he's chomping. He's chomping to jump in here. So we're going to uh, run some ads, and then we will be back with round number three of our Larice Motorsport Insurance Thursday 30K. Larice Motorsports Insurance offers drag racers the broadest insurance policies in the industry. Larice Motorsports Insurance was created by racers for racers. Larice insures race cars on and off the track, trailers and equipment. Larice even pays racers contingencies at the fling bracket races. Don't wait until it's too late. Call Larice Motorsports Insurance today. For more than a decade, FTI has strived to become the leader in the aftermarket, performance, transmission, and converter industry. We've joined forces with McLeod Driveline Components under the leadership of top fuel funny car pilot Paul Lee and... One of the premier chassis builders in sportsman racing, Travis Colangelo and the American team focus on precision and driver safety. And remember, exceptional customer service comes with every car sold. Round wins, race wins, and championships start here. Join the American family today. For more information, visit AmericanRaceCars.net or see us at the track. A proud sponsor of the Fling events, Autometer is the brand the champions depend on to keep them running at their best. Check out the complete line of gauges, dashes, and data acquisition solutions at autometer.com. Power. Precision. Passion. Autometer. Fuel Factory is a race fuel manufacturer owned and operated by the Tedesco family and Mark Wessler. All fuels in their line are a proprietary blend made to tight specifications, and all batches are third-party, independent lab certified prior to packaging. Tested and verified by leading engine builders, Fuel Factory promises the product consistency needed to help you get to the winner's circle. More and more bracket racers are relying on Mickey Thompson tires to help them to the winner's circle. From the big bubba to the little bubba, Mickey Thompson has a tire to fit every application. Alltronics Inc. wishes all their customers good luck at this week's fling event. With over 25 years of experience, Alltronics continues to develop innovative products for the racing industry. From weather stations to data recorders to lightweight lithium batteries, Alltronics has the right product to help you get to that final round. Visit AltronicsInc.com and let us help you get on the fast track to the winner's circle. FuelTech USA is an international company specialized in developing and manufacturing state-of-the-art performance engine management systems. The company's elite staff is always keeping a grip on the forefront of technology available while guaranteeing top-notch quality and customer support. For over 30 years, Regals is quickly becoming the industry standard in quality fiberglass and carbon fiber dragster bodies and components. More than 100 leading chassis shops rely on Regals for high quality lightweight components. Stop by the Regal display on the Midway and get a 10% fling discount on all orders placed this week. Kid Performance and Dyno have been serving the Northwest since 1974. Specializing in personalized machine work and engine building, family owned and operated, Kid Performance prides itself with one-on-one -on -one customer service and promises to give you a great value for your money. 
ATI is family owned, has a staff of 70 people who work out of 100,000 square feet with 32 CNC machines. And we do it all in Baltimore, Maryland. Whatever you need, ATI can help. Check out ATIRacing.com or give us a call at 800 ATI 3433. Performance is our passion, and we can make our passion your performance. When it is time to purchase a weather station, turn to the industry leader, Computech Systems. Computech has been providing racers with the best in weather monitoring and ET prediction for over 30 years. Just ask any of our customers, including past world champions David Rampey, Justin Lamb, Luke Bagaki, and Jimmy DeFrank. From their handheld weather station, the Race Air Pro, to the new Race Air Cloud Trailer mounted system with wind, paging, and texting, Computech has what you're looking for. For more information, check out Computech.com and let Computech put you on the fast track to the winner's circle. Call 301 884 5712 to order risk free with a 30 day money back guarantee. Jegs has been a part of Peter and Kyle's fling events from the start because they know what racers are looking for in a big buck bracket race. Get the performance you're looking for at a price you won't believe from Jegs High Performance. Free shipping makes it easy. Dial 1-800-345-4545 or click on jegs.com. Premier Moving is a highly reputable moving company based in Northern Virginia. Owner-operator Raider Campbell has been providing white glove moving services for over 20 years and is now a proud sponsor of the Fling Fun Zone at select Fling events. Let Premier Moving take the stress out of your next big move. Are you tired of missing your dial-in? Do you want to tighten up your race day packages? Crew Chief Pro can help. The leader in drag racing software, Crew Chief Pro offers the latest in ET prediction software to help you get dialed in. Visit CrewChiefPro.com or see us at the races. Help keep your race car in place when traveling by using Page Pro Products wheel chocks. Visit pageproproducts.com for dragster, junior dragster, or golf cart wheel chocks. Rob's Automotive and Collision is a proud sponsor of the Fling Events. For all your automotive and collision repairs, heavy-duty truck, trailer repair, motorhomes, roadside assistance, and all your mechanical and collision needs, Rob's Automotive and Collision, more than just towing. Are you looking for a new chassis? Or maybe someone who understands what you need for your current race car? Check out Race Tech Race Cars and Components. Race Tech Race Cars. For winners only. Trailer Ranch has joined the flings as part of our Racer Appreciation Giveaway Program. Owned and operated by racer Marty Williams in South Carolina, Trailer Ranch offers both new and used race car trailers, stacker trailers, or any kind of utility trailer you need. Visit TrailerRanchSC.com. At Impact Race Products, we're a company that takes your safety to heart. From the hub of the motorsports industry in Indy, to the Chili Bowl, to the Fling Events, we are the faces you see representing safety in all forms of motorsports with our innovative products made right here in the USA. We are also a proud supporter of our men and women in the armed forces. Visit ximpactusa.com.
All right, here we are. Round number three, Larice Motorsport Insurance Pro. Charlie Lockhart, Mayfield, Kentucky. The birthday girl standing alongside Shay's birthday today. 593 the dial for Charlie. Bill Perry, Las Vegas, Nevada. 765 the dial, right side of the Firebird. Here comes Charlie. Win, light, goes Lockhart. 008, take 33 to be four above two, 50 total. Bill Perry, 30 up front, goes five above, no good. Lockhart gonna return for round number next. Carissa Winley, Caldwell, Idaho, 589 left side. Last pro car standing yesterday. Mark Fall, Tacoma, Washington, 716 right side. Ten thousand separate him. Carissa's in a little bit of trouble and breaks it out. Had no chance. Gets her first by seven thousand, under by thirteen thousand. Mathematically ineligible. Mark Fall, 43. Dead four for the win line. Michael Clement, Meridian, Idaho, 653 left side. Scott Heyer, Morrison, Colorado, 643 in the right side. Red light start for Michael Clement. Scott Heyer, trip, zip, perfect. Goes 10 thou under. Michael, 19 red, one above three. Howard DeVore, Flagstaff, Arizona, 675 left side. Brian Cerruti, Niles, Ohio, 640. And Cerruti going to get the win line. As Howard turns it red by 18,000. Cerruti, 29. And goes 639 on the 640. Cerruti getting locked in. Richard Mason, Winnebago, Illinois, 606 left side. Jesse DiBartolo, Battleground, Washington, 744 in the right side. Hey George, I, I had to trade him for Nate. I had to get Nate back, so I had to, I had to make a trade. Jesse DiBartolo, 52 red, Richard Mason, your winner. 17, goes two above, 608 on the 606. Kaisley Price, Las Vegas, Nevada, 657 left side. Gary Gandy Jr., Tacoma, Washington, 901 to the dial. Thirty-seven to a sixty-two. Here comes Kaisley. Win light goes to Gary Gandy Jr. Thirty-seven, one above seven for the win light. Kaisley, sixty-two up front goes three above. No good. Hey, shout out to the uh, the Hamlin gang over in Texas. They're uh, tuning in. So shout out to Paige and Scooter and Daryl, the whole gang. Y'all ought to be here. They're paying money out here. 
it's just a little, just just kind of across the across the river and country and everything else. You you've been fine. Jay Griner, 702 left side. Andy Schmall, Idaho Falls, Idaho, 598. Fourteen foul separate him. Here comes Andy Small. Finish line. Light it up for Small. 27 dead zero for the win line. J41 and 14 foul under. No good. I am. I'll pass y'all. No, you're good. So uh I had to, uh, like I said, I had to make a trade, but I'm glad. It's uh, we got Nate back. Nate's been doing all kinds of uh, behind the scenes work today, and it's kind of front of the scenes work. He's been doing a whole lot of things other than necessarily hold the microphone, but he's been working and running all over this place. So he's like, hey, I'm gonna jump in here and and do some announcing, and we're always glad to have him do that too. So Curtis ends the lead up. Braden, hello. Braden gets the win line, 13, one above six. I'm gonna step out for a little bit and let Nate Hershey take you through round number three. Well, thank you, Steve. Yeah, go take yourself a little break, man, because, ooh, I got to turn this down. It's a little hot. That should be better. Should be, should be. Let me see. Yep, that'll be perfect. So, yeah, we are in Larice Pro round number three, the cha-ching round. Light up the scoreboard, and you get to make your way to the pay window at some point before the end of the day. 725 the dial for Henry Robertson. It's going to be a 623 dial for Freddie Jackson. Howdy, Gabe. Red light start for Jackson by 87 thousandths of a second. Jackson ends his day, and Robertson has problems. Henry is pulling over at the finish line. Got out there to about half track and started seeing a little stream, a little trail of smoke. Hopefully there was no fluid involved with that but we did see some stuff coming out of Robertson's car so they're going to go take a close look at that the fire and safety team from LVMS already rolling down that right lane and we'll take a close look at that and yeah man as, as Steve said we've been doing a lot of kind of in the tower out of the tower I actually spent a little bit of time during that uh, last Super Pro Dragster session down there at the head of staging. I was able to kind of help out where we need to, and it's definitely, shall we say, windy. I think the decision that was made earlier, definitely the right one in order to swap the 30K from Saturday to Friday and swap the million from Friday to Saturday. Hey, listen up. Any Super Pro Dragsters that are double entered, any Super Pro Dragsters that are double entered. Coming in here to round number three, we'd like to get you into the staging lanes, please. So any super pro dragster that is double entered, we'd like to get you into the staging lane lanes now. Dave Mazier had the best losing package of Beyondo round number two, 16 total. He's going to get $500. And that small fling check to go along with it. And, uh, it was definitely fun standing back there listening to Steve and Emmanuel do their thing up here. I kind of like sitting up here a little bit better. It's it's great no matter where you're at because as long as you get to be part of the part of the flings, it's always good. I know that uh, I believe we may still have some raffles that they're trying to finish up, so we want to make sure that we get those done. Uh, Gabe, I'm not going to get pulled into this one. And the reason I'm not going to get pulled into this one is Steve was telling me a little bit, and I started reading back through some of the comments that are out there. I will say this. Last night when the discussion was underway about Greg Hicks, whether he was an East Coast or a West Coast racer, uh, I did go down and talk to him on the return road, and I'm not going to tell you what he said, but Donnie, I don't think you'd like what he said. That should be enough of a hint. Otherwise, I'm, I've, I've popped some popcorn, and uh, I'm going to watch some racing, and I'm going to sit back and watch all of you guys do your thing in the chat bleachers going back and forth about this whole deal because it's entertaining, super entertaining. 
And you're like, hmm. Matter of fact, it's one of those things where I almost want to try to find somebody to write a score of music and just play that while we were watching this happen.
Hi, it's Emily Biondo. I'm here with Optima Gym at the Optima uh, booth here at the PRI show. And we are discussing batteries. What are we gonna discuss about the batteries? We are gonna discuss which battery uh, these drag racers should be choosing. Uh, you know, as a drag racer myself, uh, for years and years and years, I always had the red tops in my in my dragsters. Um, you know, it seems to be now the yellow tops are more of what drag racers should be using. So tell us about that. Well, cars have gotten a lot more complicated from an electrical standpoint. People are, I mean, just from a data logging standpoint, people are doing stuff now they never even thought of doing 20, 25 years ago. But these batteries have been around for a very long time. These are the batteries that first came out when Optima started as a brand and people were familiar with them. Mm -hmm. They offer a little more cranking amps, a little less reserve capacity. And a lot of folks use the red tops because that's what they've always used and they've worked really well. But the reality is the yellow tops do much better in deep cycle applications, which would include a lot of drag racing applications where people either have underdrive pulleys, underpowered alternators, or no charging system at all and they charge their batteries in between rounds. These batteries will cycle many more times than the red tops will. Yep, and now, you know, with the racing being such high car counts and quick hot lapping in between, you know, rounds, double entries and everything, um, the yellow top seems to be the way to go. It does, and I'll also point out we have these side terminals and the top terminals. These are for starting only, and if you end up putting batteries in your trailer to use for your winch, mm -hmm. don't winch from side terminals because, and it happens especially with uh, vehicles that get bounced around a lot, the point of contact on these side terminals can get a little loose and then all the current flows through one spot. It superheats the terminal and melts it out. So if you're going to winch or do any other deep cycle like house batteries or deep cycle applications, connect to the top terminals. That's the most direct connection to the battery. Yep. Okay. And the yellow tops can be used for trailers as well? Yellow tops can be used for trailers and they make great house batteries and, and, and winching batteries. Great. The red tops are, are great for starting batteries and vehicles that are relatively stock but I see it a lot at drag strips. I see guys with dual red tops in their trunks. I just wish they had yellow tops in there instead. Yep, and, and would they need two yellow tops to replace two red tops? Yeah, yeah, in terms of cranking power, yes they would. And the, the one other thing I would mention is proper voltage maintenance. will go a long, long way to maximizing performance and lifespan of a battery. Fully charged, the yellow tops will measure about 13 to 13.2 volts. So even though it's a 12 volt battery, people say, yeah, it's, it's charged, it's you know, 12, 12.1 volts, it's actually overcharged. It's almost completely discharged at 12.1 volts. So 13 to 13.2 volts is where you wanna be at wow. with the yellow tops, 12.6 to 12.8 with the red tops. All right, very good. There's some knowledge from uh, the PRI show with Optima Gym. Well, this way, you know, the it's the old story. You do well, you win a couple of races, and then right away, everybody's against you, everybody's your enemy. You know, it's not fair, but that's the way it is. Watch carefully. These stock eliminator finals are always so close. And how about this? Sal Biondo takes the win. It's the 100th final for the Biondo family, and it's a winning one for Sal. Sal Biondo, Peter Biondo, Many, many, many national event wins. Of course, brother Peter has won any number of sportsman championships. For the third time in the last 12 years, here at Maple Grove, Peter Biondo, Sal Biondo, both win their respective eliminators at the same national event. Biondo Racing Products, a family-owned and operated business. Now in the 35th year of racers, providing racers with over 50 years of racing experience and expertise. Please check us out at BiondoRacing.com. Law Chevrolet in Boonville, Indiana is a family-owned sales and service center proudly serving the tri-state area for over 10 years. Racing has always been in their blood, and over the past few years, they've been blessed with the opportunity to serve hundreds of racers from across the country. All of the crew at Law Chevrolet would like to thank each and every racer for the opportunity to do business. Remember, if you buy a vehicle anywhere else, it's not just the tires you'll be kicking. Hello racers, we're here at the PRI show at the Mazir Enterprises booth and this is going to be a product feature presented by Mazir Enterprises. I'm here with Don Mazir, part of the Mazir Racing family. First of all, Don, how long has, 
how long has this company been going? You know, it's a little hard to measure. Uh, Dad started the company to keep the three brothers out of trouble, you know, and, and uh, that was back in 1980. Um, really started rolling about 86, 88, somewhere in there. Of course, I was still in high school. My brothers were working hard to try to build things up. Um, and it's just been a, a great journey, you know. It just grows a little bit every year, and by golly, we look back 35 years ago now, and, and it's pretty amazing. It's been fun. And let's let's look at, I'm gonna show you some of the reasons why, as a racer, I think it's growing. And they're always on a cutting edge. Um, the product feature Don's gonna talk about right here is a product I actually run on my dragster. Um, it's a transmission, what would you call it? I'd call it a heat exchanging transmission pan. Okay, tell us about it. So it holds the transmission fluid, just like a lot of, you know, every transmission that's ever been built. It's gotta hold the fluid in the pan. But the problem specific to bracket racers um, is that we get hot lapped and the transmission gets hot. It gets heat soaked and there's not a really good weapon to take that heat back out of the transmission and the fluid. So what we developed is a way to get that heat out of the transmission. And we do that. All right, so our safety team has completed the cleanup that was necessary behind Henry Robertson's car, and unfortunately, that, uh, man, well, well, we just hope, we just hope that it's nothing too serious and Henry's able to get that thing fixed and be ready to roll. So we have got uh, Bug McCarty and Jeff Peterson. I saw in the uh, chat here, Bug is going to be celebrating a birthday from what we saw here while he's racing. I believe it's tomorrow, they said. So that'll be good. Jeff Peterson's gonna get the win line over Buck McCarty. McCarty goes red by 20 thousandths of a second. McCarty rolled up, dialed in with a 6.09, is 20 thou red. Peterson is 30 green and goes 6.97. On a 6.98, get the win and advance into round number four of the Larice Pro category. Hey, dragsters. Again, we've called all of our super pro dragsters that were entered twice, wanted to get them up into the staging lanes to get them an opportunity to get out early and make their way back. The rest of you are on standby. The message will be going out very soon. So dragsters, you're on standby as Cliff Hall and Chad Sandlin. See, very soon. Sandlin in the truck, dialed in at 642. Cliff Hall in the Maverick, dialed in at 615. Final pair of pro cars down the racetrack, and Chad Sandlin drops the nose of the truck, goes 643 on a 642 after the 015 reaction time, taking 23 foul at the stripe. Cliff Hall, 30 green, and then goes 617 on the 615. So our final car is going to be Craig Merrilies. Merrilies, the Camaro out of Windsor, California, 651 is the dial. Last of the pro cars here in ATI Performance Products, round number three. All super pro dragsters, all super pro dragsters. Let's get you headed into the staging lanes, never mind odd or even. We want you all. Super Pro Dragsters come on down. Merrily 6500 on a 651 after the 046 reaction time. Yes, it is. The wind is a whipping. We got Super Pro Door Cars round number three. ATI Performance Products. Best losing package in this round will get $500. Thanks to the folks at ATI Performance Products. Again, our second round, best losing package was Dave Mazier. Got the best losing package of round number two. Wins that $500 thanks to the folks at Beyondo Racing Products. Chad Broom had the best losing package of round number one to get the $500 
for that one from the folks at Pinella Race Engines. So super pro door cars. Out of the water box up to the starting line, Tim Wirtz and Jamie Schmall gonna be up first. Jamie dialed in at a 621, Tim dialed in at a 524. And a 29 thou advantage in reaction time went to Jamie Small. She was 004 on the tree, but a double breakout ensues at the finish line. And Tim Wirtz will come out on top. 523-5 on a 524. Wirtz is under 5,000, getting there second by 33,000. Jamie Small goes 620 on a 621 to be under by 9,000 of a second. And Jamie Small breaks out by more. Tim Wirtz will light up the scoreboard and go cha-ching. As again, we start payouts in third round, and a third round win gets you a check. Now it's up to you to decide how big the check is going to get. Jeff Birdie, Zach Vulture. Jeff, the original million dollar winner here at the Strip. The Las Vegas Motor Speedway back in 2016 is dialed in at 598. Across the way, Jack Fulcher. Nicole Balboa of Farmington, Kentucky, dialed in at 582. Head start goes to Mr. 2 mil one year. And a 5,000 difference between them in reaction time. Finish line says it's going to be Zach Fulcher. Fulcher was 12 at this end of the racetrack. Jeff Verdi was 17 as he left the starting line. Fulcher's going to get there first by one thousandth of a second, breaking out by 17 thou. Verdi's going to get there second, breaking out by 21 thou. And the win light goes to Fulcher as Kerry Wooweet and Sid Summers. Sid is red by 15 thousandths of a second. The 580 dial matters not at this point in time. Wooweet. Ooh, a 46 dead zero. So yeah, 46 is not, mm, but dead zero. Get you that dead on dialer drawing for the weather station from the folks at Altronics. So Willowy, 528 on a 528. Wind light and dead zero. Sid Summers was 15 red, goes 578. On a 580. And then I'll bring up Nick Pressamone and Scott Hess. Hess in the Nova on the right side, the 66 Nova. Nick Pressamone, I think that's a 74, I think, 73. Nova over the left side, 580 to a 580. Dialed identical, didn't leave identical. Nick Pressamone gets the wind light, 17 green, and then 586 on a 580 to be six above gets the wind light. Scott Hess was 585 on a 580 after the 024 reaction time. And that'll bring up Rick Huffman and Lane Weber. Weber, 706 dial. Huffman, 601 dial. Rick Huffman, 004 red. Lane Weber, 25 green. And then goes 704 on a 706. So Huffman 600 on a 601 under by just a thou, but he was four thou early at this end of the racetrack as Lane Weber takes the 25 line. Goes 704 three to get into the next round is George Lewis and Ken Sweo. Sweo left side. Fresh off that 20 grand win down in Tucson a few weeks ago. Dialed in at 6.02 and George Lewis, the Chevelle. Dialed in at 5.93, red light start for Sleo. Sleo, 6.26 after the 007 red light. George Lewis, 5.92 and a 5.93. So Randy, that's the next gen, that 75 gen. And on. Because I know like the 71, 72 Nova still looked pretty good. I didn't know if it covered the 73. I thought in 74 is when they switched over to kind of that, uh, shall we say, less swoopy look. 
John Schaefer and Mike Rock. Schaefer the Chevelle out of Boise, 525 is the dial. Rock, the Camaro out of Nampa, Idaho. Dialed in at 616, goes 617 on a 616. It was 007 in reaction time and one above. John Schaefer, 48 green, runs 524 on a 527, no good. Mike Rock getting there first by 24 thousandths of a second is Dean Turner and Rod Taylor. Turner coming in out of Avon, Indiana. The 84 topless Fiero. And Rod Taylor in that blacked out, smoked out window, 1967 Nova out of Kalispell, Montana. Dean is 008, chasing down a 527, goes 532 for the win as Rod Taylor had the 002 red light, then goes 538 on a 539 to be six thou under. But the 002 red light ended it for Rod. Didn't really matter as Kenny Snow and Peeps Pennington. Peeps dialed 520. Kenny's dialed 641. So the Mustang out of California going up against, uh, let's just call it. I mean, that's a former million winner, car driver, whole deal, and it's gorgeous. Nothing between them in reaction time. They were both 29 on the tree, and the wind light will belong to Peeps. Gets their second to be seven thou under. Kenny Snow gets their first to be ten thou under. Double breakout win light going to Pennington. After the identical reaction times at 029. We'll bring up Damon Bustamani and Mike Miller. Miller out of New Mexico dialed in at 590, a little roadster on the right side of the racetrack. Bustamani. That 57 topless Corvette dialed in at 644. Pre-stage bulbs are lit between Bustamani and Miller. Once again, all dragsters, all dragsters. You have been called back into the staging lanes, please. Red light start for Damon. Turns it loose 20 thousandths of a second too soon. Miller's 39 green and goes 587 on a 590. to move into round number four. He's coming back from the burnouts, that split-windowed vet of Ricky Dushel out of Palmdale, California. 564, the dial for Ricky and for Dennis Lipko. Out of Mansfield, Texas. And that black on orange Corvette dialed in at 506. Let's go 006 and 507 on a 506 to get the win. Ricky Dusha was 18 green and three above with that 567 on a 564. Win light along to Dennis. He'll bring the Corvette back in round number four as Hank Pramov blue hayball. Blue left side in the S10 pickup truck dialed in at 607. Pramov right side in the 72 Vega of a high country Colorado, dialed in at 575. Again, continuing to roll through our Super Pro. Door car round number three. Again, our friends at ATI Performance Products here on a Mosier Engineering Spring Fling Million presented by Optima Batteries. 
It is a 30K Thursday. Thanks to Larise Motorsports Insurance. And Blue A ball is going to turn it red by 20 thousandths of a second. It'll go 605. Hank Bram on 14 green and goes 576. On a 575. To get the W here in round number three. Kenny Pastor Camp, Little Colorado home base for the 90. Body Dolesmobile and Joe Levitt. Out of Carmichael, California, that Primer Black Nova 625. Dialing over to the left side. Nine thousandths of a second, the difference in reaction time. Advantage to Joe Levitt, win light to Joe Levitt. Levitt was 11 green, he goes 627 on the 625. To move on to the next round as Kenny Pastor Camp had the 20 light, gets there first by 24 thousandths of a second and breaks out by five thousandths of a second. And you can see Joe Levitt just absolutely turn him loose down at the finish line as Mike Lowe and Rick Northup are going to be our next two Northup. Coming in out of Martin, Tennessee, down there in the Gleason area. With that 68 Camaro dialed in at 674. And Mike Lowe out of Hurricane, Utah, on the 67 Mustang. Just waiting on one more double up to make their way back into the staging lanes. Dustin Wirtz, Dustin Wirtz, need you back into the staging lanes, please. Dustin Wirtz, need you back into the staging lanes, please. As Mike Lowe was 008 on the tree, Rick was 22 green. Rick's going to get the wind light as Darren Taylor and Chuck Griffith. Griffith, the Kentucky based S10 dialed 635, leaving with the wheels up, going up against Darren Taylor and he's 69. Pontiac Taylor. Gets to the finish line with a 5.56 on a 5.54 after the 0.25 reaction time to light up that right lane scoreboard. Chuck Griffiths, 36 green. Takes 26 thou at the stripe to be 6.33 on a 6.35, breaking it out by 15 thousandths of a second. So Taylor grabbing some break down at the finish line. Gets a win as Jesse Long and Shannon Walker. Walker out of Dallas. Camaro on the right side. Jesse Long out of Georgia. Pickup truck over to the left. Red light start for Jesse Long. Long was double O2 early. Shannon Walker was trip zip perfect and gets the win light, so that is a triple zero hero run. Shannon with the perfect reaction time, wins it with a 5.32 on a 5.34. Jesse Long, after being too foul too quick, runs 6.66 on a 6.68. But the win light was already on for Shannon as the Dallas Base Camaro rolls into round number four. Garrett Griffith, Jeff Higgins. Higgins out of Idaho, Griffith out of Kentucky. 636 to a 586. Advantage at this end of the racetrack was to Garrett Griffith with a 14 light. He runs 639 on a 636, but Jeff Higgins out of Idaho. 23 green and then two above gets him a win by three thousandths of a second. So the Roadster will continue to move on as Bob Cerruti and Joe Schmall. Joe and Jamie doing the driver swap in a 2001 Cavalier. So with that 620 dial for Joe, 642 dial for Bob. We're staged and set. 14,000 the difference in reaction time. 
Saruti, 001 and dead on two to be three total. 001, take two thou at the stripe, is three total. That's not nice. Joe Schmall was 15 green, runs one under 619 on a 620, but a three pack. Gets the job done for Saruti. We're getting down into our final few cars on the door car side. Final pair, then a solo is Dustin Wirtz and Ryan Armour. Armour left side with the get em crew out of Kentucky. 583 is the dial. Dustin Wirtz. In the Camaro that now I'm sure there have been plenty of race cars that have been left out overnight. Ended up with a little bit of snow on them. That type of stuff. But I think what makes the picture of Dustin's car so unique that was going around last year was the fact that there's not a ton of race cars that get left out in Tucson, Arizona that end up covered in snow. Just saying. That's one thing. You know, you live out in a part of the country where it snows all the time. But to be in Tucson, Arizona, have about six inches of snow, that's, that's what makes it. 530 was the dial for Dustin. 583 was the dial for Armour. Wind light to Dustin Wirtz. 10 dead three for Dustin Wirtz to be 13 total. After... Ryan Armour was 004 and 24 thou above to be 28 total. So Dustin Wirtz punches his ticket into round number four as Kyle Fritz going to be our final car here in the Super Pro door car range. He's got a 681 dial up there for the Firebird out of Arizona. Getting to go all by himself. And then we are going to have dragsters and more dragsters and more dragsters. It'll be dragster on dragster violence. Kyle's 12 green. And we'll end up with a 682 on a 681. That is going to do it for Super Pro Door Cars for ATI Performance Products round number three. Again, as Steve had mentioned a little bit earlier, this is Las Vegas. And if you've ever raced here before, if you live here, you know what springtime is like in Vegas. The winds can get to whipping, and that's exactly what they're doing today. So we want to make sure that we get all the dust and debris off the racetrack that the winds have blown in. So we're going to send the tractors out there before our Super Pro Dragsters make their way down the track. And again, we are here on a Larice Motorsports Insurance $30,000 to win Thursday. And we should have uh, all of our dragsters for round number three back in the staging lanes. And congratulations, Jay Greiner. You have been selected to receive a brand new impact helmet from the folks here at the Flings. Again, we're looking at uh, those that could benefit most from a brand new helmet. And Jay Greiner, they identified that you could benefit most from a brand new helmet. Thank you very much to the folks at Impact. As part of our treasure chest and all the goodies that are going out. So again, we've got Impact Helmets, Let's see here the folks at Mazir Enterprises have got starters and water pumps. We've got the ATI Performance Convertibles, or excuse me, Converters. I'm looking at different things and thinking convertible versus converter. It's the middle of the day. It's windy. It takes a lot out of you when you're standing out there and the wind's blowing all in your face. But it happens. It happens. Well, since folks are kind of asking about best appearing, uh, we were kind of waiting a little while as we've actually awarded our best appearing car, and you guys are right. I want to say thank you to everybody that uh, chimed in in the chat bleachers, gave us their suggestions, and especially with that mobile starting line cam, we were able to get a really close look at all of those race cars, and there are a lot of beautiful ones out there. I mean, like Sean Schaefer's car is gorgeous. Dilly Moody's car is gorgeous. There are so many that are out there 
that are just beautiful. Like Damon Bustamani's car is pretty. The selection was made, kind of looking at both inside, outside, attention to detail, and our best appearing car, again, the performance polish, best appearing car, who got the trophy and a $500 check this year at the million was DJ Humard's black 66 Nova wagon. They uh, went out there, we put together a little piece on it, got uh, up close and personal with everything that's in that car. And I think when you see it, you'll understand why that decision was made. Not saying that anybody else was not deserving of that, but everybody was definitely, you know, in the running, could have won it, but the decision was made that DJ Humard's 66 Nova was chosen as the performance polish best appearing car. So congratulations, DJ. Again, when you see the inside of that thing, when they put that piece together, make sure that you have subscribed to the YouTube channel because that's the kind of stuff that is going to be going out on the YouTube channel. They're going to put together that type of behind the scenes material. They're going to have all of those things that you can go in there and if you are subscribed, you'll get notified when new content is posted. You're definitely going to want to make sure that you've subscribed. Where are we at now with subscribers? 3,500 folks have subscribed, and we're at 1,200 likes. We've got 2,400 people watching. we got 1,200 likes. I think we need to bump the likes up a little bit. By the end of the day yesterday, I think we were at 1,500 likes. Again, remember, every day is a new stream. you got to re-like it. Eric Reyes and T-Dub, Troy Williams, Jr. Win light's going to belong to Reyes from right here in Nevada. Reyes, double 05 on the tree, gets there first on a double breakout by 14 thousandths of a second to break out by 7 thousandths. Troy Williams was 19 green. and breaks out by seven thousandths of a second. Eric Will, or uh, Eric Reyes getting the wind light over T-Dub, moving into round number four is Chase Learcamp, Grady Johnson. Grady with a 479 dial. Learcamp with a 461 dial. Learcamp out of the left lane. Grady racing out of the right lane. As we've got him pre-staged, Grady now getting into the stage position. We'll turn him loose. Parker, I agree with you. We got to do that. We got to do that because there were some good ones. 461 on a 461. Lear Camp 33 and dead two to get the win line at the top end. Grady Johnson was 12 green. Gets there first by 30 thousandths of a second to break out by 7 thousandths of a second. I really wish the Theobald family could have made it here with us, but I understand. I believe you guys are probably all down in Phoenix, right? we got a lot of folks that are in Phoenix or headed to Phoenix because of the uh, national event that's going to be taking place down there. So I assume you guys are kind of jumping along with them. Just that's my thought. Ty Farmer, Jeff Sarah. Check out this matchup. Farmer left side, dialed 493. The racer out of Texas going up against Sarah. Out of Pennsylvania, Sarah, who's pretty much kind of been a fly-in type deal here at the Flings, driving one of Shane Thompson's cars, did the same thing a couple of weeks ago down in Tucson. Had a tough round yesterday. When he got steamrolled by Alexis Thompson, this time he's going to get through this one by way of the red light of Ty Farmer. Farmer turns it red 19 thousandths and goes dead on zero. So Farmer huh. well hello Parker. We're waving back. Farmer was red. Jeff Sarah gets the wind light and advances into round number four as he just kind of cruises on down there as Dean Bush and Philip Pennington Philip 472, dial in on the right side. Dean Bush 485, dial in on the left side. Again, a little local Las Vegas racer 
whose car is kind of leading the points right now in the Super Pro Chase here at the Strip at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. I do appreciate that start line camera being right there, right next to the cars. It's just a beautiful thing. Beautiful thing. Dean's in trouble. Phillip, 31 on the tree, 472 on a 472. He's 32 dead, one to be 33 total. Dean Bush, 61 green. And just wasn't going to get there. Wasn't going to get there at all. Gets locked out. So the 33 package to the 61 reaction time, new chance. For Dean Bush is Val Torres Jr. and Kyle Cotrera. Kyle on right side, 46 dial. Talking about coming from like way, way far away. I think we started doing a little reach. I really think Kyle again is like the longest drive here. I don't know if there's anybody that's come farther. Even the ones that are like way up in Prince George, British Columbia, that was like 26 hours to get here. It's still not quite. Not quite what they had. Five thou separate Val and Kyle. Finish line says Val Torres is moving on to round number four. 15 green and two above for Val Torres. Gets their first 27 thousandths of a second. Kyle Cotrera, 10 green. And ends up 400 above the dial with a 492. On what was a 488, Donovan Williams dialed in at 485. Gabe Torres dialed in at 468. So we go from Val to Gabe on the left side. And we go from a trip way up in the northeast with Kyle to a trip way down in the southeast with Donovan. Well, that takes the fun out of it, Jake. If he flew here, that takes the fun out of it. I'm sure a lot of people are going, no, no, it doesn't take the fun out of it at all. Donovan's 13 red at Gabe Torres, 20 green. Torres, your winner, 467 on a 468. Donovan ends up 480 on a 485. He was holding a bunch, but... Didn't need it as he was 13 red, handing the wind light over to Gabe Torres. With Brian Bennett and Jeremy Cisneros. Which I would certainly agree with. It would be a whole lot more fun to just fly in and drive the race car than it would be to drive two days to get here. So I certainly support that theory. 455 to a 453. Brian Bennett dialed 453 out of Texas. Jeremy Cisnero dialed 455. Out of Albuquerque. Oh. I am not sure what happened to Brian Bennett, but he is going to be not happy. That much I am sure. Bennett's reaction time started with a two. But Jeremy Cisneros was 61. Jeremy wasn't great, great. But it definitely wasn't a reaction time that started with a two, and Jeremy's going to get a win light, 4.58 on a 4.55. Down to that big end of the track is Kevin Johnson and Carson Campbell. What will be next? Campbell, 4.82 dial left side. Kevin Johnson, 4.57 out of the right lane. So the Olympia Washington versus Draper, Utah. Three thousandths the difference in reaction time. Carson was 13 and goes one above. Take five thou at the stripe for the win. 483 on a 42. Carson Campbell's moving on. Kevin Johnson was 16 green and runs 458 on a 457 for the loss. So Mr. Campbell. We'll hear a little bit of a cha-ching. It's just up to him now whether it's, you know, let's see here, third round win will get you 200 bucks, fourth round win will get you 400, fifth round 600, et cetera, so on and so forth. So now you got that. Can you, almost like in base, right? We're going to let it ride. Double it up each time. Can you do it? 
Greg Garrison, 15. Green gets the win line, going 476 on a 477. Brian Watts was 19 foul early. And then goes 460 on a 457. So 19 red for Watts. Ends it. Greg Garrison, 15, staying in the game, running 476 on a 477. Victor Clark and Jorge Covarrubias. Covarrubias with a 464 dial coming in out of Baja, California. So if Jorge doesn't light up the scoreboard, am I supposed to throw in there the I, I, I? Which, by the way, double O. The caption that Gabe showed me earlier, that was great. When you got one too many I, I, I's. 44 to a 464. They are separated by one thousandth of a second. Wind light's going to turn on for Vic Clark. Wow. Clark, 004, dead nine. Jorge was 003. Take 18 thou at the stripe to be eight thou under. Wind light goes to Clark. In that pair, and Jorge will go back going, yeah, no bueno. Eh, hey, no bueno. I gotta learn the, the, the term for there is no tomorrow in Spanish. You think so? Yeah? So unfortunately, it's no mañana. Well, there is a tomorrow, so we'll, we'll save that one for later. Mike Coltrane, Blake Foster. Foster on the left side, Coltrane on the right. 10,000 separate them in reaction time. On a 452 dial, Coltrane's gonna go double O one one above. Take nine thou to get the win. 453 on a 452. Coltrane wins it out of the right side. Blake Foster was 11 green. And is 18 thou above the dial. It'll be 483 on that 482. And the nine thou margin victory going to Mike Coltrane as Mark Campbell and Keith Thomas will be next. 469. No hay mañana, okay. 469 is the dial for Mark Campbell. 505 for Keith Thomas. You know what, Wes, we just went, well, not we, but the chat bleachers just supported a healthy dialogue. In some cases, maybe a little unhealthy, but it was a dialogue about East Coast, West Coast, who's going to claim who and all that kind of stuff. So I'm not going to start that part again. Keith Thomas was 002 red, goes 504 on a 505. Mark Campbell, 57 green, and then 468 on a 469. Yeah, I mean, it was it was a whole big thing. Don Butkowitz, Alexis Thompson. Butkowitz out of New Jersey. Thompson out of Nevada. And I know there was a question that was asked, early, asked earlier. Is it Nevada? Is it Nevada? They asked in the chat, it's Nevada. Yep. It is Nevada. Well, yeah, some people do think that, oh, well, Nevada. It's not a Tea Party state. Huh? Well, yeah. yeah. You don't say Audi. It's Alexis is 007 red, goes 463 on a 466. Butkowitz, 27 green. And 41 on the 43. So no e mañana. Gracias. Por favor. Mi amigo. Severio got a water sucks hat? Nice. That's cool. That's cool. So with a 479 and a 470 up on the board, J.P. Schuster out of Vienna, Ohio. And Brittany Taylor coming in out of Lewiston, Montana. Taylor will win that one, 007. And two above, 41 on a 479. J.P. was 20 green and 16 thou above. See, they're already using Severio's nickname in the chat. They had a nice job, T2. I like it. 
Hannah Vandermeer and Dave Sikandi. Sikandi out of Washington. Is it? Or is that Virginia? That might be a typo there. Hannah Vandermeer, 499. Lining up left side. So the Nampa, Idaho dragster. Is in trouble. Dave with the advantage off the starting line. 15 green and two above. 447 on a 445. We've been saying two above a lot. 500 on a 499 for Vandermeer. Well, yeah, it was better than this morning than being like five under, six under, eight under. So it is definitely better than that. The Sandra Priest and Chris Northup. Funny car. Who is now a track operator. No, I'm going to need to. I'm going to need to be a little bit more conscious of that. Apparently, I, I, I should. I'm, I'm good with that. 5:23. Sandra Priest with a 5:15. Oh 004 and 5:14 is going to be under for Sandra Priest. She gets there first by 75 thousandths of a second. And ends up under by 10 thou. Chris North of 55 green and goes one above. 524 on a 523. <laughs> Timmy Market Glue, Mark Heatherly. Heatherly with a 476 dial. Mark Aglu with a 443 dial. Sixteen thou separate them in reaction time. Wind light's going to belong to Tim Markaglue. 444 on the 443. He was 20 green. Gets there second for the win. Mark Heatherly was 36 on the tree. Gets there first five thousandths of a second. Breaks out by nine thousandths of a second is McKenna Needham and Alec Bianco. Bianco, Miller built ride, dialed in at 515. McKenna Needham, 499 the dial. As we turn them green. Nine thousandths was the difference in reaction time. Wind light goes to McKenna. 500 on the 499 after the 007 reaction time. Alec was 16 green and ends up, you guessed it, two above. With that 517 on a 515. So Vinny Domino, Aaron Johnson. Big Vin. That whole. Domino file 458 dial. Aaron Johnson dialed in at 491. So it is NIT Championship Day, right? Yeah. Our boys from UNLV did okay in the NIT games until they ran into Seton Hall. And it sounds like your team, Indiana State, did pretty good until they ran into Seton Hall. Yeah. Yeah. 459 on a 458. Vinny was 18 green. Aaron Johnson was 29 green and goes dead zero. 
So another dead-on dialer name going into the drawing for the weather station, thanks to the folks from Altronics. So after the 29 green, came down to a thou at the finish line. 17 ten thousands. The true margin. Oh, victory. And Jake, I believe that the cheering for the Go Sycamores is helpful, but I don't know that it's going to help. How much time's left in the game? Oh, there's still plenty of time. Okay. And it's... They got a... No. No. You got a chip and a chair? You ever heard that about, about a poker table? All I need is a chip and a chair. Anything can happen in a poker game. I just need a chip and a chair. Kyle Seacrest and Cody Baker. Baker dialed 468. Seacrest dialed 472. Seacrest, 21 green, dead two is 23 total to get the win light over Cody Baker. Baker with 16 green, take 14 thou at the stripe to break out by seven thousandths of a second is Tony Barton and Dylan Moody. Moody. Had a lot of folks, and we did. We took a very close look at a lot of cars. A lot of cars. Dylan's is definitely beautiful. Tony dialed 458. Dylan dialed 467. Well, I'd have to say best, what? Why are we worried about, like, best losing package for the day? I don't know. There we go. Tony Burton, 21 green and 459 on a 458. Dylan Moody, after being red, goes dead on 467 on a 467. So another red and dead on. That is a swear jar donation, or should be. Definitely should be. As Corey Galetti, Nathan Martin, nice, nice. Texans matching up side by side, 439 at the dial for Galetti, 471 at the dial for Martin. Wind light comes on for Corey. 16, dead four, Corey Galetti. Taking 12 thou at the stripe, Nathan Martin was 15 green and 17 thou above. To end up 22 total is Phil Narum and Eric Golden. Golden coming in out of Alberta. That's another one of those, like, is it Airdrie? I don't even know. I don't even know. Phil Narum. Not looking good for Phil. 52 thou behind at the hit. Goes 473 on a 476. Eric Golden double 01. And then one above. 464 on a 463. Taking 14 thousandths of a second at the stripe. Narum tried to run him down, but was locked out. Couldn't get there. Wouldn't get there. There's Jason Pad, Ronnie Court. One of the guys that's in here helping us out on the mic this week. Spent some time out there yesterday, coming in out of Denver. Appreciate Ronnie coming up and helping when he is available. Hoping that he stays unavailable for a long, long time. 569 is the dial for Ronnie. 465 is the dial for Jason. So with pad, Chasing down Ronnie, two thou separate him. Jason Pad was rocking the scoop and gives it back. Ronnie Court, 18 green and dead on three for Ronnie. Ronnie's 569 on a 569 to be 21 total. Jason Pad was 16 green and 19 thou above to be 14 thou short.
Down at the finish line is Brian Kennedy and Wyatt Wayman. Wyatt 429 dial on the right. Brian 476 dial on the left. Larice, round number four. Larice, round number four. Let's get you back into the staging lanes, please. Larice, round number four. Let's get you back into the staging lanes. We will also take any double entered door cars. Double entered Super Pro door cars. Let's get you into the staging lanes. Double entered Super Pro door cars to the lanes. And Larice Pro round number four. Let's get you back into the staging lanes. So with Brian Kennedy bowing out to Wyatt Wayman. Wayman 003 dead two is five total. Brian Kennedy was 30 green and one above. Bowing out here in round number three. So Wyatt is headed into round number four as Ken Windley and Jorge Covarrubias Sr. So we got Jorge Sr. and Jr. out here. Five thou separate them in reaction time. 479 to a 469. Wind light belongs to Ken Windley. 17 green. Margin is two ten thousandths of a second. 17 green. Windley is dead nine. 12 green, Covarrubias is 14 thou above, and the true margin, 0 0.0002. Wind light to Windley. Crazy. Mark Kidd, Cooper Chun. Mark left side, Cooper right side. 509 the dial for Chun. 452 the dial for Mark Kidd. Double O to double O, 5,000 separate them in reaction time. Winner is going to be Cooper Chun. Double O nine gets their second by seven thousands to break out by seven thousands. 508 on the 509. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Mark Kidd, double O four, gets their first seven thousand to break out by nine thousand. Win light goes to Cooper Chun. Apparently, Jake, you need to throw in there another uh, Go Sycamores. Because whatever you did worked. I'm sure you're probably watching the game anyway. But, yeah, they brought it to within two. Brought it to within two. Lane Ingo. Jansen Melton. 417 is the dial for Jansen. Driving Megan's car. Shane Ingo dialed in at 475. 20 thousandths of a second the difference in reaction time and oh, oh. Jansen's going to need a pal. Going to need somebody to hang out with. So it was a 20 thou difference in reaction time. Lane Ingo was 20 on the tree. Jansen was perfect. At the stripe, Jansen ends up 28 thou above the dial. Lane Ingo goes dead one. And it comes down to a seven thou margin at the finish line. Lane walks his way to a win. Jansen's probably going to be rethinking that one. You could see him rocking the scoop just before he got there. But the trip zip perfect. Reaction time and... No coin. I didn't say no good. I said no coin. Of course, they're not. They're not drinking when I say no good. Maybe I just need to get a less sensitive mic. All right, Super Pro Door Cars, Super Pro Door Cars. Let's get you headed into the staging lanes, please. Super Pro Door Cars. Let's get you headed into the staging lanes. We got a parts call. Hang on.
Kyle Bigley bows out. Dan Provost, 15 green, 444 and a 444. He's dead eight. The Abbotsford British Columbia racer moves on. Kyle Bigley was 13 green and 461. On a 459. Racers, we got a parts call. We got a racer in need. Racer in need. Back there at Shane Thompson's pits, we are looking for a Jessel 12-degree rocker. If you've got a Jessel 12-degree rocker, it's one of those F8BR80s with the numbers stamped on it. I don't know enough about rocker arms to know any different, but we need a Jessel 12-degree rocker arm back there at Shane Thompson's pit. So if you've got a Jessel 12-degree rocker arm, they would love to see you because Amazon now doesn't deliver those. Whitfield, 003, wins it on a double breakout. Dalton Garreau was 20 green. Whitfield was 003. Whitfield on a 467 dial, takes 10 at the stripe to go fourth thou under. Dalton Garreau getting there second is 11th thou under. Win light to Whitfield out of Colorado. Amazon does offer them. Not that brand. Oh, apparently you can order Jessel from Amazon. Is that still what they call it, Amazon Now or Amazon? I mean, Amazon Prime is one thing, but I thought like Amazon Now they deliver within like the hour. It's all in. Okay. Got it. Rick Marcy and Kendra Larson. So if you live like on a small farm in the middle of Kansas, it's probably not available to you. You know. I know they've actually, like, taken advantage of that thing. 449 was the dial for Kendra. 479 was the dial for Rick and Kendra. With an 034 reaction time, goes 454 on the 449. Take 27 thou at the stripe. Gets the win light. Rick Marcy was 90 green. And then goes 41 on a 479. There's Ryan O'Connor and Josh Herman. Herman 450 out of Colorado. Ryan O'Connor. Is that, again, another one of the Alberta cities? I'm guessing, you know, Panaka, Panaka, something. Pocan, po po Pocata, I have no idea. We've already awarded the best appearing. Just so you know, Josh Herman, six thou red, and four forty nine on a four fifty. Ryan O'Connor, twenty three green, dead on two for the win. Ponoka. Jenna, Jenna saying it's Ponoka. Yeah, like P O E N O K A. Well, I mean, it, it may not necessarily, it may not be spelled the way that we see it in the computer. We'll just go with Ponoka. Because that A that we see on the screen may actually have been an O. You know, that comes down to, you know, uh, yeah, handwriting. Input, all that kind of stuff. Mark Barnhart, Ryan Barnes, 5,000 separate, and Winlight goes to Barnhart. 30 green and dead six for Mark Barnhart. Ryan Barnes is 25 green and then goes 458 on a 457. But Winlight to Barnhart, and the racer out of Placidas, New Mexico, gets around the racer out of Brunswick, Georgia, is Steve Farrow and Trevor Larson. Farrow out of Tennessee. Larson out of Minnesota. Hey, everybody on property, the T-shirt sales. Essentially, we're going to wrap up our apparel sales for the day at 6 o'clock. So you've got about 20 minutes left if you're going to want to run up there and grab a sweatshirt. It's already breezy and chilly out here. When the sun goes down, it'll be chillier. 
And then it is, hopefully not breezier, but it will be chillier. So you're definitely going to want a nice new sweatshirt. you got about 20 minutes to get up here and get it done. 12 to a 7 as far as reaction time is concerned. Steve Farrow was 12 green and 14 thou above. Take 13 at the stripe to get the win light. Trevor Larson, 7 was the reaction time. And then goes 472 on a 469 to be 32 thou above the dial. It's Sean Schaefer and Riley Learcamp. Schaefer, who was eliminated in round number one, ended up handing that bounty out, that APD carburetor, went out the door in round number one. As Jacob Stallworthy was able to get the job done against last night's winner. Seven thou separate them this time down the track, and apparently somebody somebody made Sean angry. Schaefer was well twenty green. And then goes four sixty two on a four sixty two. Riley Learcamp was thirteen green, and goes four sixty two on a four sixty three. Learcamp take fourteen thou at the stripe needed to take thirteen thou or less. Yes. Some of the Alberta cities can be a struggle. A lot of things can be a struggle. First of all, there's a lot of things that make it a struggle. First, if it's, you know, maybe not written quite so clearly on the tech card, maybe not entered quite so clearly into the computer based on what was written on the tech card. And then third, I make things more difficult on myself than they need to be no matter what. So you could probably write it perfectly, and I will probably pronounce it completely imperfectly. So... 472 the dial for Gabe, 476 for Carl. Wind light goes to Carl Jones. Gabe Hernandez, 23 green and two above. Nope, not going to happen. They thought I was going to say no good. I faked them out. Carl Jones, 40 green and dead to zero. So a 476 on a 476, the dead on zero. We'll get him into the dead on dialer drawing is Doug Johnson and Tristan Craig. Ken, are you like testing me with the EXAX? You forgot an L. There should be an L in the middle of that. That's about the only thing I know that starts in EX and ends in AX. Tristan's dialed 513. Doug's dialed in at 478. The Pleasant Grove at Utah. Based car on the left side. At this point, I'm watching everybody out on the starting line and pretty much anywhere on property, like losing hats. It's not even worth it. Just don't even try. Unless you've got the thing taped off. Like, tape it down. Otherwise, you got nothing. Yeah. Just don't let it go onto the racetrack. Right? We don't want things blowing down the racetrack, but... Trying to chase a hat that's blowing in the wind is like trying to chase a three-year-old with something in their mouth. You're never going to catch them. Yeah. Just not going to happen. Second fastest land animal on the planet is a three-year-old with something in their mouth. Doug's in trouble. Tristan Craig lets go 16 green and runs 515 on a 513. Doug Johnson was 52 on the tree. And two above to exit here in round number three. And we are, are we at the end of round number three? Wow. That went by fast. No, it just seems like it went by that fast. Shane Molinari and Greg Hicks. So, yeah. He's one day older. Cedric, to answer your question, the million will now be on Saturday. Originally, it was scheduled that Wednesday, Thursday, and Saturday would be our 30K races. Friday is the million, as we usually do. Based on weather, the fact that it's as windy as it is 
today. It'll be just about this windy tomorrow, but Saturday is going to be a beautiful weather day, according to the forecast. We're going to go ahead and move Million Day to Saturday. And we'll move the FTI 30K to Friday. So it'll be FTI 30K Friday. It'll be Silver State Million Day on Saturday. Greg Hicks, 003. Take 5 thou at the stripe. Break out by 5 thou. Molinari was 27 green. Breaks out by 24 thousandths of a second. There's now Josh Ludke and Travis Colangelo. Ludke, the trendsetter. Was racing last night without the wing. On the stick. On his stick. Now he has just the stick, which we started calling a dorsal fin. And several folks decided that they would try the dorsal fin approach. Ludke made it down to three last night. Ludke's got a 13 thou disadvantage at this end of the racetrack, and I had to take a second look because Travis Colangelo puts a 4 4 6 0. Up on the scoreboard, had three zeros for a reaction time. I had to double check and make sure what did he dial. He dialed a 447. So gets their first five thou, breaks it out ten thou with a perfect reaction time. So he'll get a triple zero hero coin. Josh Ludke was 453 on a dial and runs 451 down at the end of the racetrack. So Colangelo gets the win light. And that will be that. ATI Performance Products round number three comes to a close. You got to do it on a stick. All right, Jake, you better give us give 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 another go sycamores. They have pulled ahead of Seton Hall. What do we still got? Eight and a half minutes left to play. See, that's the only thing I love. I love college basketball when it's tournament time. I'll enjoy sitting down watching a game even when it's not tournament time. But I love college basketball when it's tournament time. The only thing. And I had to explain this to my son. He'll look up and go, oh, Dad, there's only two minutes left in the game. And like half an hour later, you're still sitting there. He's going, why are we still here? Yeah. Be like, well, because they still got eight timeouts left. <laughs> oh. It looks like it's a good one. So we're going to let the tractors do their thing. We've got our Larice Pro round number four. Rolling up here, <laughs> coming coming out of the staging lanes. <laughs> Who's? You know, I really didn't know who she was talking about. No, I'm just saying myself and Steve are sitting here in the announcer booth, and all I hear from the backside is, who's watching these kids? I'm like, well, I thought we were responsible for ourselves. Somebody told me, somebody told me I could be responsible. That person was wrong. Very wrong. So, again, uh, we mentioned it just a minute ago. It was actually announced earlier. Uh, for those of you that may have just been joining in, I know as it does get later and later kind of on the East Coast, now that it's after 5 o'clock here on the West Coast, uh, everybody's kind of off work. We've got 2,500 people that are watching along right now, but we still only have 1,200 likes. That should be over 1,500. So if you are watching along and have not hit the like button yet, again, remember, each and every day is a new stream. You subscribe to the channel once. You give a new like every day. Yeah. It was like noon when we got to 1,000. We've only had 200 people hit the like button since then. <sighs> They're slacking. They're slacking. Did you get an Amazon notification? I'm telling you.
So we've got our pro cars rolling under the arch. Larice Pro, round number four. Wow. That poor dude. That poor dude. At that point, I don't you don't even carry the bat back to the dugout with you. You just leave it there. Let somebody else pick it up. You're like, are you kidding me? Oh. Sorry. Steve Reagan's just show me a video of what it looks like when things just don't go your way. Yeah. Pitch just barely grazes your head, hits the bat behind you, bounces off at the catcher, catches it, and you're out. Oh, Charlie Lockhart red by three thousandths of a second. Craig Merrilee's 005 green goes 648 on a 650 as the Camaro out of California. We'll advance into round number five. Charlie Lockhart turned it loose. Three thou too soon. Uh, 591 on a 593 and uh, no good. Drink to that. Richard Mason and Jeff Peterson. Peterson, red light start after a five, well, leaves five thou too soon. Dialed 695 and goes dead on to five. So... That's a swear jar donation. Richard Mason with 17 green, one above, 608 on a 607. Out of Winnebago, Illinois, where we found out Winnebagos are not made. Chad Sandlin and Mark Fall fall in the El Camino. 717 on a 716. Double O in on the tree. Chad Sandlin was 44 green and then goes 644 on a 641. Well, thank you, Rich. Well, I appreciate that. That's nice. That's, that's, that's friendly. Brian Cerruti, Henry Robertson. Henry, how about your buddy? Dennis Paz saying, look, I know you broke your car. Drive mine. It's available. It's free. Get in. Henry, 681 on a 681. The car was dead on. Henry was 36 green. Brian Cerruti was 16 thou better. Leaving this end of the racetrack, and it comes down to a 7 thou stripe. Saruti 20 and 16 thou above. Oh. Oh. Bra Braden Haro and Gary Gandy Jr. Gandy on the right side. 901 is the dial for the Mustang. Braden Haro. 16 or excuse me, 612 dial out of the left side. 902 on a 901 for Gary Gandy. 34 green. And then 902 on a 901, Brayden Hero was 42 green and two above. Again, two above. The Scott Hire and Andy Schmall. Dos? Yeah, but what's above? Dos? 
Like, how would you say, like, too much? We gotta figure out, like, too much. Say too much in Spanish. Yeah, we could. Scott's dialed 642. Andy's dialed 599. Yeah. A 639 on a 642 for Scott Higher. It's a double breakout with Andy Schmall and Scott. They were separated by two thousandths of a second. Andy was 36 green. Scott was 38 green. And then Scott Heyer, 639 on a 642, gets the win light. Andy, 595 on a 599, will not get out of round number four as Mike Rock and Tim Wirtz. Rock's dialed 617. Wirtz is dialed 523. We'll see if it's going to be which of the Nampa, Idaho-based race cars will be moving in. It's round number four. Red Torque Systems round number four. Answer is Tim Wirtz. Mike Rock was nine thou red and then runs dead again. Red and dead on. I'm telling you at this point, at this point, if they're not swearing when they're red and dead on, yeah, you're lying. You are a liar. And I'm telling you, even a buck or two, a dollar, you need me on that wall. You want me on that wall. But no, even a dollar or two going into the swear jar. We're going to add all of that up. We're going to bundle it all up. We're going to hand it to Racers for Christ. Again, the rebirth of the swear jar. Yeah. It's tied at 69, dude in the NIT tournament. Nick Pressimone, 007 on the tree. Michael Miller was 13 green. Miller's three above. Take 29 thou at the stripe for the win. Nick Pressimone was 007 and seven above for the loss. Again, any double dragsters, double enter dragsters. If you are a double enter dragster for round number four, let's get you headed into the staging lanes, please. Double enter dragsters. We need you into the staging lanes. If you've got any dragsters that are still double entered, we need you into the staging lanes. Zach Fulcher, Jeff Higgins. The Roadster is out of Idaho. The Cobalt's out of Kentucky. 582 is the dial for Fulcher. 586 is the dial for Jeff Higgins. Wind light will turn on for Higgins. Whoa. Two thou separated him in reaction time. Fulcher was 15, Higgins was 13. Fulcher is 22 thou above the dial. Higgins is 24 thou above the dial. Margin four ten thousandths of a second. And if you think about back in the day with the old Hot Wheels racetracks where the little flag would fall Flag falls over to Jeff Higgins' side, but it's only because somebody breathed on it. Somebody sneezed. Right? Poof. Kyle Fritz and Kerry Williweep. Williweep. 527 dial right side. 682 the dial left side. Wind light's going to belong to Carey. 005 dead one, six total. Taking a nine thou stripe for Willowy. Kyle Fritz, I believe, gived it back. It snuck the nose out there and then goes 681 on a 682. Oh my. Let me tell you something. Indiana. I mean, it's like home of Hoosiers, right? It's a basketball state. It's always been a basketball state. It's one of those things. We'll talk about that in a minute. Lane Weber and Dean Turner. Lane 704 getting the head start over Dean Turner's 533 dial, and a 705 on the 704 works for Lane. 21 green. Dean was 12 green. 
Dean gets to the finish line first by 68 thousandths of a second and goes 528 on a 533 to break out. Lane Weber, one above, gets the win light as George Lewis and Joe Levitt. So once again, dragsters, if you are double entered, if we can get you into the staging lanes, please, dragsters. If you're double entered, let's get you in the staging lanes. Red light start for Lewis. By three thousandths of a second, Lewis eh, goes 592 on a 590. Joe Levitt, 625 on a 625. Dead on four. The reaction time was not dead on. It was a little off with the 071 lane. <laughs> Peeps, Pennington, Darren Taylor. We need Sarudi and Wirtz back to the staging lanes, please, with those doubled door cars, Sarudi and Wirtz. Dragster number 333. Three, three. Dragster number 333. Three, three. We need you to the staging lanes, please. Dragster 333. Three, three. Need you to the staging lanes, please. Peeps, Pennington, 12 green. Darren Taylor was 003 red. So a three thou red light for Darren. Peeps is 12 green. Goes 518 on a 517. Let's see here. Saruti's headed into the lanes. We need Dustin back into the lanes, and we need Dragster 333. Three, three. Back into the lanes, please. Yeah, so we're talking about the state of Indiana. Now, there was a couple, there have been a couple of moments in time. We're here in Las Vegas. You know, I mean, we had our 89-90, 90-91 UNLV basketball teams, right, which almost, almost, yeah, almost, but they didn't. And then... The next year, they came back and, I mean, essentially went pretty much undefeated until they met Duke in the championship game, right? So we've had moments, like in the 70s, we had a really good team and, and things like that. So we've had moments where we were pretended to understand what sports was all about. And then, thank you, you go to somewhere like Indiana, where it's just kind of dominated. So I've always wondered what it would be like to sit next to an Indiana fan watching a basketball game. I'm experiencing that now. <laughs> it's, uh, I now know what to expect. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. There's a lot of motion that happens. The chair rocks back and forth. The table moves every once in a while. Yeah, it's, yeah, yeah. Every once in a while, like, Steve, breathe. Bro, take a breath. Take a breath. Oh, man. All right, all Super Pro Dragsters, all Super Pro Dragsters, let's get you headed into the staging lanes, please. All Super Pro Dragsters, let's get you headed into the staging lanes, please. Super Pro Dragsters, come on down. So in Pro, we are down to six. Six cars will be coming back in Pro. It's Merrily's with lane choice over higher. Fall with lane choice over Gandhi. Mason with lane choice over Saruti. In our six that are headed back into the staging lanes. So again, Merrilee's with lane choice over higher. Fall with lane choice over Gandhi. Mason with lane choice over Saruti. Those are the six that are left. 
in our Larice Pro category. Here on a Larice Motorsports Insurance 30K Thursday. Again, we've got uh, a shift in the schedule. Tomorrow was going to be the Silver State Million Dollar Friday. And then we were going to have our FTI 30K Thursday. But based on the weather predictions, we got the forecast, the weather forecast. My brain does not work at all anymore. No, it's like I forget things all the time. I'm going to have to go look into like those, what those, no, what are those memory medicines and things? I'm going to try something. I'm going to try something. Because I'll be thinking about something. I know exactly what I want to say, and then it just vanishes. It just vanishes. Are we down to two minutes? We're under two minutes in the basketball game. So 28 minutes from now, we'll know who wins this game. Yeah. 28 minutes from now. With between timeouts, commercial breaks, fouls, free throws. Oh, you should have you should have taken that shot. So Rick Northup, Hank Pramov. Pramov in the Vega, right side, dialed 577. Northup, left side, dialed in at 674. Uh-oh. Rick is in trouble. 584 on a 577. Pramov backs into that 584 after he was 15 on the tree. Northup's reaction time started with a 1, and that was painful. Painful. Dennis Lithgow, Bob Saruti. Bob, Bob. Saruti's with a 642 dial. Lithgow with a 508 dial. Well, that's a great question. I don't know, you know, not being experienced enough to know what they do over there. I don't know if they're not flying because of the wind or if based on the planned operations for Red Flag, they're going to, like, take the afternoon off and then they're going to do night offs. I, I don't know. Whoa, Dennis Lithgow gets sideways. Oh, Dennis, no. Dennis Lithgow gets sideways down there and the car rolls over onto its top. Dennis Lithgow leaves the starting line, gets out past half track, skirts outside of the groove, brings it back in, goes left, goes right. Dennis is out of the car. We can see him walking away from the car at this point in time. But Dennis Lithgow did all he could to save it. Down there at the finish line, the tail end comes around. The nose went into that left side wall. He rolls back, well, basically slid back over, and the car... Rolled over onto the roll cage and stopped there. Dennis Lithgow climbed out of the car moments later, has walked over to the left side wall. Fire and safety is already on the scene and are talking to Dennis down at the far end of the racetrack. Oh, man. That is something you never, ever, ever want to see at a racetrack. But what you definitely do want to see at a racetrack is when something like that happens, for the driver to get out and walk away. And that is exactly what we got to see as Dennis Lithgow got out of the car and was able to walk over across the track to the wall. Whatever it was, definitely that car moved quickly. Dennis did all he could to try and save it. Almost got to that point until that tail end came around on him a little bit too far. So pretty much at this point, racers, as always, we would ask if you know you are not part of the track crew or the safety team that you remain back out of the way. 
let the safety team do what they need to do. Obviously, we're going to have family members that are concerned, friends that are concerned. Well, let's just go ahead and stay clear of the area. Let our fire and safety team do what they need to do. Oh. Yeah, man. Definitely, definitely a situation that was scary, has you on edge. But again, the best part of it, fire and safety was already moving, headed down the racetrack. By the time Dennis came to a stop, and by the time fire and safety got there, Dennis was out and walking across the racetrack, headed over to the other wall. So the race car did its job. We're now going to let our fire and safety team do their job and get things cleaned up, get things straightened back out. Dennis was 30 on the tree, goes 557. Winlight goes to Saruti. He was 28 green and goes 646 on a 642. So we are going to be on hold here for a couple of minutes while we do some cleanup down on the racetrack.
And no, I'm just, yeah, I'm not talking about, trust me, this is not like being funny or trying to do anything like this. Nothing to do with what's going on on the track. We've got a racer in need. Uh, Mr. Luke, cool hand, needs a BAM 904 lifter offset to the right. Right? Right side, right side. Okay. I don't, I don't know enough about that stuff, so. A BAM 904 lifter offset for the right side. So if you've got a BAM 904 lifter, right? I don't even know what that thing is, but if you've got one of those, take it over. Take it over, and uh, Luke Bagaki could really use it. They need the parts. They need the pieces. So we'll see if they can come up with, uh, again, BAM 904 lifter offset for the right. If you've got one of those, get it over to uh, Cool Hand, who's right down there just off the return road. Maybe about, what, three rows in from the grandstands so? So thank you very much. Hey, so as we uh, start getting things or finish getting things cleaned up down on the racetrack, uh, we've still got uh, a pair to run here in Super Pro Door Car. We should have our Super Pro Dragsters lined up back in the staging lanes, getting ready to go. Again, we uh, had a racer in need. Again, Luke, cool hand Luke, needed a BAM 904 lifter offset for the right side. Apparently, we also need a TIG welder. If we've got a TIG welder on property, Jansen, 
Well, basically, they need one over in the Molinari pits. So Jansen Melton and Shane Molinari could need one over or could use one over in their pits. So if you have got a TIG welder, they need one of those in the Molinari pits. If you've got a BAM 904 lifter, they need one over there in the Bogaki pits. And I'm going to say this. It breaks my heart to see something happen to any race car. It breaks my heart even more to see something happen to an absolute beautiful race car. Dennis Lithgow's car was one that is just gorgeous. I mean, it's, you know, been best appearing. It's an absolute phenomenal piece. And to see something like that happen to it, yes, race cars can be fixed. Yes, you can get through those types of things, but it's still just kind of a really sad situation. Um, on a brighter note, though, we did have a difficult time selecting our best-appearing car because there were so many beautiful best-appearing cars out here. I mean, we asked the folks at the chat bleachers to help us, and they pointed out several of the cars that are absolutely gorgeous. They've all got great paint jobs. They all look good inside and out. When it, come down to it, or when it comes down to it, we can only pick one. And this year's uh, performance polish, best-appearing car, went to DJ Humard. Again, it is a gorgeous 1966 Chevy Nova wagon. I was not the one that had the final say because everybody goes, oh, well, of course you're going to pick a Nova because everybody knows they love Novas. It just so happened that that was the one that got picked, and we spent a little bit of time out in the pits talking to DJ and finding out what's so special about this car, and it really comes down to that family connection that we've talked about. So while we're finishing cleaning up things on the racetrack, why don't you guys take a look at this and see what we were able to find out about DJ's car. We are here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway highlighting some of the cars and the drivers that participate in the Spring Fling Million presented by Optima Batteries. It is the Mosier Engineering Spring Fling Million, the 2024 edition. Today, we're standing up in the pits with DJ Humard and his 66 Nova Wagon. What a beautiful race car this is. We've seen it go down the racetrack and this thing is gorgeous from top to bottom. DJ, we want to find out a little bit about the car. I know it's got a very special place in your heart because it has a lot to do with family. Yeah, uh, we built this car. I purchased just about three years ago. It took us about three years to build this thing. 66 Nova Wagon has my mom's old uh, small block Chevy in it. We made it a little bit bigger to make it a little bit faster. Mr. Duchel did a beautiful job painting the car. Uh, Mountain View Performance built my motor. Green Mac Transmissions did the transmission in this thing. And then everything else was me. I uh, plumbed it, wired it, and did everything else myself. And um, my two brother-in-laws helped me out quite a bit with the car as well, Junior and Ricky. So it turned out pretty good. It did turn out pretty good, and I didn't mean to cut you off there, but this thing, I mean, what does it normally run on the racetrack? When you're out here running eighth mile, what are you going? Uh, this weekend, we're going 650s. It's kind of like a, in a bracket mode setup. I mean, it goes through the eighth mile at 6,200 RPM. The car really isn't even working itself, so it's kind of just a fun little cruiser. And you mentioned on the inside. I mean, the thing is just as clean on the inside as it is on the outside, but there's something very special on the inside, on that uh, glove box. You've got a very special tribute to your mom. Yeah, uh, Mr. Duchel painted that for me as a Christmas present, so that was pretty cool. And uh, that's in the glove box in there on the car, so it uh, means a lot. It does mean a lot. Cars obviously are an extension of our family, and the fact that you've included your mom is just really cool. Um, we do have a little bit of a surprise here for you because not only are you doing a piece on certain race cars out here, we're doing a piece on a specific race car out here, and your car has been selected as the performance polish best appearing car this weekend. Congratulations, man. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate everybody's help in the car. I mean, it takes a ton of people to get stuff done like this, to keep it clean. Um, it's just amazing. I for sure want to thank the Duchel family, my dad, my brother, and I know my mom's up there happy, so that's a plus. Well, it's definitely a pleasure for us to present that to you and to this beautiful car. Congratulations, man. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hello racers, we're here at the PRI show at the Mazir Enterprises booth and this is going to be a product feature presented by Mazir Enterprises. I'm here with Don Mazir, part of the Mazir Racing family. First of all, Don, how long, is, how long has this company been going? 
You know, it's a little hard to measure. Uh, Dad started the company to keep the three brothers out of trouble, you know, and, and uh, that was back in 1980. Um, really started rolling about 86, 88, somewhere in there. Of course, I was still in high school. My brothers were working hard to try to build things up. Um, and it's just been a, a great journey, you know. It just grows a little bit every year. And by golly, we look back 35 years ago now, and, and it's pretty amazing. It's been fun. And let's, let's look at, I'm going to show you some of the reasons why, as a racer, I think it's growing. Now, we're always on a cutting edge. Um, the product feature Don's going to talk about right here is a product I actually run on my dragster. Um, it's a transmission, what would you call it? I'd call it a heat exchanging transmission pan. Okay, tell us about it. So it holds the transmission fluid just like a lot of, uh, you know, every transmission that's ever been built. It's got to hold the fluid in the pan. But the problem specific to bracket racers um, is that we get hot lapped and the transmission gets hot. It gets heat soaked and there's not a really good weapon to take that heat back out of the transmission and the fluid. So what we developed is a way to get that heat out of the transmission. And we do that by circulating a small amount of coolant through the transmission pan. So you would take your typical coolant system for the race car and you tap into high pressure and low pressure and send that to the transmission pan. And when we do that, you can see it circulate. When it circulates, it's transferring heat. You can cool off the engine, you kind of overcool it and that brings heat out of the transmission. It stabilizes. It also helps to elevate the transmission temperature for the first pass of the day. And we know as bracket racers, Pete, it's always about consistency. You get that same temperature, your reaction times don't change as much, and your ETs don't change as much. Absolutely, every thousand counts. And I, he explained it to me when I first bought it from him, and I had to see it myself to believe it. So when I'm warming up my car in the morning, I'm warming up the, obviously the water temperature. I look down, they're both at 160, water temperature and transmission temperature. So whether you're trying to cool it in the late rounds or warm in the early rounds, it's an equalizer. Is that right? Exactly right, yeah. Um, it looked good on paper when we came up with the idea. We were really impressed with it. When we actually put a pan on the car, you could see it affect uh, the temperatures, especially bringing it down. The first car we tried it in was a uh, door car, it was a Pontiac that we used to own. And we would run two, sometimes three classes in one day oh, wow. and just hot lap that thing. We knew we could cool the engine. The transmission was always an issue. But with this, you could watch the transmission chase the engine temperature down. It would follow by about 10, 15 degrees. And like I said, you overcool it and you get the transmission right back where you want it to. Yeah. Great products, great family, great business, Mazir Enterprises. We drive people. We drive bracket racing. Because reliability, accuracy, and consistency is what goes round and wins races. An all-in-one solution tailored to your application. Walk the pits and you'll begin to see fuel tech everywhere. Since 2010, LRA Auto Museum and Dealership in Bristol, Pennsylvania has been a destination for auto enthusiasts and buyers alike, sporting one of the finest collections of 1960s and 70s muscle cars in the country, along with an amazing array of modern muscle cars like Mustang Shelby R-Codes, Chargers, Challengers, Camaros, and more, allows us to meet the needs of buyers looking for classic muscle or modern investment vehicles. LRA is open six days a week and has a knowledgeable professional sales team to help you find your dream car or investment vehicle. Visit us in person or see us online at LRAAutomuseumandsales.com.
Hi, I'm Emily Biondo here with JC Cassio at the PRI show uh, from Strange. We are talking brakes. We're talking uh, awesome new brake kit systems, and he's going to tell us a little bit about them. All right, this year, Strange Engineering introduced our Evolution 4 brake systems. Uh, it's a stainless steel uh, profile milled rotor. Uh, it has our dynamic drive mount system, which allows the rotor to float. And uh, by allowing the rotor to float, as the heat expands the, the rotor, uh, it allows it to expand more uniform. And uh, so the longevity of the brakes is much better. The stopping power is better. Um, and, and it's a retrofit to all of our brake systems. So any, any steel brake options we have are now available with the Evolution design. Okay, great. So if somebody already has uh, you know, brakes installed on their vehicle, they can upgrade to the system. Correct, yeah, and our calipers, uh, they have a, uh, a different O-ring design that allows the pistons to retract further, which further helps with the low drag, um, which is a, a very important thing right now, mm -hmm. um, especially in the heads-up categories where they're looking for the least rolling resistance as possible. Sure. Um, we also offer a uh, speed sensor, so for the classes that allow traction control, okay. uh, they now have an option for that. So we have a 40-tooth uh, reluctor ring with a, holo, um, uh, with a Hall effect sensor on it. And uh, you know, and, it's, and again, it's been very popular. It's what uh, people have been requesting, and, and it's you know time for us to, to get them what they want. Yep. And it was just released here late 2023, right? That's correct. We've been working on the system for some time. You know, just like anything we do, we want to make sure that it's right. We want to make sure we have the product available, um, and of course, the R&D process to go in to make sure we're launching something that we know is going to be a successful product. Very cool. Well, Peter just put him on his new uh, super stock car that he well, his old super stock car that he's redoing. So we'll see how he does. It. Trusted by all since 1960. What you want, when you want it, at a price you want to pay. Jays! Since 2010, LRA Auto Museum and Dealership in Bristol, Pennsylvania has been a destination for auto enthusiasts and buyers alike, sporting one of the finest collections of 1960s and 70s muscle cars in the country, along with an amazing array of modern muscle cars like Mustang Shelby R-Codes, Chargers, Challengers, Camaros, and more, allows us to meet the needs of buyers looking for classic muscle or modern investment vehicles. LRA is open six days a week and has a knowledgeable professional sales team to help you find your dream car or investment vehicle. Visit us in person or see us online at LRAAutomuseumandsales.com. Larice Motorsports Insurance offers drag racers the broadest insurance policies in the industry. Larice Motorsports Insurance was created by racers for racers. Larice insures race cars on and off the track, trailers and equipment. Larice even pays racers contingencies at the fling bracket races. Don't wait until it's too late. Call Larice Motorsports Insurance today.
Cleanup is complete. Spray is complete. We've got one pair of cars to go before Super Pro Door Car round number four is complete. That's a lot of completing. Shannon Walker, the Camaro out of Dallas, Texas, and Dustin Wirtz, the topless Corvette out of Nampa, Idaho. 528 dial in on the left side, 532 the dial in on the right side. We've got Super Pro. Dragsters round number four back in the staging lanes. Larice Pro round number five. Our six that remain, you're on a ladder. Let's get you headed back into the staging lanes, please. And as soon as we run this pair, we have a special request direct from Marco. Actually, it's from all of us. Away we go. Both drivers are green. Wind light's going to turn on for Dustin Word. 17 to be dead on two. Shannon Walker is 24 to be five thou under. So we just did all of that cleanup. Got everything taken care of, and our first two cars down the racetrack are dead two and five thou under. That'll work. Six ten thousandths of a second margin of victory. Dustin gets the win light. And we'll be back. Our Super Pro Dragsters are rolling up here. Hey, racers. Once again, Larice Pro round number five. Six or left. Let's get you up into the staging lanes. You are on a ladder. And racers, the other thing we are going to ask, take a look around. The street lights are now on. And when we turn the street lights on, we need your taillights on, please. Marco came in here, whispered in my ear, very sweetly, said, tell them to turn on their tail, uh, please turn on their taillights. He said, tell them to turn on their taillights. I said, okay. We'll do that. So again, the street lights are on. Racers, please, we ask that you turn on your tail lights. And with that, I've been hogging the mic too long. I've been torturing those of you on the live feed too long. It is time for you to be soothed, be soothed by the sounds of Steve Riggins. So Steve. With the Super Pro Dragsters, I will turn it over to you, sir. Thank you, Nate. Very much appreciated. And it's it's never too long. It's just you always leave them wanting more. That's good. You. So here we go. Into our dragsters. Jeremy Cisneros out. Buckirk, New Mexico, 454 left side. Mike Coltrin, Boise, Idaho, 451 to the right. 300's head start goes to Cisneros. All right, here we go. 10 to a 40. Advantage Cisneros, left side. Wind line, left side. 10 dead, 7. 17 total for Jeremy Cisneros. Coltrane, 40. And fourth thou under getting there last, no good. Jeremy had it from start to finish. Be moving on as we are in Rad Torque Systems, round number four. Brittany Taylor, Lewistown, Montana, 479 in the left. Mark Barnhart, Placidus, New Mexico, 469. Give up a 10th head start to Brittany. 
Because again, we are on Larice Motorsport Insurance Thursday. 30K here at the Mosier Engineering. Spring Fling Million presented by Optima Batteries. Thanks to all of you hanging in with us here on the live feed. Brought to you by Jags and Hoosier. We're separated by 15 thou. Advantage Brittany. Finish line. Who's it going to be? It is Brittany. 15 take 8 goes dead 8. 23 total. Mark Barnhart. 30. Dead 1. Comes up 8 thou short. Brittany Taylor. Moving on to round number 5. Hey, thank you, Troy Abercrombie. You are always one for positive encouragement. I appreciate it very much. Not sure I believe you, but it's okay. I appreciate it nonetheless. Chase Learcamp, Olympia, Washington, 460 in the left. Aaron Johnson, Springdale, Arkansas, the undercover entry on a 491. Aaron Johnson, under, no good. Wing goes left side. It's all over the live feed to steal the information. There's another one going into the drawing. Look at that, eight total for Chase Learcamp. 008, dead zero. Corey Galitti, 004 dead two, six total as Ken Winley makes a good lap. 12 take two, you take it all day, but it's no good here. Goes eight thou under. Corey Galitti, six total, moving on. Greg Garrison, Flagstaff, Arizona, 475. On the left side, Eric Reyes, Henderson, Nevada, 439. We're away, green on both sides. 11 thou advantage goes to Greg Garrison, but the wind line goes the other way to Eric Reyes. 29, take four, 30 total for the wind line. Greg Garrison, 18, one above six, 34 total. Coming up short. Stephen Farrow, Chattanooga, Tennessee. The Water Sucks entry, 484. Lane Ingo, Pueblo, Colorado. The undercover dragster down to 474. Big advantage for Ingo and the wind light. 14 and three above, taking 27 as Steven was late. Goes under. So the Ruiz Pro, we have called you the lanes for round five. You are on that ladder that Nate referenced. So you all should be here. 
Victor Clark, Boise, Idaho, 484 on the left side. Chris Whitfield, Littleton, Colorado, 466 right side. 1800s head start going to the left. Dustin Wirtz, we need you to the lanes at this time, please. Dustin Wirtz, we need you to the lanes at this time. Advantage Whitfield right side. Wind line goes Whitfield. 18 take four, going two above, 38 total. Locks out Victor Clark, 41 dead one. The math wasn't mathing there for Victor Clark. So Dustin Wirtz, we need you please. Dustin Wirtz, we need you please. Dave Sicondi, Ellensburg, Washington, 445 on the left side. Kyle Seacrest, Nortman, Oklahoma, down to 471. Red line star for Kyle Seacrest. Lights it up, double, 03 red. Dave is 21. So we're doing just a little bit of a uh, little bit of checks out there, and we'll get right back into our dragsters here in Rad Torque Systems round number four.
I need all Super Pro Door cars to the lanes for round number five, please. All Super Pro Door cars. So no matter if you're odd or you're even, does not matter. All Super Pro Door cars. We need you to the lanes at this time for round number five. All Super Pro Door cars to the lanes for round number five. So we are making our way through the program today. We are in round number four. We're cutting them in half every round and won't be long. Oh boy. All right. Shout out to my boy, JJ Pennington. He's always listening. I'm proud of him. It's like it's it's I mean it's really late, he, but at least he's not chiming in during school hours and that stuff. So he must have been a very studious young person today so he and the Pesnell family Greg and KC shout out to you guys can't wait till I can see you hopefully hopefully I'll see y'all in Glau I hope but uh glad you're tuning in glad you're watching if I was if I can give you any tips at all I'd just turn the sound down like just let JJ announce it from afar I know it's what I think Peter would enjoy that more no I'm just kidding I uh Love JJ to death. Excited to work with him coming up in Glot. So we are about ready to get the uh, fire him up signal. Here we go. Tony Burton, Carl Jones, ready to do battle. Tony Burton, Rochester, Washington, left side in the Race Tech entry on a 458. Carl Jones, Mulvaney, Kansas, on a 474 right side. So again, we've called all Super Pro Door cars to the lanes for round number five. All Super Pro Door cars, we have made the call for you to the lanes for round number five. And a red light start. Carl Jones turns it five thou red. Tony Burton, it, wow, Tony Burton lays 10 total, end in nine, dead one. Carl Jones was one above seven, but the red light start ended his efforts for the day. Hey, there's my boy, Tasso Anastasios Cornucopia Jr. I mean, we all know that's not right, and that's okay, because I tried it one time, and he's like, just stick with what you say, because you ain't anywhere close. So I hope you're doing well up there in uh, the great northeast. I can promise you it's warmer here, even though the wind is blowing. But I uh, miss seeing you, my friend. Can't wait, to, uh, can't wait to see you again, hopefully soon. Jeff Sarah. This is a matchup. Jeff Sarah, Adamstown, Pennsylvania, 469 left side, Cooper Chun, Vancouver, Washington. 506 right side. East versus west, right here. As that got fired up in the chat today.
Four to a 15, advantage Jeff Serra. Win, light, goes Cooper Chun. As Jeff Serra, four, take 26 to be six thou under. Had to take 20 or less. Cooper, 15, dead nine. Lighting up the wind light. There's one for the West. Hunter, no idea. I am not privy to that kind of information. A lot, though. Well, I mean, not a lot, but a fair amount still. We're only in round four. Val Torres Jr. Out of California on the left side, 471 the dial. Wyatt Wayman, South Jordan, Utah, 428 in the right side. Identical reaction times up front. They're both 12. Finish line goes left side. 12 dead, 2, 14 total, taking 6 thou. Wyatt was 12 dead, 8, 20 total. Can't get it done right here. Val Torres, Jr., moving on. Carson Campbell, Olympia, Washington, 482 left side. Phillip Pennington, out of the great state of Texas, 470 the dial. Advantage left side, six to a 39. Win light goes, wow. Wow, wow, wow. Win light goes to Pennington. As Carson Campbell, six take 48 to be nine thou under. Had to take 39 or less. Pennington, 39 dead six for the win light. Mark Campbell, Olympia, Washington, 468 in the left. Kendra Larson, Starbuck, Minnesota. Paramolis entries on the starting line now, 447 in the right. Red light start, big time for Kendra Larson. Mark Campbell, though, lays down seven total end to end. Double 01, dead six for Mark Campbell. Eric Golden. Out of Alberta, Canada, 462 in the left side, Ronnie Court. Denver, Colorado, 568. Eight thou advantage goes to Ronnie Court. The win light goes to Ronnie. 24 take 18, one above four, and Ronnie Court rolls on. 32 total. Eric was 32 on the starting line, so I had to find a way to find dead zero. Or, I'm sorry, 38. Sorry, 38, so he could went dead six. He goes two above four. Either way, didn't work out. Yeah, Ronnie ain't messing around. He came here and announced. He goes, that's overrated. I'll just go race. 
Yeah, yeah, we don't we don't blame you. We would too. McKenna Needham, Las Vegas, Nevada. 498 in the left side. Dan Provost. Abbotsford, British Columbia, 443 in the right side. Well, that was no no good. Just no. A lot of that was a pair of battery lights. Funny car, Chris Northrup, 522 left side, Don Buckkowitz, Perrineville, New Jersey, 481 in the right. Red light start for Funny Car Chris, and Don Buckkowitz gets by with one, 45 dead zero. Northrop, two red, dead seven. But Don, going to go in the drawing. He's, uh, he's a good dialer, and he's moving on to round number five. Tim Markaglou, Staten Island, New York, 442 in the left side. Tristan Craig, Henderson, Nevada, 512. Nine to a 30, advantage Tristan Craig. Mark Aglou's got to find something, cannot. Tristan, 009, take 23 to be two above four, 33 total. Mark Aglou, 30. Two above six, and on the wrong side. Ryan O'Connor. Pinoca, Alberta, 452 left side. Sean Schaefer, he's still, he's still hanging in the day. Boise, Idaho, 461 the dial right side. Just hanging around, just hanging around. Yeah, I copy that. I'm just holding them up. 10 to a 23, advantage Schaefer, wind light Schaefer. Keep on keeping on, 10 take two. 28 total for Sean Schaefer. Ryan O'Connor, 23, dead seven. Jerry Alderman, I will tell you, if you just now heard that comment, you are way behind, bud. Gabe Torres, La Puente, California, 467 left side. Greg Hicks, North Las Vegas, Nevada, 484.
And then it looks like we got our buy car. I would say in the water box, but, well, he's not. 21 to a 50. Greg Hicks in full control. And, oh, no. Oh, no, Greg. Oh, no. 21, take 30 to be a foul under. Gabe Torres, 50. And, hey, dead zero. Another perfect dialer. And Gabe Torres moving on. Our buy a car. Travis Colangelo rolls it up and rolls it back. And that will complete Rad Torque Systems round number four. We're going to jump out here and do a little bit of track maintenance again. Keep, uh, keep as much heat and stuff as we can in it. Keep the surface as optimal as possible. And we'll be back with Hoosier, round number five. Goodyear Tires is proud to introduce a series of tires designed specifically for sportsman racers. If you are looking for the round-by-round -round consistency needed to be a fling champion, choose the tires that NHRA world champions like Justin Lamb and Peter Biondo choose. Choose Goodyear Tires. The Larice Perfect Package Bonus. At each fling event, Larice Motorsports Insurance is offering $1,000 to their customer who puts down a perfect run in eliminations. Even better, if the bonus does not get hit at a fling event, it will roll over and go up another $1,000 for the next fling event. If you don't have the Larice sticker, make sure you come to the tower. You must have a Larice Motorsports Insurance sticker on your car to be eligible. American Race Cars specializes in designing and building some of the most competitive race cars on the planet. Founded in 2004, American has quickly become one of the premier chassis builders in sportsman racing. Travis Colangelo and the American team focus on precision and driver safety. And remember, exceptional customer service comes with every car sold. Round wins, race wins, and championships start here. Join the American family today. For more information, visit AmericanRaceCars.net or see us at the track. A proud sponsor of the Fling events, AutoMeter is the brand the champions depend on to keep them running at their best. Check out the complete line of gauges, dashes, and data acquisition solutions at AutoMeter.com. Power. Precision. Passion. Auto meter. Fuel Factory is a race fuel manufacturer owned and operated by the Tedesco family and Mark Wessler. All fuels in their line are a proprietary blend made to tight specifications and all batches are third party independent lab certified prior to packaging. Tested and verified by leading engine builders, Fuel Factory promises the product consistency needed to help you get to the winner's circle. More and more bracket racers are relying on Mickey Thompson tires to help them to the winner's circle. From the big bubba to the little bubba, Mickey Thompson has a tire to fit every application.
Altronics Inc. wishes all their customers good luck at this week's bling event. With over 25 years of experience, Altronics continues to develop innovative products for the racing industry. From weather stations to data recorders to lightweight lithium batteries, Altronics has the right product to help you get to that final round. Visit AltronicsInc.com and let us help you get on the fast track to the winner's circle. Fuel Tech USA is an international company specialized in developing and manufacturing state-of-the-art performance engine management systems. The company's elite staff is always keeping a grip on the forefront of technology available while guaranteeing top-notch quality and customer support. For over 30 years, Regals is quickly becoming the industry standard in quality fiberglass and carbon fiber dragster bodies and components. More than 100 leading chassis shops rely on Regals for high quality, lightweight components. Stop by the Regal display on the Midway and get a 10% fling discount on all orders placed this week. Kid Performance and Dyno have been serving the Northwest since 1974. Specializing in personalized machine work and engine building, family owned and operated, Kid Performance prides itself with one-on-one -on -one customer service and promises to give you a great value for your money. ATI is family owned, has a staff of 70 people who work out of 100,000 square feet with 32 CNC machines. And we do it all in Baltimore, Maryland. Whatever you need, ATI can help. Check out ATIRacing.com or give us a call at 800-ATI-3433. Performance is our passion. And we can make our passion your performance. So we are going to get back after this with Pro. Round number five. We've got six cars left in pro. The ladder is set. We're going to see Mark Fall with lane choice over Mr. Gandhi. Mason with lane choice over Saruti. And uh, Merrilee's with lane choice over Hire. And in that, we've got our special guest announcer that's rolling in here, Mr. Severio, otherwise now known as T2 Terminator 2 on the mic. Severio. We got Gary Gandy. We got Mark Fall. Only three get to come back. Tell us a little bit about what you're seeing down there on the racetrack. Uh, two beautiful cars. The left lane looks a bit slower because it looks a bit older. I like the fire red right pickup truck. Is that a pickup truck? It's an El Camino. I can't really see. So it's kind see of a car and a angle. pickup truck. Yeah, because the angle. Yeah. It's a little strange looking at him from directly behind, right? Yeah. Got folks already saying, T2, what's happening, brother? Tell them what's happening. 040 for Mark and Gary. 073. But Mark's going to take the wind light. Yep, Mark's getting it done on a double breakout. He gets down there second to be three thou under. Gary Gandy gets there first by eight thousandths of a second and runs 895 on a 900. Tried to make up for that 073 reaction time, but just couldn't quite pull it off. Mark Fall gets the win light, and Fall will be one of our three coming back because our next two rolling out here. Who we got? Um... Richard Mason and Brian Kerr. Saruti. 042 for Brian and Richard 030. And Richard will take the win. Absolutely, Richard Mason. 30 on the tree, which was 12 thou better than Brian Saruti's 042. Saruti runs down to be 300 over at the dial. Richard Mason, after being 30 on the tree, is dead on two and gets the win light by 40 thousandths of a second. So we have got Saruti coming back as well as Fall. And we're down to our last pair here in our pro door car category. The comments are kicking in about me. Absolutely they are, brother. 
And 023 for Craig Scott Hire. 052. And Craig will get the win. Yep, Craig Merrilees with that 023 reaction time. Got him off the line before Scott Hire's 052 light. Hire four above with a 644 on a 640. Merrilees is just one above the dial. And our three have been decided who get to come back in pro to try and be the last pro car standing. We're moving into super pro door car now. Tim Wartz in the right lane. And Joe Le Levitt in the left lane. So Joe with that 625 dial on the left side. Tim with a 521 on the right. Tim will be doing the chasing. Joe will be doing the running. Run, Joe, run. 10,000 separated them in reaction time. Wind light's going to turn on for Joe Levitt. Yep. Um, Joe Levitt, 037. Tim, 047. And then Joe goes down to be dead on eight. Tim is one above with a 522, 15 thousandths of a second, the margin at the stripe. Preston Pennington, Peeps Pennington, coming from Texas. Hank Pramov, coming from Colorado. Hank dialed in at a 575. Preston dialed in at a Peeps dialed in at a 418, 518, 518. So Hank slides it up into the stage position. Peeps sitting over on the left side. 003 for Hank Red. Preston 016 going to take the wind light. And Peeps going to go one above the dial. So Peeps dialed in at a 518 and ends up running a 519 to be one above. Hank Pramov, after the 003 red light, runs 560 or 576 on the 575. Margin down at the finish line was 11 thousandths of a second. Next up, Michael Biller and Lane Weber. Lane dialed in with a 704. Michael dialed in with a 587. 001 for Michael and Lane 018. Lane is going to take the wind light. Lane does. In on a 704 dial, got a 704. Dead on with a 2. And Michael with a 587 got a 590 dialed in and got a 5. Dead on 5. 16 thousands behind the finish line. So Michael Miller was 001, 17 thou behind when they left the line. Or excuse me, 17th thou ahead when they left the line. Lane Weber was 018. Weber's ending up running dead on two. And we'll light up the scoreboard as we are just getting a few more of our double innards all taken care of before we get into round number five, our Who's Your Tire round. Yes. And there's only four spots left in the $50 raffle. Raffle number four. All right, we need dragster number 333. Dragster number 333. We need you to the staging lanes, please. Dragster number 333. We need you to the staging lanes, please. Dragster number 333. Let's get you into the staging lanes.
So as we uh, wait for dragster number 333, we've got some of our doubled door cars that are going to make their way back. Once again, looking at best losing packages, Jorge Covarrubias, Jorge Covarrubias Sr. had the best losing package of ATI round number three. He's got $500 waiting and a small fling check for him up here in the tower. Wyatt Wayman had the best losing package of the Rad Torque Systems round number four was 20 total. And we'll get $500 that will, uh, you know, help make that a little bit easier to take. So that is... Uh, that is what we've got going on here. So, again, Jorge Covarrubias, you've got $500 up here in the tower. Wyatt Wayman, you've got $500 up here in the tower. Thanks to Rad Torque. Jorge, you've got it. Thanks to uh, ATI. Again, we'll take dragster number 333. Dragster number 333. It's almost like, you know, when you go to the DMV. We'll do the DMV thing. Boom. Now serving dragster 333. It's staging lane number five. I don't know which lane they want you in, but we'll go with that. So we'll let our dragster roll its way back in there. We'll get our double-entered door cars. We are down to very small numbers, like really small numbers. Especially in our pro category, there are only three left. And of the three that are coming back, let's see, let's see. All right, all dragsters, all dragsters, let's get you headed back into the staging lanes, please. All dragsters for round number five. All dragsters for round number five. We're in the Hoosier Tire round number five. Best losing package will get a certificate for a set of slicks. So round number five, thanks Hoosier for putting up that certificate once again. We are getting ready to, uh, after our dragster round, we'll be rolling into our Pro, Larice Pro, semifinals. Got three cars coming back. It's going to be Mason on the bye. Merrilee's with lane choice over fall. When they come back, three left. Trying to be the last car standing. They will get inserted in with the rest of our Super Pro field. Hmm. Hmm. We'll just leave it at that. Is that Mason? Mm -hmm. Mason got the buy? So we're going to let them get things squared away back there, and we will be back at it here in just a moment. 